Yo, what's up, guys? We watched all of the Looney Tunes show. We watched all of it, every single episode. And if you want us to watch other Looney Tunes and Warner Brothers stuff, comment it down below, and we might watch your favorite show. And if you want to watch the uncut commentary of these entire reactions, go to our Patreon linked at the top of the description, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Besties, where knowing all about your best friend leads to big prizes. Dude, we would be so good at this. Jack, what's your favorite color? Don't say it, don't say it. It's moss. Black. Um, I know your favorite color. Right? White. Green. Oh. I, I don't know why I said that's not even my actual favorite color. Black also isn't my... <laughs> Yo! I remember this opening. It went hard, yeah. Alright, what's my favorite color? Pass. Oh, they literally... <laughs> my parents knew that our planet was doomed. What, Superman? What? It's Bugs Bunny giving Superman's backstory right now? That's the story of Superman. Who is Superman? He, he doesn't know anything. He doesn't know anything. The duck lobotomies in this world are a little too much. <laughs> and now, here's your host... Daffy is Eden. Oh my god. True. <laughs> uh, we can't we can't say this when he's not here, guys. Come on. We can't bully him, but it's true, but like it's, but. Oh, I'm sorry. After you. Oh no, after you. No, after you, I insist. Were they related or gay? I don't remember. Are they related or gay? Why can't they be both? I'm gonna go with beef, Chuck. Are they get slimed? Oh, never. That's not as good. That's not as good. You don't want to cream on Daffy Duck? I... <laughs> you have a chance to win. Daffy, what is Bugs Bunny's catchphrase? Do you know? Do you know what it is, Jack? What's up, Dak? Uh, I don't think that's right. SpongeBob, me boy. Uh, that one. That one. I'm, I'm feeling that one. I don't do Mondays. I don't do... Oh, my God. He literally fucking said Garfield. What's up, Doc? What does that even mean? We don't even know any doctors. <laughs> we never questioned that. <laughs> Do they know any doctors? They're gonna need one after that episode. Oh, I forgot there's like shorts in the middle of the episode. Grilled cheese. Sandwich. Sandwich! You're saying it so sensually. Bugs Bunny drives a Prius. <laughs> it's fuel efficient, I guess, but it's cringe. He lets you live here. Uh, I don't live here. I'm just crashing here until I get back on my feet. Daffy's just Todd. Daffy is Todd from BoJack, and it's it it shows. Does that mean Bugs is BoJack? Bugs is the washed up star. Yeah. Gonzalez is Sarah Lynn. That that's not what I want. <laughs> who needs friends? I'll tell you who. Someone with no girlfriend, no job, no credit. No credit. Damn. No no no. I'm talking about in here. Now try. Speedy Gonzalez makes this so funny. He's having like a serious heart to heart right now. Get your shit together, man. I'm going to be the best, best friend. This is terrifying. Oh, my God, thumbnail. What the hell? <laughs> I got you the crew if you wanted. The one from the game show? She probably spent Bugs' money. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? <laughs> Bugs is bankrupt at the end of this episode. He loses the house. He loses. He's left only with the Prius. There is only one thing to do about that. Limbo contest on the leader deck? You know the thing about putting like a gerbil up your asshole? Do you think they can, they go up like each other's asshole in their entirety? How would they fit in <laughs> each other's assholes? They're the size well, of Well, not other. at the same time, but like. That's not what I was saying. How would they? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me all about it. This time I promise I'll listen. That is always my favorite yeah, thing. When your friend is like, this time, for the first time, I'm going to listen to your problem. I now care for the first time ever. Now that my livelihood is at stake. This one's for my best friend. Why that sound? The baby crying sound was, was so, so realistic. realistic. A rat once told me that friendship takes a lot of effort. It feels like racially motivated that he keeps calling Gonzalez a rat. It's like, ah, oh, you you people all look the same. Daffy is definitely racist in the show. A best friend is someone you'd happily commit a crime for. This is very toxic. I. Uh... This is very toxic. But I do want to do crimes now. Seeing how hard you've tried, I have to say. You gotta stop trying. <laughs> I like that. I like that. But not if it means we turn into those guys. No offense. None taken. He's like, look, man, you're sucking my cock right now. Please stop. Ducks aren't very good at that thing. <laughs> Ducks do not give good head. I don't know why I did that voice for Bugs. It's not even anything like him. Seriously, how did you pay for all this? I used your credit card. I memorized the number. 
He memorized his <laughs> credit card number. That is impressive. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's a vacation. Do you even know where we're going? I'm following the directions. It's an interesting yeah, opening. Oh, so it's just like a classic Bugs Bunny bit. But Daffy's with him. <laughs> That's actually sick though, because then they don't have to pay for travel expenses. I mean, they ha they do still have to dig the entire way there. Causing probably property damage. They're probably going to have to pay a lot. <laughs> They've broken many gas lines on their way here. Hey, Daffy, it's me, Uncle Bugs. Okay, this explains a lot. Does he come from a trailer park? You, yeah, he was probably raised drinking like water with lead in it. <laughs> and he still drinks it. He's like, it just doesn't taste as good without the lead. It's packed with extra flavor. <gasps> oh, whoa! Ooh la la. It's that famous Scarlet. Scarlet Johansson. It's Scarlet Johansson? Whoa. Whoa. That figure, man. That's giving Lola Bunny a fucking run for her money, man. See, see, they just took Lola Bunny and turned her into a human, and that human was Scarlett Johansson. Here's the thing, Daffy. What if you just try talking to her instead of trying to be a Andrew Tate type? That doesn't make any... You don't talk to women. You own women. <laughs> you don't... You're right. I don't talk to women. I don't, I've never talked to women my whole life. We don't talk to women. We, we don't, don't talk, talk. We don't talk to women. We don't talk to women. Daffy is, is, is that he's trying to do that third grade riz where you're like the fastest kid in your school. Literally. But you're not. You're an adult man, Daffy. Uh, Duck. What happened to the water? This episode is very like old school Daffy Looney Tunes. Like it's very physical comedy. Yeah, this feels feels more classic. Wanna play around the golf? You mean the world's most boring game? Motherfucker no has brought binoculars to the pool. Kick him off. Kick him out of the pool. This is the biggest perv shit I've heard in my life. He's a creep, man. Well, I say potato too. Does anyone say potato? I mean, really? What, this is a very specific <laughs> rant about potato. Like, someone was like, this expression, potato, potato, I fucking hate that expression. It's not even true. Nobody says potato. <laughs> what? Dude, did you see? Go ahead. I just forget how, like, horny shows or older shows are willing to be. He was a good man. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Who am I kidding? He was a man. He's not Who a- Who am I kidding? He was a duck. <laughs> he was a duck, you're right. He, at least he corrected himself there. Bugs has the Riz, the Wizard of Oz. If we're doing a tier list of hottest Looney Tunes characters, it's like, oh, it's Elmer Fudd, female Bugs, regular Bugs, Lola Bunny. And then Daffy's the F tier because look at him. Look at his posture. It's not that good. Hunchback of Notre Duck over here, fucking. It's literally the, the you know, the picture where it's the line for their posture. Yeah. You dumb famous actress. Is this is the security guard going to just like, I thought he was going to jump in the sky and like grab Daffy like, like a fucking superhero. Is that what's good? No, no, oh. no, no, no. Uh, that was not I don't I think I could have predicted that. I expected him to fly more than I expected him to hobble all over the <laughs> rope. You will have no cheese for fiesta. Oh, he's Robin Hood, but with cheese. And he's a rat, too. He's a, he's a mouse. Oh, mouse. Bro, you're fucking racist, man. Actually, what the hell? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Speedy. I, I, I love you. I love you, Speedy. This is your idea of a fun vacation activity? Doing nothing? I like this show, but I feel like they go on with these jokes for too long. I feel like this episode needs a B-plot. Yeah, I think so, too. It's not hot enough. My back is killing me. Look at the way his neck distorts. It's broken. <laughs> he put the pickles. Oh, my God. The pickles. He put the pickles. I hope they don't put pickles on your eyes. That would hurt so much. All the pickles just gets in your fucking eyes. And you're screaming in pain. Do I look younger? What? What? We got that Roadrunner shit. Oh, oh I, for, I forgot these ones are in 3D. Ew, ew. Fanboy and Chum Chum animation. <laughs> All right. This is this kind of looks like uh, Oscar the Lizard or oh, something. No, Oscar's shit. Oasis. Oscar's Oasis. This is Oscar's Oasis. I'm just realizing so much of Looney Tunes is one chill troll versus one angry person. Like that's <laughs> that's the dynamic of so many of these Looney yeah. Tunes things. Mama, looks like we got us another mouth to feed. I thought he was gonna say, look like we got some food for tonight. We're gonna <laughs> eat this bar. We're eating good tonight, mama. I ain't had done that duck in a dozen years. And 
I get a B. Hey, hey, let's go. I didn't realize Bucks literally can and fuck Scarlett Johansson. We're gonna be late for the movie. <laughs> stop, okay, stop. this is already what? the best episode. Let me drive. I'm not going in that thing. Oh, I forgot about his fucking car. He has the giant fucking... It, it goes hard, dude. Oh, it's awesome. What are you, the man in the relationship? We're not in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Cops are pulling him over because they think Bugs Bunny's on a date with a minor. That's what's happening right now. This isn't, this isn't intense. I guess you can't catch real criminals, so instead you just harass innocent citizens. Well, Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's a driver's license? You don't have a driver's license? Oh I my god. I can't handle this. There is a guy standing on the side of the road who looks just like you. I'm about to hit him. <laughs> Lola's a complete psycho in this show. That is so irresponsible. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Can I see your driver's license? Absolutely. Just one second. Oh my god, she doesn't have one either. Please. Just let oh, bugs drive. Let bugs No. If this keeps happening, I'm gonna cry. I don't wanna be I don't wanna be at the DMV. I don't wanna be at the DMV, okay? Sometimes I go to the DMV just to relax, you know? Just to pass the hours. That is the most psychopath <laughs> thing I've heard in my life. I just chill at the DMV. I just like watching the sad people. This is even harder than the application! No talking. Ronald Reagan was right. Ronald <laughs> Reagan? <laughs> what the fuck? This episode is so funny. Holy shit. This is full of so many out of context clips. I swear to God. What is this? Communist Russia? <laughs> Step out of the vehicle. Wait, what? Your license is expired. Oh this. my God. This is like a nightmare. This is fucking Dante's Inferno. You passed. You, you you got a perfect score. What? He took he stole Porky's thing. Oh my god, he fucking Driver's test? How am I gonna cheat on a driver's test? <laughs> he says that as he's walking away. Uh, I read the book and rules of the road every night before I the bed. You get to take it one more time. No! They're gonna Maybe fuck over time. Porky. Lola's gonna oh steal my it. God. No. And I gotta warn you. I'm a real stickler. Something about Yosemite Sam being a driving instructor just makes perfect sense, though. He's the last driving test teacher you want. Like, he is a hard-ass asshole who is just insulting you the whole time. But he can't even see over the dash. How is he going to grade your driving? You don't happen to have a phone book I could sit on, do you? He asked for a phone book. Right. And my driver's license expired. Mm -mm. You and Daffy. So irresponsible. Who voices Lola Bunny? I really like the voice she has. Hi. Kristen Sorry, Wig. So oh, Kristen Wig voices her? Really? Well, that would explain why her delivery is so good. How'd that go? Great. How'd, How'd that, that go? go? <laughs> it's a perfect one. No, 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 it is the perfect one. What grade would you give yourself? 100. I get that one a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> no way. Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, he has the booster seat now. Now that I think about it, it's funny because in this show, they took Lola Bunny and inverted her character. Yeah, basically. Because like in the moody, movie, Lola Bunny is really sexualized. And sexy. But she's really capable. In this one, Lola is like way less sexualized, but it's like the biggest like dumb blonde stereotype ever. Hello. Yeah, I passed. I mean, I do like this version of Lola more. I just think it's interesting the ways they decided to change her character. I love how this is kind of just the commentary of how, like, anyone could get a driver's license. And it's if Lola Bunny and Daffy Duck can get their fucking licenses, then you can. Thanks, but I have to drive Porky home. He didn't pass. I feel like this episode just is like so entertaining because it has like so many characters. Like there's so many details. And then it's just a very relatable subject matter. It is very relatable. I mean, actually, what would be the, the average demographic if you're like 13 watching this? Yeah, I guess you can't really relate to the experience of the DMV. Driver's license. Leave your wallet at home. <laughs> oh my God. Sir, please. How did you season that so quickly? I'm a baby and I want to see a movie for free. 
Get your hands off me! <laughs> what? Or you think the baby gets free movies for everything you watch? Yeah, I've seen like 300 white women that look exactly like this woman right here. The duck bill and all? Yes! She's got a duck! <laughs> White women be like, bro, holy shit. Yeah, shout out to the white women with the duck faces. We love you here. How's the wizard business going? Great, lots of magic, spells, things like that. Wait, what kind of wizard is Daffy? How old is he? Is he 29 years old or 30? He's making the wizard bong that Joe Biden smokes his good kush out of. So is this like after the show? Like, are they old now and retired or something? Like, it's the BoJack Horseman of uh, of Looney Tunes. They're washed up fucking actors, and they're chilling. And they're chilling. What you just described is a date. I'm not going on a date with you. <laughs> Why do you have to say it like that? What a fucking asshole! A date with you? That was like a core delivery right there. You wanna go on a romantic date Friday night? I mean, would you love to? No, you idiot. Ask a woman. Gay. <laughs> Porky is gay. Holy. Ask a woman. Whoa, Bugs is enforcing his heterosexual values onto Daffy right now. It's weird that Bugs would have that perspective considering how often he likes to cross-dress. No woman should be judged on her looks. But if I had to, I'd say you're about a four and a half. How was he pulling all these girls and then he fumbles the bag so hard? I guess uh, women really want to fuck ducks, apparently. It's something I... Did not know prior. Dude, you weren't joking when you were saying this is like Bojack. This is Bojack for kids. Like, what the fuck is the Bojack for kids? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a weird way to answer that. No, 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 no. I, I wasn't talking to you. I almost hit an oil truck. Lola is absolutely <laughs> insane in this show. She is like the best character by far. You need to understand women. So. I've written you a script. So they put the two dumbest characters in a situation where they need advice? This is the thing, when it comes to relationships, you never ask a guy friend for help. Like, that's literally rule one. But it's Lola Bunny, though. She hit an oil truck yesterday. I don't know. I don't know if we trust her. Here's a good idea. Let's get rid of all of our other friends and only be friends with each other. Wait, is she falling in love? She's falling in love with Daffy. We should cut off family members that don't support our relationship. Is this a relationship or a cult? What is Lola onto right now? Oh my god, she's into her. Why is she so into him? This really works on women? She has Stockholm Syndrome. She like wants to be kidnapped or something. Like what? Is this the Bugs c episode? Is Daffy gonna c Bugs Bunny? Finally. Also, aren't Lola and Bugs like cousins or something in this show? Yeah, we have to establish this. It's Lola Bunny and Bugs Bunny. They have the same last name. They're kissing cousins. You know that girl Tina from the copy place? Her beak's even bigger than mine. Well, thanks for the help. I, I like that when Daffy left that scene, he said, I know just the girl. She has a bigger beak than me. Damn. Tina. I was wondering if by any chance you're not doing anything tonight. Someone in chat says, I always thought Tina was Latina for some reason. She does give Latina vibes. If what about her character design are you saying signifies her being Latina, Jack? Well, the thing in my mind is that I find ducks attractive, and I also find Latinas attractive. So there's kind of a Venn diagram going on in my brain. So where does Jenna Ortega fall? Is she like in the middle or something? Half woman, half duck, all sexy. He's bathing in aftershave right now. I mean, they test this stuff on birds, right? So it'll probably be fine. Hello, Daffy. Oh, what? 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 Why is he covering? Okay, why is he covering up? <laughs> he never wears what? clothes. This is sauce, dude. What the hell? Well, thanks again for doing that. I'll make it up to you sometime. How about tonight? Dinner? Oh, uh, I don't know. You gotta eat. They have sex in the Looney Tunes? Like, what the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> Why is this so romantic and, and and suggestive? Bro, look at her outfit, though. Bugs showed up naked and she's fucking busting it down. <laughs> True, Bugs at least put some pants on. Nice place. Yeah, uh, can you just scooch a little bit that way? Thanks, yeah, I just like to be able to see. Oh, this is, li this is literally <laughs> like a fucking Seinfeld episode, man. This is so awkward. <laughs> this is awesome. Stop! This show holds up like way, way better than I was expecting it to, to be honest. That's a hot duck. Holy schmoly. Shut the fuck up, man. I, I'd like to be pecking that duck, if you know what I mean. Hey, man, I'm offended at whoever said this bitch is Latina, bro. She nasty as hell, dog. She nasty, yeah, bro. You are the epitome of great. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say this on the first date, Daffy. It's over. 
Let me take a shot. You're an insecure little weirdo who lies about everything. What <laughs> the fuck? Woo! Well, I guess that state's over. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you, he was so ready to call it. Uh, someone already took our order. Wow. Why does Daffy have all the fucking Riz in this episode? I f every character wants him. And he, he's a Wu-Gang. He's <laughs> a Wu-Gang. That was the Awuga sound. This is such a good episode, Cora. I'm so glad you picked this one. Daffy. Daffy's not your boyfriend. I'm your boyfriend. Wait, oh, they are dating. My God. We're boyfriend, girlfriend. I thought you were a waitress. <whistles> wow. She's a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? What the fuck what does, does that, that mean? She's calling her stupid, bro. Do you not speak bitchy girl? Like, hello? That's the best date I've ever had with a wizard. There's something I should tell you. I'm not really a wizard. Oh, he's not a virgin. Oh my goodness, he's not a virgin anymore. He was like, I was one year away from becoming- I was one day away from becoming a, a wizard. Are those for me? <laughs> no, Porky. Dude, Daffy needs to get like hit by a car next episode. Like he deserves pain. This is a nightmare. Every episode is these awkward, awful scenarios. I literally had to deal with this the other day. Like this is literally a real thing. My friend was snoring so loud. This is too real. It's awakening trauma right now. <laughs> Taz? Why is he a little pet? Oh yeah, the Tasmanian devil is their dog. What? The Tasmanian devil is their- look at him! He's their dog! <laughs> That's so fucking funny! He's a little femboy dog. What the- A little femboy dog. I don't think I like that expression. Recipes. You don't cook. Well, I don't have the time. But seven minute meals- He's doing an ad spot in the middle of the episode. What the fuck is doing a Hello Fresh ad right for us, bro? What the- Imagine the world where like cartoons start having like YouTuber ad segments in them. What's up guys? I'm Daffy Duck. This video is sponsored by Ray Shadow Legends. That would be crazy. Daffy pulling up with the Raycons, bro. Porky, <laughs> can I see you in my office? It'll be what I do. Dude, Porky works a nine to five. Like, his job is probably some shit. Like, he has to write a bunch of numbers in an Excel sheet and then delete them all before he clocks out for work that day. Like, he has no purpose. And if you'd like, while I'm at it, I can smooth out that bump in your beak. I love this doctor for some reason. I, I really like his voice. It, it's like very authentic for some reason. It's like some, some just Jewish doctor in New York. You're a narcissist? You're a sociopath. You're probably a psychopath. Dude, I wouldn't have known either of any of those words what they meant as a child. That's all I'm saying. This is like sexist. 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 Oh, like racist. Sexist. Homophobic. Did you want these in color or black and white? Do I have a bump on my beak? He just fucking okay. knocked her down. Daffy heard her say, "Do you want this in color?" And he uh, he attacked that woman. She was about to be okay with color. Think about that. He is racist. He's black and racist at the same time. You know, Daffy Duck. He kind of is like Kanye West if you think about it. Why are you here? Maybe because I work here. Is Bugs a fucking class tourist right now? He's doing like Mr. Beast, like. I went to a third world country for one day. I started working a nine to five job to see how shitty my life could be. And then he's like, whoa, this is so hard. I would kill myself if I had to do this. I want to look like this. First of all, that's a woman. Right. Whoa! What if Daffy's fucking trans, Mr. Doctor? What if Daffy is a trans duck and you're not gonna support him? But maybe he meant like, like that's a human woman, not like a duck woman. It'll be a success when these bandages come off and I show the world the new me. This is just like the sexy Squidward episode. But Daffy's already sexy, so what are they gonna change? Well, they're gonna change his gender. They're literally gonna reverse his fucking duck pussy or whatever. He doesn't have any bandages downstairs. Stop it! You're hurting me! I like he put the nipples in though. <laughs> That's so cute. Very perky. I'm saying that you need to make work fun. I don't know, Bucks. Work is supposed to be miserable, bro. Shut up, man. Just clock in, clock out. Who cares? If you're even like sentient while working, are you even working? Like that shouldn't be like not even brain function. Like, what are you gonna yell at your wife about after work? Like. It's gonna look the same. It's gonna look exactly the same. It's a placebo effect. 
Is he gonna get One. fired today or something? Like, is this the day that Porky loses his fucking job? He made a paperclip chandelier instead of working. He's getting fired. Hello, world. I'm about to make you a whole lot prettier. Oh my god, they're doing this bullshit where they won't show us the front of his face for like an hour. Like, come on, just let me see it, man. Oh, he's terrifying. He's gonna look awful. They got rid of the duck bill. They got- did they get rid of his bill? Did they just give him like a- like a human nose? A duck? Oh, well, I wasn't sure what that was. We put him in the way back. Bro, they put him in the back. Cause he's black, huh? Cause he's a black duck? Yikes. What's the occasion? Ah! <laughs> He's just a nerd. He's a nerd. That looks disgusting. They made my point to the nerd emoji and it's really sad. When it comes to my appearance, there can be no imperfections. This looks like the white dude that like got plastic surgery to like look like a K-pop star or something and then it looked horrible. This looks like Zac Efron post fucking plastic surgery, man. It, and it looks terrifying. Okay, I come to the conference room. And bring the paper airplane. Oh, he's addicted. He's addicted to being a fucking troll. No. Wait, this is just Courtney's arc in Total Drama. You give a taste of pork to the pig and he can't go back. What about the Papadopoulos returns? The, 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 the Papadopoulos returns. He just shredded them. He just shredded them. <laughs> oh, jingle bells. <laughs> you fired. The man finally had fun at his job and he went crazy. This is why we need the need him to be miserable. Oh, am I fired too? He's like, that turns me on a little, so you're Bugs. safe for now. Bugs, you're kind of sexy. I I'm just so excited about this new chapter in my life. He can't afford rent, he can't get a date, so he's dating the fucking paperclip girl. This is the saddest moment of my life. She does have perky tips though like those they're like pins on her chest man like let's be honest porky loves the perkiness man uh, basketball do they ball in at the lakers i finally know what i want to do with my life be a professional basketball player hey <laughs> daffy thinks just because he's black he's gonna be a good basketball player like he, he has a <laughs> he has a bit of an advantage but like you know, he's like, I figured it out. I finally noticed one attribute that's very common. <laughs> he watched basketball for one minute. What trans? Trans cable? Finally, we've got the neck, the um, network exclusively for trans people. Hello, yes, trans person on the phone. Yes, we support you. We support trans rights. And that's the day I randomly select one of our customers and turn off their cable. Oh, this is <laughs> fucking evil. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 this, this can't be happening. <laughs> is this episode Bugs Bunny calling cable customer service? Are you fucking kidding me? And he's not even Indian, what the hell? Can't you press a button and turn my cable back on? No. <laughs> Mr. Buny. This is the only way this turtle feels power. <laughs> this is hell. Anytime I talk to like an internet, like customer service provider, I'm going to imagine them as this turtle. This is 100% the writers just tapped into the every experience they've ever had with customer service. I'm sorry, I'm kind of in a hurry. Which font? Old West or Triberica? Hello? I need a hundred copies of this. I said, give me a minute. Ah, this is like giving me secondhand like anxiety, oh, no. the situation. I live in America. If I want to experience this, I can just go fucking in any store. I can go outside <laughs> in any store and experience this. Why do I need a Looney Tunes episode for this? How about my hundred copies? How about I take your head and shove it in that machine and make a hundred copies of your stupid face? You got time for that? Dude, Daffy is ruining his girlfriend's job. Daffy just got his girlfriend fired for scree- Oh my- Can you maybe just spray a little here? Yeah, and here. She's putting the feet for bugs later? Like why- The worker actually sprayed her feet? That is so weird. They will do that if you ask them to. Okay, where- Which stores? Which stores do that? That's actually the secret at Victoria's Secret. Will I still get to make people's lives miserable? <laughs> Only when you're forced to fire someone. Welcome aboard. He's self-aware of how terrible he is. I thought he was ignorant. I thought Daffy was ignorant to all of this. Daffy's like like Lola Bunny if she wasn't ignorant. Like he knows he's a piece of shit. He doesn't care. Can you just put our cable back on? Oh, I don't know how to do that. I thought you worked there. I do, but so far I've just been firing people. <laughs> 
so many people. So many people unemployed. They have families. This is the most toxic workplace known to me. It's like Blizzard customer support or some shit. All I've been doing is firing people and stealing their breast milk. Here we go. You did it! My cable's back on! Is there anything else I can help you with today? He only gave him the fucking- But no, he got fire content! He got the telenovela, bro. Why does the Mexican mouse show up the second they're watching the, the telenovela channel? Maybe I'll just watch a little bit. Oh, he's gonna he's get into, into the telenovelas. <laughs> no, he's gonna get it. They suck you in like that, man. Twin brother? I'm get. I'm starting to get invested in this plot. Dude, I gotta get into telenovelas. I'm not even gonna lie. That sounds like fire. <laughs> they kind of they kind of look fire, not gonna lie. That's the next arc of our channel. I'm on break. Okay, but you better be back by 2.30 or you're fired. What? <laughs> Is this just them, like, having fun doing layoffs? So, like, they're like, yeah, let's just hire some random guy to fire everyone for us instead. It doesn't matter. Just pick someone. Okay, I've got him. All right. So this customer's in a hurry, but you're already busy doing a bunch of other stuff. This is gonna take like three hours <laughs> yeah. to explain and she's not going to get it. Oh, never mind. Wow, she's- Oh, it's gonna be like a flirtate- Oh my god, he's flirting. Look at him. Light skin stare. Riz Bunny over here. Oh, whoa, whoa. whoa. I thought she was about to start taking more off, man. I thought it was about to all come off there for a second. Kind of thought I was gonna work here until I figured out what I really wanted to do. Oh, look at her ass, man. What the fuck? Her ass is what literally the poking fuck? out. What the fuck? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Ew! 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 Why Yo! did she? She did the. Huh? What would, what would you do with that customer? I drop everything and do whatever he said. He's my customer, and my customer is my world. <laughs> Welcome to the coffee hut. My name is Becky. Oh my god, what? 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 Finally, we were missing on the cross-dressing content in these three episodes. Bugs' plan is to seduce the turtle, f him, and then never text him back. Is that what's gonna happen here? I just want to go to the 22nd floor. Well, there's a number of ways to get to the 22nd floor. Ah, uh, you can get the silver packet. <laughs> oh my god, the amount of pettiness. <laughs> this is the perfect amount of pettiness for this situation. It's the the writer's dream of getting back at the customer service worker, just like being able to appear and just make their lives inconvenient. Where is everyone? Where am I? The future. What? What the fuck is this? Is this Daffy? This is Daffy. No, this is Bugs again. Wait, no, this is Daffy. This is Daffy. Mr. Puny. It's pronounced bunny. Damn it, it's fucking bunny. God damn it, I should have stuck with my gut. It's okay, man. Just get more confidence next time. You got it. Man, did you watch all those Scooby-Doo episodes for nothing? You can't even predict this guy? While you're at it, why don't you throw in the Spanish language channel? Hey, he's always come around. Hey, he's looking up for Speedy, though. That respect. That respect you looking up for my boy. You're fired. What? Go ahead and clear out your desk. Well, that's everyone. He fired everyone who works here. Well, that's everyone. Lindsay is the American foreign exchange student living in the Hacienda with Dr. Jimenez. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is he giving birth? Yeah. Live pregnancy scene on Looney Tunes show. Es un niño. Es hermoso. The baby has a stash. That is racist as fuck. What the fuck? He's a father. <gasps> eh. I'll watch the finals next year. Yo, he'd rather watch the telenovela than the finals. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, you choked! You're the world's worst! Bugs with the baseball cap is weirdly... is weird. It's giving me, like, girl next door vibes. Like, he looks like he has a ponytail and he's gonna go to softball practice. He needs the Yankee with no brim. Yo, the Yankee with no brim on, on Bugs' fucking head. I bet you're a terrible husband and father! Oh, Daffy is sport. He's an evil sports better for DraftKings, and he's intentionally fucking up with the team so he can make a lot of money. Daffy is definitely a sports better. Oh yeah, he's addicted. I'd watch his kick streams though. Oh, his kick streams are crazy, dude. Closed. Ah, if it isn't my favorite customer. The most Whoa. Italian man ever created. This is Mario, right? I'm going to see the Mario movie in theaters April 5th. Where are you going? Back to Italy. Oh, uh, that's nice. Nice? 
It's terrible. We love this place. Oh, I thought he was saying that Italy was, was a terrible place there for a second. I thought Bugs Bunny had some serious opinions about the Italian people there for a second. Italy fucking sucks. Why would you want to go back there? They have a building that's leaning over. Like, fix that, man. Oh my lord! I go oh my Whoa. god! Okay, I understand why he's leaving. I understand. Mr. Girardi is selling the restaurant. Then I'll buy it. That's brilliant! I've always wanted to own a restaurant. Bad investments are Daffy's, Daffy's specialty, man. Don't go into the restaurant business. The margins are tiny. It's hard to make it. It's harder than you think. I'm buying Girardi's pizza. But as your financial advisor... Are they eating pork ribs? Oh, oh, my, oh god. my god. <laughs> oh my god. During Ramadan in front of their friend Porky, bro. That is haram, bro. Do you have any waiting experience? I wait for the bus every day. Oh. What is the um Oh yeah, what are they trying to do with this character? Like, I don't know. Oh my god. Daffy is gonna take advantage of someone with a mental disability. Just like the military. I'm just kidding. I don't know if the military actually does that. Forrest Gump. <laughs> Forrest, yep. It happened in Forrest Gump, so it must be true. I'm dependable, hardworking. Yo, Marvin. Why are they trying to get this guy? He's a fucking killer. He's like an astronaut. His color scheme, though. Look at the color. It already looks like he works at an Italian place. You know what I mean? He's just like the flag. He's literally just their flag. Marvin is probably like Italian coded. He's black. What are you talking about? There, there are black Italians. Grow up. Grow up, what? okay? Is Mario black? That's the only Italian I know. Or because you want to be surrounded by all these cheese. Bro, you're getting your feet in the fucking cheese that's disgusting unsanitary this is like new york style pizza now because you got rats crawling around like the kitchen you know what i mean where they just like spit on it before they <laughs> hand you the slice that's what the grease is man it's all speedy's foot sweat any questions how do you make pizza <sighs> you just roll the dough Dude, we've all played fucking Papa's Pizzeria. Like, how do you not know how to do this, Daffy? Well, you know, some people are less good at Papa's Pizzeria than others, okay? And there's no reason to discriminate on that basis, okay? What there seems to be the problem? I ordered a cheese pizza and he gave me a cup of cheese and a IOU. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Why didn't you tell me that cardboard was flammable? You're drunk with power. <laughs> oh, you're drunk, you're drunk Daffy. Daffy. You're that drunk. fire looks weird. You're drunk, Daffy. Go home. You're covered in cum, Daffy. Go home. Ooh, it'll be real Italian it'll be a pepperoni. What the well, fuck did that we What the? Oh my God, he's sucking that. Thing. Ooh, what the? Porky, that's kind of weird. Daffy Duck the Wizard. This is anime. What the fuck are we watching? What? Anime movies. Daffy Duck is fucking Samurai Jack. And he has the bitches. For what whoa, the whoa, fuck? Whoa, whoa. The anime t whoa. in fucking Looney Tunes? What? I think you're going to enjoy this. What happens? Oh my. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. What? What? What is happening right now? Daffy an anime woman canonically <laughs> he did he literally fucked anime bitches in the looney tunes show gerardi's needs a miracle fast oh my god speedy is the miracle because they realize oh at what every restaurant needs is a mexican in the kitchen you need a cheese with some bite uh -huh. and you you have a wisdom about you. He's into gilfs and dilfs. How did he make the pizza that fast? That's not possible. They didn't even order anything. How the fuck did Speedy he do that? Speedy is the goat. That is unsanitary as hell. Where's the health inspection? <laughs> well, you, you know what? The, it, it's like the less sanitary the food, the better it tastes. True. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Finds out the secret to a successful restaurant, a mouse. Was a, a Mexican. Mexican. A Mexican. Don't say a mouse, say a Mexican. Oh my goodness, this is like ratatouille. This is actually wholesome. I've been eating meat. He didn't know pepperoni was meat. Cannibalism. Cannibalism. He's, oh my god. Oh my god, and he can't this stop. Is he can't. Oh my god, he's addicted. Hello? Why do you add that in the show? That's fucking horrifying. Deliver the pizza. Roll out. Daffy would be really good in war. Like, if there's a World War III, like, I want Daffy on my side. To be fair, it was a good shot. It was a good shot. Like, Daffy would have no issues, like, breaking every Geneva Convention. Yeah, like, he doesn't even know they exist. 
<laughs> Bro, I love the little sitcom sound they play at the beginning. This show would benefit from like a laugh track. Like he opens the door and it's like, ah. People start booing when Daffy comes on screen. Boo! Get that fucking. Whatever. <laughs> Starts saying slurs. Uh, I thought maybe, maybe we can hang out. Oh, I can't. I, I got a date with Lola. How about you try getting some pussy, <laughs> Porky Pig? How about, you, how about you try getting some pork on your fucking little quill back there? How about that? <laughs> I don't got a girlfriend. Oh, uh, you, you want to hang out? No, really. <laughs> <laughs> base Speedy base. I fucking love Speedy in this show. He's like so independent and like cool. Yeah, he's just How's in he... his own lane. So then the junior assistant manager position opens up. And what do they do? They give it to Brian. Brian. Oh my Brian. God, dude. This is like the most believable girl complaining dialogue. Like this is too realistic for a Looney Tunes <laughs> show right now. I'll get it. You know what? I think we will have dessert. This Bro. is such a dead dog. He is Ain't such a no dead dog. no way. Oh she can't fix him, man, Tina. I'm going to be straight up with you. I don't think Daffy is a fixable operation. Sorry I have to spend date night doing my homework. Daffy is watching World War II documentaries. He's not even watching documentaries. He's just watching, like, the live... ISIS like, beheading killing videos. Killing footage, yeah. He's watching ISIS beheading videos in front of the GF. So romantic. There you go. How did you do that? I don't know. I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. So I was wondering if you'd be my partner. Me? What about you? Wouldn't you <laughs> rather up. ask a woman? What? Wouldn't you there's, rather ask There's a woman? way too much realistic dialogue in this show. Like, it almost makes me uncomfortable. I'm like, this shit aired on Cartoon <laughs> Network? What the fuck? It's okay, though. Uh, I'm used to being alone. No, wait. I'll do it. Do what? Porky got no hose. <laughs> Porky got no hose, bro. Now we can talk. What do you want to talk about? Ooh, you want to talk about aliens? You got to find another girl, Bugs. <laughs> she is, she's a little, uh, oh my lord, he's looking good. Oh my goodness, bro. He looks like, he hot. looks like Hillary Clinton. <laughs> uh, hot. I meant hot. I mean, same thing. Same thing. You know what I mean? Like, same. <gasps> Clash! Porky's going to kill me. Wait, Tina still needs a French braid. Oh my god. Bugs is cosplaying as a woman, showing up to this dance class. Oh, and then Lola's gonna Bugs. think that Bugs is cheating on her Who with is that himself. Woman leaving Bugs's house? <gasps> She's oh my god! <laughs> we just guessed, oh we literally god. just guessed the entire. You no. guys just guessed the entire episode. No, beat for beat. Who's your dance partner? She's such a beautiful woman. Finally, someone with some taste. Why? Oh, why oh are you god, doing this? Why? And second of all, that was me. Say what? <laughs> <laughs> Is she gonna break up with him for cross dressing? The beauty school, but Daffy's doing a homework for her. So I was wearing a wig that he was cut. I don't think Lola is registering any of this information right now. Siete, ocho, nueve. Those are horrifying eyes. Those are horrifying. <laughs> oh my eyes. God, I am Speedy! Uncomfortable. Speedy looks like he's about to do something without Bugs. Bugs needs consent. a restraining order right now. The amount of volumizer I used on your perm. Yeah, why is that so he's good just at naturally this. goaded? He's just naturally the best barber. He doesn't even have hair. What is oh he doing now? My I don't, god. Oh is he? my he's god. Becoming he's, no, he's, he's becoming a minion. He's becoming a marketable minion. He's becoming a minion. He's becoming a Wait, he's just becoming dude. Donald Duck. Exactly. But you're not an evil robot. You're a robot looking for love. This kind of goes hard. But there's not a lot of besides the singing, the music part. There's not good. even. There's like not but even. Besides the singing no and like the music. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. He started playing and then guitar came in. Oh my Whoa. god. Bugs is wearing lingerie. He is literally dressed like a Toho character right now. Like he is doing way <laughs> too much. Her hair's like straw, you wouldn't feed a donk. The, the imitation is awesome. The impression is surprisingly good. Tina? I mean, uh, it's my twin sister, uh, Greena. Greena. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? Until recently, I didn't know the answer. <laughs> oh my god, he's trans. He's coming out as trans. Who said you're beautiful? You did. I was trying to make you feel better about yourself. Speedy. <laughs> Speedy didn't even want to hit, bro. Speedy did I think I think he's capping. I think he's capping. <laughs> no! He's capping so hard. No! Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. Holy shit! Is he Whoa. gonna pipe this milk? Whoa, right now? pipe pipe the Latina. More iced tea? 
For the lady? Ha 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 ha. He's coping so hard. <laughs> he's oh coping. my god. He's coping. So this is my friend, Nancy. Nice to meet you. Porky's pipe in the milf. Holy shit. Porky's smoly. pork in the milf. Porky has a fucking milf GF right now. Like, Porky somehow ended up winning this episode. Bro, Seinfeld. This is literally just Seinfeld opening. They're literally at the stupid diner in Seinfeld. And they're going to talk about, Jerry, you f that woman again? What the hell is wrong with you? I don't think I've ever seen a single episode of Seinfeld, I'm going to be honest. So basically, it's like kind of boring, to be honest. Your birthday's not until next week. Oh, we're well within the birthday zone. <laughs> Fucking dick. It's his birth week. Oh, right. It's a simple fracture. She'll have the cast off at a This man has a giant nose but Why is there just a giant <laughs> nose? I, it goes hard as fuck, low-key. I want the giant nose. I started swinging myself back and forth until finally I flung myself the as fuck? high as I could. The momentum? What? 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 She's literally a Mario? Mario fucking Odyssey? No. I landed flat on my back in the middle of some girl's apartment. Hello. She was super sweet. We're totally having lunch next week. But you broke her window! That's thousands of dollars, Lola. And throw myself into the elevator shaft. You fell down an elevator shaft? Will you please just listen? This I is insane. The elevator cables. I this Bro, her life is a movie. Just pull up. She's, she's climbing the gym hilarious. rope. And I realized it wasn't a baby. It was a crow. <laughs> <laughs> she's crazy. She's crazy. Put her in a mental institution. Throw her in she the loony bin. She used a crow for a baby. I lost my balance and fell 15 stories. And that when you broke your leg. No, I landed on an- Is this the entire episode? <laughs> Is this gonna be the entire fucking episode? And I slipped getting up on this table. It's really high. You should try it. No, wait, don't. Oh my god. <laughs> that story had nothing to do with it. Uh, that's probably the best joke in the entire show. That's so funny. The guy we're looking for is chubby, short, and bald. With a pig-like nose. Daffy thinks that Porky is a serial. <laughs> I'm in Porky's house. Get out. Get out. Get out, Daffy. No, no, it's get out! It would be awesome if just switched to like first person POV and he was like holding like a flashlight. Wait, they say never let your attacker take you to a second location. Who is he talking to? <laughs> Who the f da he's still in the room, Daffy. You think I'm chubby? You're not just chubby. No, he's not! <laughs> chubby. Short and bald. No! Oh, roasting him! He's just roasting him! When do you get your cast off again? Only six weeks. Oh my goodness, she's six weeks pregnant. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. Well, they do f like rabbits, right? <laughs> so, makes sense. It's me. It has to be tonight. I uh, think he's on to me. <laughs> no way. Whoa. No way, dude. That's fucking hilarious. Wait a minute. Calm down. This is Bro, look at that picture in the back, though. Porky's grandpa going hard as fuck. An inquisitive motherfucker. Yo. <laughs> you know what? Oh, no. Because he's get it's Daffy's birthday. So he's making Daffy a birthday cake. No gonna, way. It's going to be a surprise party. Yeah, that's going to be the twist. Party. I thought this was the bathroom. Do it in it not go in there. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's so menacing, bro. He's so menacing. What the hell is this episode, bro? <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, what's Why the chainsaw for? Why did you have a fucking for? chainsaw? What could be in here? Bodies? Torture machines? Why do I want to go in there? Because I was told not to and I have a problem with authority. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> that was resolved quickly. Oh, never mind. my god. Never mind. Never oh mind. Oh my god. Chinese food's flat and round with cheese and tomato sauce and a bunch of different toppings. That's called pizza. Well, I don't know. I don't speak Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> No, fuck, no. What? How? What? How? Yeah, then you leave me no choice. Oh my god! What is he gonna do? Like, this has been going on for the entire episode. Was there even a song this episode? <gasps> Only a murderer would ask that question. He's still. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, bro? What the fuck? Uh, speedy? Speedy? What did you do to Speedy? 
That looked like it hurt. Like, this doesn't feel like typical cartoon violence. Like, that looked like it was actually painful. Do not run over Porky, please. <laughs> no. Please. Bro. No. <laughs> what no. the fuck is Fucking this episode? Way. That's a good way to kill somebody. I love that. It I like the, the tiny two. little intersection of the plot. Yeah, it links the plot together. It's so funny. Yeah, down with the Confederate statues. Yeah, so progressive, Daffy. That that was the real message of this episode. It becomes like a like an always sunny plot where like they think that Daffy was trying to take down the Confederate statue. It, like becomes like a hero. Pinky was planning to throw this on your actual birthday. Oh, that's that hurts. No, just pull it, man. It's not that heavy. Kids use it all the time. Little kids. <laughs> <laughs> Little kids, bro. Are you talking about the phone in the guest room? It, it's an antique. It, 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 it just for decoration. Do they really have to explain everything? Like, I get it. <laughs> Daffy is fucking stupid. Like, that could be the end of the explanation. Daffy, you are stupid. But I saw you murder a woman. It will be a what? With a chainsaw. That was an ice sculpture. Ice sculpture? Bro, Porky <laughs> went way too hard for this. What did Daffy do to deserve this kind of treatment? The Suburban Strangler has been captured. Whoa. Oh my god, it kind of looks like him too. Ew. Mm. Mm. You can really taste the Kung Pao. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way. She did not say the Kung Pao on the pepperoni pizza. What does she think orange chicken is then? She thinks orange chicken is like white people shit. Did, did you know? Recent evidence suggests... Eden, this is like when we went to that like exhibit in Texas and like you were teaching me about the history and then I just walk away. Yeah, that was kind of rude. That was kind of <laughs> rude, dude. You have five Darvins and no Daffy? Darvin? This is being a minority in America and like going to literally any other place like this. Like they don't have your name unless you unless you're white, basically. Darvin is the world's stupidest name. Oh my god, there's literally a kid named Darvin there. Was originally inhabited by Native Americans. And then they were all murdered. They were all genocided. This just proves that like the Looney Tunes characters in this show are aware of the genocide of the Native Americans. Are Daffy and Bugs though? Because they completely ignored they completely ignored Porky's explanation. Who are you? Oh, uh Darvin. <laughs> Darvin. Yeah, Dad, let's be reasonable. Buddy, if you don't put some pants on, you're gonna be coming with me too. Bro, look at those shorts, man, though. That's kind of hot. He is a twink. <laughs> <laughs> the twink park ranger aesthetic is like a thing that I didn't know I was I was into. Throw this empty can of soda into the Grand Canyon. You have to go to court for this? Are you not wearing pants? Indecent exposure? What? No, it's like it's like Schrodinger's pants. It's like you only need to wear pants if you have a shirt on. But if you don't have a shirt on, then it's almost like you're wearing pants because... How is that? I don't know. I don't know. He has like feathers and Bugs has fur. Oh. So I guess, does that count as clothing? I have fur. Of course. Yeah, yeah. If you let yourself get hairy enough, it won't count as public indecency. My criminal record speaks differently, Cor. I don't like the way they draw the soda. It just, how do I say it in a nice, it looks very It looks like diarrhea. Like. It looks like pure diarrhea covering these gentlemen. Crime. Well, some might say being too good looking. Hey, yo, oh my god. Oh my Bugs god. Bugs Bunny what? is like so slay right now. I mean, it could use some accessories, uh, maybe a few pillows or some scented candles. Jack, I'm not gonna lie. If we were cellmates, I could survive. You know what I mean? I think I would make you my prison bitch day one. Like, even if we were friends beforehand, I would. And I would be into it. So, like, that's why I would be able to last. I I'd make you sneak the cigarettes up your ass, bro. Like, you'd be popping them. I wouldn't have to sneak them. <laughs> I'd, I'd be doing it willingly. I'm Bugs. This is Daffy. We're in cell 2R. Come by any time. The door's always open. Why is Bugs, like, so high? He's, like, weirdly excited about going to jail. Bugs is the guy who's, like, there just for an experience because it's new. He's like, oh, this is unique. 
He just baked you a cake, Daffy. You think Porky is that smart? Do you think? No crowbar. No shiv. He said shiv. Like, isn't Looney Tunes supposed to be like super kid friendly? No, Looney Tunes was originally for general audiences. It was literally racist. Well, racism used to be kid friendly. You do have a Neanderthal-shaped head, which I normally equate with stupidity. Why are they in prison for littering? They're actually in prison for contempt of court because Daffy Duck and Bugs Bunny were making out with each other and swirling Coca-Cola. I thought you were about to say squirting. I'm really glad you did not say squirting. Squirting Coca-Cola into each other's mouths. Teach that bully a thing or jump! We watch the most holes Stanley Yelnats episodes of Looney Tunes right now. I'm gonna pretend like I understood a single word you just said. It's like you're trying to get me to blow my stack. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh whoa, God. God. <laughs> he came in his pants. He came in his pants. He blew his load. I mean, his stack. He blew his stack. <laughs> We're alive. I'm imagining they just had that as a shared dream. <laughs> the Yosemite yeah, Sam came himself, <laughs> Bugs, what the hell? Yosemite Sam came to me in a dream. What does it mean? Change your appearance. He's doing yellow face. And he's like, and now you have to start doing a racist accent. Well, Bugs Bunny definitely did that back in the day. If we, <laughs> like, editor, play, play some, some racist ass Bugs Bunny real quick. You're Bugs Bunny. The one and only. And you're Daffy Duck. I didn't say that. He knows how to talk to the police, bro. He knows how to talk to the police. <laughs> I didn't say that. Now, good night, Leopold. Good night, Randy. Do you think they fight just so they hate sex is better? Officer! So is this teaching kids that if you change your skin color, you can get away with crimes? Like, is, that, is that what it's teaching children back in the day? They're teaching kids that jail is fun and changing your skin color gets you out of trouble. You're on the what? Lamb. Oh, lamb. I love lamb. It's a really oh, dumb joke. <laughs> what a weird joke. No, we're not on the lamb. Oh, thank goodness. Rabbit and duck on lamb is way too much meat. <laughs> Watching my cholesterol. <laughs> Damn, they haven't showered in days. Oh my God. Imagine the smell. Imagine the sweet, the beautiful musk. bug's musk. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You're throwing off my wizard concentration. <laughs> what the fuck? What? What? No, it's because Daffy's a wizard. He, he did have that whole song. Yeah, we watched a song in the last episode where he had hot anime girlfriends and also was a wizard. You're going back to jail. I thought you'd never find us. He's so excited. One, One year later. La One year later. Y you're free. But that's why I'm crying. Hey, to think that cheer up. Well, with the recidivism rate of 68%, uh, you'll be back in jail in no time. Oh <laughs> my what god! The fuck? Oh, oh my god! god. Hello. Whoa. No! Oh my god, they're gonna blame it on Porky. Hey, will, we, will you open the glove compartment and hand me those pants? Oh my god, he has pants just in case he gets pulled over. That weekend we spent in Vermont was the most powerful experience of my life. This is not for Daffy. No one has said such kind words to this stupid duck. What are you doing? Reading a letter. That's not addressed to you. Well, oh, Jack guessed it already. Jesus Christ. You should be excited to go to your reunion. You always said high school was the greatest time of your life. Bro. Oh, he peaked at high school. I was taking the last shot. Hi, I'm a, 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 a porky pig. <laughs> Why is he up here? He's a ginger. He's a ginger. <laughs> Porky's ice spice. But he made graduation though. Oh, cake for the lady. You know what? Cake for everybody. It's on me. I think Daffy fell asleep watching some high school sitcom and uh, dreamed it into his life. If that is true, I'm not watching cartoons with you guys anymore because you guys literally guess everything and then I can't enjoy the cartoon anymore. <laughs> it's on you. <laughs> School shooter origins. Porky Pig was this close. He was about to go ham. Daffy used to fuck with him in high school, and now they're like good friends. And like, Daffy still fucks with him. <laughs> you didn't go to high school? Let's just say my youth was unconventional. He was a child actor. He's like, I said all that racist stuff and did blackface when I was a child. That's why I'm not responsible for it now. My rabbit's mother forced me to do all that racist stuff. Senior prom. Homework. You're weird. <laughs> True. Bugs is just uh, trying to live through Daffy right now. You've got to do something special. 
something admirable. I'm pretty sure Daffy just lying to Bugs about being cool in high school. This is like some always sunny in Philadelphia stuff where like Mac and Charlie think they were so cool in high school, but they got bullied like every single day. <laughs> Daffy is basically an always sunny character. Yeah, he's manipulative, asshole, has no empathy for anyone. I think the show would be better if it was like as edgy as always sunny. <laughs> I want to see them start you know selling what? crack to homeless people. I'm Agent Jimmy Glass and this is Agent Ira Bunnels and we're with the Treasury Department. <laughs> what? Uh, oh my god, he's gonna steal all these. He's gonna rob him. He's gonna, gonna rob him. him. Yep, this one looks a little iffy. Gonna have to run some tests. Now get out of here. He just get stole a dollar here, from him. To be honest, I'm just surprised he only stole one dollar. I was expecting him to take the entire wallet. Yeah, no, me too. Well, after high school, I just had to get away from it all. Oh my <laughs> god, the drip is immaculate. I heard the call of duty. And I answered. I played Call of Duty, then I jerked off while playing Call of Duty and sprained my arm. <laughs> I broke my arm jerking off while playing Call of Duty. I'm Batman. Batman. Oh, Darkwing Duck. The drip is immaculate, bro. It's gonna be a big reunion. I can tell a lot of lies. That couldn't possibly backfire. <laughs> I think Bugs just wants to see him burn. Like, uh, if I was Bugs, I would definitely tag along too. Well, Bugs literally just wants to go because he's never, he'll never have the chance to have this experience. Oh my god, what the hell? That, that was like a Bojack course from Depressions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, play the beginning of the intro. I'm the cock of the walk. I'm the cock of the walk. I'm He's the, the cock, cock of the walk. You know what? We don't have to censor that. We don't. It's it's fair game. Oh, we could say cock a lot now. Cock, 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 cock. The cock of the walk. You know, the writers definitely, like, they knew what they were doing. They were like, we legally get to say cock here, and they can't stop us. Timmy Bankhead. Friends of yours? No. Oh. I don't know any of these people. <laughs> I'm now the head of a very profitable non-profit organization. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is a great line. <gasps> is that somebody else's old algebra teacher? Dude, I feel like almost depressed for Bugs. Like, what happened in his childhood? Like, he had like conservative parents who homeschooled him. He didn't get any of the experience. Couldn't be me. Could be me. Could be me. <laughs> Yo! Yay. They brought up the budget for this one. Holy shit. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my god. This is very well animated. This is just like the Wednesday scene. Guys, if, if this video gets 10,000 likes, Eden will do the Wednesday dance. I'm totally gonna do that, yeah. Batman, come quick. There's a break in at the museum. Batman. 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 The president of Mexico? He's Batman? The president of Mexico. <laughs> the president of Mexico. This is the most gullible room of adults you'll ever find. You mean Daffy Dork. Ew, that guy was such a nerd. What the <laughs> flip? The truth comes out. Daffy Dork. They're like 30 and you're still calling him Daffy Dork. There were three seconds left. What? Porky was the Chad? <gasps> no way. <laughs> That's why Daffy keeps yeah, fucking with him till this day because Porky used to fuck with him in high school. It all makes sense. It's on you. I mean, but you know what they say? They say your bullies, they always get it in the end. And Porky did get it in the end because now he is an accountant and he has to live the sad existence of being an accountant. And Daffy's so cool because he just gets to bum off of his friend and sleep on his friend's couch. From here to here. But it turns out. You never went anywhere. Oh, right. exactly. <laughs> Why does he like have the board just prepared? Was that board already there? He was just ready. You used to be the prettiest girl in school. And now you're, well, you're still very beautiful. <laughs> what? <laughs> what a weird scene. At least he's honest. At least he's honest. You know what I mean? Daffy Dork. Daffy Dork. This Daffy is awful. Dork. Daffy like, low key, Dork. this is Daffy awful. Daffy Dork. why are you cheering for him? Home movies from my unconventional youth. I haven't seen these in a while. Lore. Oh, lore. no. Trauma. We're getting a lore drop. Bugs was a child soldier, and we all know it. He was a child soldier. Meh. I don't think I've peaked quite yet. And he's also Batman. He's he also didn't Bat also have to be Batman. Bro. What? 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 He has a Batmobile. What a weird way to end the episode. And tune in next time for Lunatics Unleashed. Mm, the only thing better than a third cup of coffee? A fourth cup of coffee. Is this the episode where he goes into cardiac arrest from all <laughs> the caffeine? What's better than one heart attack? Two heart attacks.
I need another cup of coffee. That's so relatable because me as a millennial, like I'm not awake until I've had my cup of coffee. Don't even talk to me. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Why do you think millennials are so fucking poor? Because they spend all their money on the Starbucks and the avocado toast. True, true. You should you should spend your money on water and eat bugs instead, like a real American. Did you say water and bugs? Yeah, I said it. Why would you buy insects? Don't just go outside. No matter how last second, and you never have other plans. Like you don't really have a life. <laughs> That's so mean. The way that they're rude to Porky Pig, it's fucked up because it's so funny every time. Batty. Oh my goodness, God. Oh, holy moly. Oh my goodness. The animators just know how to draw a baddie. That's all I'm saying. I just, I respect it. I'm like, damn, a cartoon where the characters generally aren't hideous. What the fuck? And it was made in America? Like, <laughs> is that allowed? What, what, what? what? Oh my God, he got her. No way. And he's still smashed. And he's still smashing the handcuffs. I'm Steve St. James's biggest fan. And you're no Steve St. James. Daffy Duck discovers what That's acting what is. Said. This is like a Twitter user just realizing that fiction isn't real and what happens in like the TV shows isn't indicative of the person who plays them. That's simply impossible. Nah, you're right, it is simply impossible. You'd make a great chauffeur. Is he just going to try to fight crime in, in real life and then like get his ass beat instantly because he's a duck? I'm highly contagious! Run for your life! This is exactly what we all should have done during the COVID pandemic. I think that that would have been very good for society. Damn, this is tragic. No, this is literally what it's like. Like, trying to get over a caffeine addiction is, like, way harder than people think it is. Avoid caffeine if you don't need to take it, bro. Yeah, don't drink coffee, bro. That shit sucks. That shit sucks. Tastes weird. Those are the sparkler berries. Is this alcohol? Is he just getting sold on? Oh, it's energy drinks, which is literally even worse than coffee. Oh my god, he's just gonna switch That's up. That's literally even worse. Is this gonna be, like, the kidney stone <laughs> episode of Looney Tunes? Like, what is going on? He was stealing your ring and beautifully placing it in this elegant box. No, I, I was- Assaulting her. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on right now? <laughs> that doesn't even, it doesn't work like that. Hello? Is this like THC laced energy drink? They should make like five loco and they put Adderall in it. Yeah, why haven't they made that? That sounds like, that sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Bugs has absolutely lost it. I did a few things around the house. I painted the garage, I resurfaced the swimming pool. Oh, this is Bugs' last day on Earth, so he's doing everything he can. His heart is gonna give out at this rate. Yeah, his brain knows that he's gonna die. The way they animate him, the way he talks, the sound effects that they... I could feel the tense anxiety behind Bugs this episode. He's literally an addict right now. What in tarnation are you doing in my house? Oh, uh... His eyes are glowing red. <laughs> he is laced. This is not just an energy drink. He did hardcore drugs this episode. I don't think Sparkle is FDA approved. It's like the pink sauce on TikTok. Oh, I hope TikTok does not hear what I'm about to say, but if TikTok makes an energy drink, chat, do not buy it, okay? This is your warning from the Spilling the Milk boys. I moved one of the bedrooms into the kitchen, but I think it would look better in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrifying. He's not okay. This is terrifying. He's not okay. Did this air on Cartoon Network? Yeah. yeah. This is wild like there's no way and you are coming with me i'm not going anywhere without my spago the way the a and b plots have come together is, is so great like it <laughs> <laughs> you're right you're right it's amazing daffy's he's, he's arresting all these people for non-crimes and bugs fits into that so well yeah you watch the start of the episode you're like okay bugs has a caffeine addiction and daffy really likes this tv show how is this gonna intersect <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! He knocked Lord. him out at the copy button! Put down the pig! Put down the stapler on right all over the pig's face! Oh, he's gonna kill him! He's gonna kill him! The hostage situation! What the hell is going on right now? Like the jazz music in the background, everyone screaming. This is so intense. This is literally probably the most chaotic episode we've watched so far. 
You're all under arrest. You were right. It wasn't FDA approved. These things are filled with dangerous, highly addictive chemicals. This episode is insane. Is it, what is going on? He's a victim. He's a victim. He's a victim. This is awesome. Oh, oh! The Yosemite Sam OnlyFans just got like three new pictures right there. What did I do? You've been impersonating a cop and handcuffing people all over town. <laughs> he's like the one that has the most valid reason to be arrested. He's like, what did I do? Brandon Steele. I'm just gonna put chauffeur. <laughs> Porky still takes an L. The doctor says one cup of coffee a day can't hurt. Get it? Aww. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Only a spoonful. Only a spoonful. Only a coffee pot pool. The quirkiest little music ever. This is like the beginning of a Weird Al song. Excuse me, sir. The country club is for members only. Well, I'm a member. What's your membership number? One. He's looking out for number one, and I support that. Dude, she was off quit. That was the luckiest shit ever. Membership number? 1673. They have like the absolute worst oh security system here ever. You just walk up and say oh, four God. numbers. Like that can't be good. If you are confident enough and dress in black, you can get into pretty much anywhere. Oh, so it's about being black, huh? You're saying they're like black. Dressed in black, dressed in black. So their skin is black. That's what you just said. No. I'm up for some tennis. Not looking like that, you're not. Wow. Whoa, oh my goodness. Rare Bugs Bunny wearing male clothes. <laughs> this is crazy. Bugs Bunny is wearing clothes and it's not a dress. Dicky, Aggie, hugs, hugs, kiss, kiss. Wanted to B B <laughs> Hello? Who is Aggie, can I get her number? What is going on? <laughs> Aggie got the baggie in the back, bro. What the hell? Hey, 30 love. <laughs> what? Hey. What the fuck is <laughs> happening? Hey, 40 love. Oh my goodness, Lola. Lola! Do I look okay? I think you look great. I think you look great too. <laughs> that sound what? effect. What? What? <laughs> That's like when Naruto and like Sasuke kiss on accident and it goes doing, 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 doing. Can I get you anything to start? I'll, I'll have, have the, the carrot, carrot soup. soup. They both want the carrot soup. They're bunnies. They're rabbit. Rabbits and bunnies are the same thing, right? Can we they have a distinct racial divide. <laughs> I like your hair. Oh, thanks. They're my ears. <laughs> They're, They're my, my ears. ears. He's totally looking at me. Oh, no, wait. Now he's looking down. Now he's looking around. Oh, no. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> this is not okay. She has like five IQ points. This is not okay. Do you like this movie? I love this. Oh, she's a talker. Dude, imagine talking while like in the th thumbnail, but imagine talking while watching something. Like, let us just enjoy what we're watching. Yeah. Like, shut the fuck up, Lola. It's shut your fucking... It's always when you're trying to watch something with your friends and they just talk the entire time trying to make jokes. Like, you aren't... I'm trying to watch the show. The show is funny, not you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Does she have like BPD or something? She's going through 10 emotions a second. No, don't answer that. Hi, Bon Bon. It's Lola. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. The old dynamic, we don't have that dynamic in society anymore. Like back in the day when there was a home phone or whatever, so everybody heard your freaking business. Now we have privacy, and that's so lame. Yeah, I hate it fucking having sucks. privacy. It's so like I want to be able to pick up the other phone on the connected to the landline and listen in on people's conversations without them knowing. Oh, I'll give it to him. We're a couple. It's pretty serious. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I oh love how God. fucking depressed and dead every single customer, like, they all look so fed up with their bullshit. Hi! <laughs> oh my God, thumbnail, what the? <laughs> oh my God! Oh, thank you. Your body looks crazy. More <laughs> cardio and less weights. <laughs> What? Bro. Please don't cry. Oh my god. This is awful. <laughs> no, but think about it. He found her at a country club. This is just yeah. a rich white woman. Like, this is what they are. Every time you see me, you earthlings turn and run. I don't know what your problem is. I'm really super fun. Is this a vocaloid or is this guy like doing the voice for real? <laughs> no, this is just what his voice sounds like. Don't insult my helmet, cause then I'll hit the ceiling. I got a laser! 
it's pointed at your planet. I forget that he's a bad guy just because it's the Looney Tunes and every bad guy is just a quirky dumbass who like always Look fails. at that. They made his fucking weird bird sidekicks that's like sexy for some reason. What I'm about to tell you does not leave this table. Estelle and Abe are breaking up. <laughs> no, oh my no, God. Estelle, he's too far. voice actor he's for too Garnet. Far gone. But apparently, Abe prefers blondes. Don't get your hopes up, Phyllis. Natural blondes. <laughs> Jesus, Daffy is such a. Why does Daffy get along so well with rich old white women? <laughs> of course. Anytime he has any problem, the first thing he goes to is cross dressing. Why is Bugs hotter than Lola? Can we Bugs talk about is this? Liter no, he is literally not. the Be the finster Be of the animated world. You are a bad boy. Oh that, god, I, that, I did not like the way she said that. Kinda that kind of did it for me to be honest. That kind of got me there. <laughs> <laughs> you should feel the beauty of nature embracing you as you walk down the aisle. Basically, Pepe Le Pew, his whole joke is that he tries to f this cat that he thinks is a skunk, but it's just a cat. Okay, well, which one would you rather f you know what I mean? A cat! <laughs> you were very, like, confident and excited to say that you would f a cat. <gasps> This is my dream come true. Like, I'm just gonna be honest with you. This is my dream come true. This is all I've ever wanted in my entire life right here. To marry a rabbit? Specifically the Lola Bunny from the original Space Jam movie. Nah, this one's better. This one's better. I object. What? I'm sorry, Bun Bun. I know how much you love me. <laughs> Dude, this entire, this entire episode is just a... Is just a <laughs> Lola carries this episode so hard. And charge it to 1673! 1673. Oh, it's gonna be Lola's dad. That's my membership. Oh no. <laughs> uh. Assault. And assault is okay if you're rich because you can pay off the cops. A solid fight. You. This is like the Nintendo case where the Nintendo guy like hacked Nintendo Switch software and now he has to pay them $25 million for the rest of his life. He has to pay them 30% of his monthly income until he dies, basically. Oh, okay. He's got the shorts on. I want to see what's underneath. Yeah, yeah. Roll them up. Roll them up, Bugs. I'm totally self-sufficient. Or at least I'm about to be with these hair solar panels. He kind of sounds like Alex Jones. He does. Oh my God. I didn't even notice that. Have fun paying your electric bill. Losers. What is this? This is like an anti like solar, solar power <laughs> episode. Like, what are we watching right I now? I love this. I love I'm not gonna lie, I like this. I'd hate to be Yosemite Sam right now. I'd hate to be Yosemite Sam anytime. <laughs> <laughs> I know I said uh Is he holding a TV dinner? <clears throat> hmm? I thought you said something. Uh no. You ever try putting your head in the microwave? When I was a kid, I used to be obsessed with trying to turn on the microwave while the door was open to the microwave. You were obsessed with it. Like, yes, like, it, like I would constantly? do it every day. I'd be like trying to- Every it. day? For how- uh, Yes, how... I, uh, yes. Surely this kidding. time it'll work. What type of electric toothbrush requires you to like be constantly plugged <laughs> into the wall? It's really powerful. This toothbrush is really, really powerful. Yes, yes, yes. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is he colluding with the Russians? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to Russia. Oh, it is Russian! I fucking knew it. Dude. Tastes like real cheese. Try one. Try one. <laughs> huh? This is the most annoying character in this entire show. You sleep on the couch and I'll sleep in your bed. What? You can't sleep in his bed? Yeah, that's for me and him to sleep in together. Well, don't worry. I actually like to sleep like I'm in a sandwich. You know, one mattress on the top, one mattress on the bottom. What the fuck did he say? He likes to suffocate himself? I am here to meet Yosemite Sam, my new husband. He got a mail order bride. He just got a mail order bride. I was in the house I grew up in. But it was different. Oh my god. This is the thing that pisses me off so much. Whenever I don't want to talk to someone and like go into full story mode, like that is my biggest pet peeve, man. Because then you just got to sit there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or you can just leave like them. You can just leave. The fuck? Oh, yeah, that's the best song ever. What the, the fuck? Chicken home! I want some chicken to eat. It is my favorite meat. I like it. 
Dude, Chicken Hawk is the best character, bro. Bro, this we shit sounded like a Tabuscus <laughs> song right now. <laughs> what am I watching? This, I love this, this one. A, this is a song about a little baby chick that is literally a cannibal and wants to eat his dad. No, I what can't is the name enjoy. of my guardian spices going on? <laughs> this song is fucking hilarious. We have to fill our home with incessant fighting, resentment, and so much tension that no one could stand to live here. At least that's what my parents did. <laughs> 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 I, I no. need the, the sad, the very tragic, sad backstory for Daffy Duck. Now, brothers, let's hug. I'll never, ever leave. Never. Oh, oh no. my god, this is awful. I hate this. Hey, having a good Yo, this party's bouncing. Whatever you want. I hate this the- This is gross. Uh, like, like, he disgusts me. Body. Time for phase three. Is that where they beat him with golf clubs until he dies? There's a ghost in this house. A ghost? Yeah. Why don't you just kill him? Like, be honest. Leave his body up in the telephone wires on some Persona 4 shit. People will think that he was just messing with his solar power and got electrocuted, and that's that. You know what I mean? It's easy. You two will be safe out here in the cold and rain. Oh what? my god. You can't stay with us anymore. I can take a hint. Well, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an inch to take a mile. You give me a secret, I post it online. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> That's the what? beginning of his Alex Jones arc. <laughs> the fish, the fish is, is coming dead. back to life. Please come back to life. Nope. No, that fish nope. is that. They, they didn't have to show the fish. They just did. And if I had it to do over again, I would. What? What is this? No, he's spinning facts. Are you facts. kidding? He's spinning facts, man. Lock the door, lock the door, lock the door, lock the door. <laughs> Get inside. <laughs> <laughs> he was capping. What? Oh yeah, he's like a child in the show. What? He's a fucking child? Those only work at the movie theater. Whoa, he's so close. I did actually try this as a kid though. When you have the 3D glasses, you're like, maybe it'll work. Dude, everyone tried it, bro. <laughs> everyone tried it, but. Nah, dude, everybody popped out the lenses and wore them without the lenses. Like 2010 was a crazy time, man. It's my son, Gossima. He's having some trouble fitting in his school. All the kids pick on him and call him a monster. Is this some racial coding? Hold on a second. Like, she's clearly black-coded, and then her son, everybody at school is calling him a monster and discriminating against him. Don't open that. Sorry. Aw, he's so cute. Yeah, he is really cute. You, you can't help but feel bad for him. Like, Daffy, why are you gonna be so rude? Dude, I relate to this as a kid, bro. I, as an insecure little boy, bro, like, you'd be saying sorry every second. <laughs> well, you're also Canadian. And I'm Canadian. Move it, lady! I mean, how? kids do you have to have before you feel like you've got a family <laughs> <laughs> that's a good joke that's a really good joke hi Carl. hi jason oh he remembers all their names too this is so sad he's doing his best man he's doing his best out here i'm going to sell speedy gonzalez's frozen pizzas in grocery stores all across the country Oh, he's making a commercial. Dude, he's famous, man. Yo, this is the B plus. You should be in it. Nah. Come on. You can play the customer. Uh, I, I don't. Why is Bugs so insecure about doing an acting job? That's literally your entire career. Well, maybe it's like a Bojack Horseman situation where like he used to do the show, but that now that he's like past his prime, like he's afraid to go back. Cause like, what are people gonna think of him? Relax, Pinky, okay? It's a commercial, not a movie. But go see the makeup girl. You're, you're just so pink. I love how Speedy just hates Porky. He just d does not respect him at all. Just because he's fat, has a speech impediment. This movie would be like 700 times better if Speedy Gonzalez called Porky a gringo. Like, that would make the show like 10 times funnier. I don't want to fight. Too late. You're in a fight. And you're already losing. This is sad. Daffy's a horrible influence on this child. Like, sure, it's nice to teach our child how to fight, but if he doesn't want to, you know what I mean? Like, teach him something else, maybe. 
school talent show. Oh my god, he's got a crazy talent. Well, you guess what his talent is, guys. Guess what his talent is. I'm gonna go with um he shaves off his body and makes mustaches for the homeless. That's his that's his talent. What? That's not a talent. That's, that's a talent. Oh, okay. You shave your body hair and make it into a mustache for the homeless. I could do it. You seen my body hair, bro. You think I can't do that? I like it. Pinky, you're overselling it. I told you you could be in the commercial, but you, you gotta pull it back. All he did was say, I like it. <laughs> what? I think, is he just picking on, on Porky just cuz? I like it. That's it. Perfect. Sorry, Pinky. There's just something about him, a likability factor. <laughs> Oh my god, he literally said, you are lame. You are a loser. Get out of my commercial. I hate you. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill your family. Little more. Little more. Little more. Little this is so sad. This joke is so good. He is literally out of the frame, both in the commercial and the actual show. Whoa, that is an awesome outfit. Daffy got the titties, though. And the ass. A rumper back there. What's going on there? Classic media setting unrealistic standards for men. For ducks. How are ducks supposed to make it in this day with these unrealistic expectations being placed upon them? Oh, I like it, guy. Say it. I like it. This is literally the episode of SpongeBob. He's like, I saw you on that commercial. And then it was just a cereal box. Say it. Yeah, you. I like it, guy. <laughs> I like it. Classic. Classic. <laughs> drives off. That is hilarious. The abuse of power is insane. But what about the show part? Oh my god, he's gonna ask him to do a Chainsaw Man cosplay. And then it's gonna be, Happy Day, but oh, ba, ba. And then he's gonna be like, Hello, everybody. I am Denji from Chainsaw Man. Can't I just sing at the talent show? No, you can't sing. He set the house on fire. Bro, he's burning the house down. <laughs> Say it. My house is burning down. That's not the line. This is the weirdest way to incorporate the A and B plot. Like, this is just sad for him. I mean, he probably has insurance, though. He has insurance. The, the A and B plot coming together is just Daffy lighting his house on fire. The sun went out just like a dying. Get this kid off the stage. Yeah, no, he kind of sucks. He's all right, man. Like, he's like eight years old. Like, give him a chance, man. He's all right, man. You turned into Joe Biden for a second there. He's all right, man. I let that kid touch my hairy legs. This guy, kid got hairy everything. The raindrops seem to play a sweet refrain. This is just cute. This is just cute. This is like weirdly wholesome. I feel like the show has never been this wholesome in any other episodes I've watched. I like it. That's such a, an awesome way. The way they combined the A and B plot there was inspired. This is a great episode. This is a great That was amazing. You know, that's my thoughts on this show. I, I like it. it. It's a scorpion tank. Where were the scorpions? Something bit me! Daffy is a terrible person. But it's like karma because they were, they were like bullying him. So they kind of deserved it. It's a wholesome end, you know? So is this why you didn't want me to sing at the talent show? It's just as painful in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> no, this episode's a masterpiece, bro. They bring everything back. That was so good. That was beautiful. Oh, it's Taz. Oh, Tasmanian devil, because he's like their dog. They're going to pump him full of estrogen and make him a little femboy. Fem dog. Thank you very much. I think that Tasmanian devil, after years of inbreeding, is going to be submissive and is going to want to be a pet. I think it actually is a like Australian stereotype that the people from Tasmania like are the incest people. Wasn't that how Australia was founded? Like all the people who were like charged with incest, oh, like they got sent to Australia. Sense. It was a crime back in the day. Now it's a reward. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure it's the other way around. Is the Tasmanian devil a real animal? Yes. Yeah, it is. aren't they extinct? I don't know. I'm gonna make them extinct. I'm on. A, I'm a man on a mission. Yo, Jamie. Jamie, look it up. Yeah, I'm on it. Jamie, can you look up if they're extinct? So it says here that they're not extinct, but that they are an endangered species. Thank you. No problem, man. In 
I don't gamble. I, I mean, I'll buy a lottery. The booty cam. Oh, and he was he was slobbering, man. Is that why they introduced Taz into the show? To integrate a, an IRL booty cam? Wait, Tweety Bird and what's the other one called? I've heard of them before. Sylvester. Are they like a competition to like Tom and Jerry or something? They're funnier than Tom and Jerry, bro. I actually don't know which one came first. The chicken or the mouse? I did. I did see a Tasmanian devil. I used to love these as, as a kid, but like just see, hearing Tweebird say, I did, I did see a Tasmanian devil. That classic line is just, it doesn't hit as hard. I have zero nostalgia for these cartoons. So um, I'm just enjoying it in the moment and I think it's cool and adorable. So how about you go back to having back problems, you millennial? How about that, huh? I wasn't even making a diss. You just roast me for no reason. <laughs> Bro, Daffy was getting mad head there. Does Daffy have a duck? A, a d I mean, he's got the corkscrew, man. But we do f like bunnies, right? So f like rabbits or corkscrew like ducks to pick your own poison. Ducks r don't they? I think everybody so. Do every everybody does it. Everybody. Whoa! I mean, Jesus. every species, sorry. Oh, sorry, I meant rap. I meant rap because everybody likes rap music. That's what I, I like meant to say. I'm home. A gruesome tragedy is gonna make it a lot harder to sell this house. He's selling off the house. He didn't even get permission from the price. Price reduced. reduced. But you know, like it's like whenever you see a spider in your house, you gotta burn down the entire house. Like this is basically the equivalent of that. Hey! Oh, they need Speedy around, bro. He sub he submissified that dog in about two seconds. Dude, he's like, I learned from my mother how to take out the chonkla. What an accent. That was a pretty good accent. Bro. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. To take out the chonkla. Hello, I'm a Mexican. Uh, <laughs> this is what a Mexican sounds like. Hey, how are you doing? Oh my... Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is a pit bull owner. This is just a reflection of, <laughs> oh of someone god. who owns a pit it's bull. A pit bull. Okay. Oh, the four -year -old he ate toddler. the child. He's a four-year-old toddler. He's eating toddlers. Ba -dum -ba -ba -dum -ba. Don't let your dog eat kids. Don't adopt pit bulls because they eat kids. No, do no, but that's do. actually a stigma. They're actually fine. You just got to train that. That I made the song a lot worse. Da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Have you seen this animal? That's the guy from Spy X Family. I am Lloyd Forager. Yeah, you've seen better days, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yikes. That's like Lloyd Forger if like he went fucking bankrupt. He's like struggling to make it on the daily. <laughs> like if his AdSense was paused and YouTube had no support. We're very busy. Holy cow. That woman has the pointiest boobs ever. Yeah, no, she a baddie for real. She's got like Kim Possible tits right now there they are possible those t are very possible they could possibly be in my i mean that's that's too much out of there actually just ruin that censor everything i said tasmanian devil danger <gasps> Guitar lesson. I was waiting. I was. I was like, surely that was there for some reason. I was waiting for. Oh <laughs> my! I was literally. I was thinking. He takes I was it like, immediately. Wouldn't it be crazy if he just goes to the guitar lesson instead, and then he just does? He doesn't even need the guitar lesson. He was. He was strumming that shit. This is my Bochi the Rock. Poochie's not a dog. He's a Tasmanian devil. All I'm saying is, with that fit, it looks like he's about to drop some fire bars. Oh, dude! This is the scene. I shove my. Pe in the car door. This, oh that's literally God. where it's taken from. I, I slam my p in the, the, the car, car door. door. That's literally where it comes from. What are you doing? Slamming my p in the car door. Oh. Seal all the exits. Daffy is going to distract them. He's going to walk up to them and give them a Pepsi bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Gasmonian devil. There he is. Get him. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? Are they allowed to shoot guns? Like, isn't this show supposed to be like trying to be rated PG? They're probably trank darts, but it's like my head cannon is that there's a real guns and Daffy dies. Are you returning him? He brought him back. That's like a three thousand dollar flight to Tasmania. He drove. No, he drove there with the car. <laughs> oh, he drove. That's a water car. I forgot about those. Oh my god! It's like the Pikachu could buy up a sort of Pokemon and then he says, Go Pikachu! And then they're like, Pika, Pika! And then he and says, then like, oh, Pikachu is my favorite, favorite Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> what the hell are you guys quoting right now? Does Ash moan when he catches Pikachu? Like, what? No, not when he cat when he releases him. When he uses him. When he's done releasing Pikachu. When he's done releasing onto Pikachu. <laughs> he, uh... When are you gonna learn how to swim? 
Swimming's for losers who can't afford boats. Dude, he's a duck that can't swim. Okay, but think about it. What is the color of his feathers? What is the show oh, trying fuck. to imply? What stereotype are they trying to continue right now? Not all black ducks can't swim, Looney Tunes. What's this line for? A movie. Next. <laughs> <laughs> he's in the chicken audition, man. Why don't they just have Foghorn Leghorn play him? No, no, no. He's producing the movie. Oh my god, he's right there. Oh hey! my foghorn reveal. I remember being fascinated by a tale. A tale of a King Baku and his beautiful Queen Yim Yong. Yim Yong, Queen Yim Yong. She can Yim on my Yong any day, bro. But one day, I say one day, the king found the queen in tears. Dude, I love how Foghorn Leghorn speaks. I say, I say, uh, this Queen Yim Yong really <laughs> went her way. With orders to find the most exquisite turtle in the world. Wait, this is just Avatar the Last Airbender. Wait, this is that's the dragon turtle from Avatar, and that's Aang. <laughs> Bro, Aang, lay off the potato chips. It ain't the treasure, son. It's the quest. Facts, man. Just like One Piece. That's base. Just like One Piece. So basically, you say, I say, I say a lot. Got it. He didn't even listen to the story. Mm, that boy, I say that boy gets me. I love that Foghorn Leghorn is so into it, though. Like, he's totally down for whatever Daffy's doing. What's so nice about Foghorn Leghorn is that no matter, like, what mishap comes to him, like, the hawk always tries to eat him, he just doesn't care. He's a chill dude. Well, it looks pretty old. It could be valuable. That's all I needed to hear. So long, sucker. So Daffy is producing a movie, and Bugs' B-plot is that he found a vase. This B-plot is a little weird. Is he going to go on, like, Antique Roadshow? He's going to go on Pawn Stars and try and, like, lie about it. Remember what I always told you. It's not the treasure. Dude, the first scene they record is him at his mother dying, and Foghorn Leghorn is behind the camera. The pressure is unreal. Are you quitting on me, son? Everybody else quit, so I quit. Mob mentality. Daffy is funny as hell in this episode. I have to, his I don't give a fuck situation, but also like the weird ways he finds to justify the things that he does is just ridiculous. What are you gonna do about it, huh, son? I'll say, what are you gonna do about it? What is wrong with him? Oh my god, it's chicken fight! It's a chicken fight! Peter Griffin's a chicken! Peter Griffin's gonna show up and beat both their asses. Daffy is Peter Griffin. Think about it. Complete sociopath, generally evil, has no remorse for his actions, and also like the funniest character. Is it valuable? Oh, I dare say. Look at this finish, how expertly executed it is. Uh, I hate these skeleton. guys. I hate Chip and Dale ripoff. I fucking don't like these guys. I don't even know their fucking names. Like, I watched so much Looney Tunes growing up. These are the gerbils that Eminem shoved up his ass, bro. That's all I needed to hear. Both the A plot and B plot resolve in just a violent fight scene. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I think that they should give Yosemite Sam a gun in this situation. It's only fair. You know what? Like, let him equip his items. <laughs> this is just a straight... They were like, we want to do a straight up fight scene. <laughs> what the hell is this, What man? the fuck is happening now? This is so weird. The action is just so bad. It's like so slow. <laughs> This is the only episode that feels like it was written by a four-year-old. Every single other episode feels like it was written by like a 38-year-old who just finished doing their taxes. But no, this episode, it's just pure children brain rot. This is brain rot. I feel like I'm watching Gumbo. But it's like in 0.5x speed. Well, it ain't the treasure. It's the quest. That's the lesson of this movie. Wow, the Writer's Guild really is gone, man. <laughs> That's actually a really good line. Very poignant. <laughs> to the credits. That was Starring. amazing. That was a masterpiece right there. I don't get it. Shut up and clap. <sighs> he fell asleep he fell during, during his, his own, own movie. <sighs> He's a munch, though. Definitely a munch. My Daffy's a munch. Eat me for lunch. When she said this neighbor's a munch, she was talking about her neighbor, Daffy Duck. She's got that pecking duck, man. The next bachelor. Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Oh, is Lola gonna bid like six trillion dollars? Oh yeah, she is rich as fuck. Three thousand. Milf, milf. Don't let the gilf let him. Bro, all the women want to f this rabbit. This episode is already taking a turn. A hundred thousand dollars. A hundred thousand dollars. I'm back. 
relevant? No the goat. way. The goat. No the goat. Way. No, Rod! No, no the way. Goat. Lo, lo. If you think about it, Bugs like going out with Lola is basically him just dating the gender bent equivalent of Daffy Duck. Yeah, that's sad. Daffy has no job. And a, a credit score of in, 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 in negative 13. His credit score is negative 13. <laughs> Anyone? Oh! <laughs> this is so oh, He's got the man. jiggle with it. He's got that. He can wiggle. He's listening. Oh my god, he can twerk! Why he can do it! Dabby Duck twerking, twerking right now. Wiggle, twerking wiggle, right wiggle, now? wiggle. Bum, 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 bum. My bachelor. Knock off the pleasantries, Grandma. Take your clothes off, Grandma. I'm, I'm trying to get this done quickly. I thought we'd clean out my attic. Clean your attic? Clean out your attic. That is a euphemism. She's, got, and a, she's got a dirty old attic. It's a 90-year-old attic <laughs> you gotta clean out. It's a bit dusty. Hasn't been used in a while. I need a bit of a corkscrew to help me out. Lola, I'm not leaving the country. Oh, yes, you are. It clearly states in Article 5, Section 3 of the Bachelor Auction Bylaws that the bidder... She can't read. I don't believe this for a goddamn second. She's smart exactly when she needs to be. Lola uses 0.1% of her brain and then all of a sudden activates like 3% to, to be able to read. Like, what the hell was that? Well, she's really smart when it comes to stalking. Oh my god. It's a three-seater, right? And then they, there's no one with them, but she still sits in the middle, bro. Like, just dump her off the plane at this point. Well, they're, like, they're dating, so they want to, like, cuddle together and shit, you know? <laughs> I peed four times. Oh. And she just said she's peed four times, but if you're going up that many times, you have to take the aisle. If you're a oh, what a peer, you take the aisle. You yeah, are the mind, worst person Yeah, never mind, never mind. She's evil. She's evil. Here. You either get a bedpan, bring a bottle, or you sit in the aisle. Those are the rules. Sure, Gatorade bottle. Big rim. You want a big rim for when you You pee. want big rim bottle. <laughs> I've I've had the middle seat before, and I didn't want to annoy the guy on the right of me, so I, I used the Gatorade bottle. I'm not afraid to say it. I haven't seen these in ages. Hubba, hubba. Oh my! I've seen this episode. I remember this episode. Oh yeah, the fucking grandma flashback shit is insane. No, it's literally like a Casablanca parody. I think. Yeah, grandma's hot as fuck. She's still hot. She's still thick as hell. Like they didn't need a drawer like this. <laughs> I was told to meet my contact at the Louvre. Oh, put they didn't do the Nazi flag. They faked the Nazi flag. They did the Iron Cross. Carrier pigeon. I hate birds. Oh my goodness, that's lore. I hate birds! Guess who's in the fucking house? Daffy Duck and Tweety Bird. Oh, Tweety Bird makes more sense. Because she owns Tweety Bird. <laughs> she kind of looks like Velma. I mean, she kind of looks like... Editor. Hey. She kind of looks like Daphne. Editor. Editor. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Nothing much. You're looking good today, Editor. Hope Thank you. Nice day, man. Thanks, man. Editor, can you put that Smosh clip where they're like, Editor! No. Get to work! I wasn't expecting Nazis, man. When I woke up today to watch a Looney Tunes show, wasn't expecting Nazis. It's not a first for the Looney Tunes. How do they have a fucking Nazi episode? This show is so insane. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so excited. But that's so great, though, that Bugs is in modern day France, and then it they're doing the flashbacks to, like, the 1940s. Yeah, the way the A and B plots link together is always really fun is the most incredible place in the world. Bro, personal space, man. <laughs> Cork goes on a date, girl tries to touch his hand. Personal space, bro. She was like breathing down his fucking mouth and not in the good way. The Mall of America's in Rome. Oh no, wait, that's in Canada. <gasps> we should go to Canada. Yo, Lola, come over, please. I got a bed. I got a bed right for you <laughs> and Bugs. You guys can take my bed. You guys can use my bed. I'll watch. You can use my bed. I'll watch. I'll be in the corner. This is my chair. This is my chair. Bro, this is fucking great. They just made a war movie. Bro, it should be looking like the first episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood right now. Wait, Tweety Bird! Tweety Bird! Tweety Bird is gonna save her life. Wait, how fucking old is Tweety Bird? Oh my goodness, she's so cool. She's just like Daphne. She has the karate skills. What are they gonna steal? The... No, they're not. <laughs> they're gonna steal, going to steal, steal the Eiffel Tower. Tower. What? We have they're to steal, steal the, Eiffel, the Tower. Eiffel Tower. This is like Vector from Despicable Me yeah, shit Despicable right now. gonna steal the moon. Stonehenge. One of the oldest. Stonehenge. Stonehenge. <laughs> Lola has not said a single correct fact of this entire episode. Like, she has a flopper. You have to, like, she has a dumper in the back. She does have the dumpy. I can't stand the suspense! What happened to the Eiffel Tower? Eiffel Tower. 
Oh, oh yes. Eiffel Tower. She was thinking of the other time she's been Eiffel Towered, bro. <laughs> I've got like 25 Eiffel Tower related stories. I gotta sort through the list. First. A lot of them have to do with Nazi soldiers. <laughs> no one can save you now. I Tweety Bird was canonically fighting for the Allies in the World War II. I'm glad we know that. The lore is awesome. Wow. The White House. She cannot say a single correct thing. You need to stop talking. <laughs> That's it. Just he ends a sentence right there. You need to stop talking. Every line she finds a way to surprise me. You know, they're a really cute couple when Lola doesn't say anything. Dude, when they sh when they both shut the fuck up and look around, like, it's so cute. They can be a great couple as long as they don't like talking to each other. Like, this is, like, the best scene to take out of context and be like, I just love how Warner Bros. depicts relationships. Can we talk about the chaos of this t scene? Tweety Bird is carrying a woman who, who are, they are both chasing a Nazi blimp, which is carrying the Eiffel what Tower. What the fuck is this episode? This what the hell is crazy. happening? Whoa. 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 You Nazi bastard. <laughs> this bird punches fascists. What? She has the Eiffel Tower behind her house. What? It's a Fake. What? What? That is the craziest reveal at the end of the episode. In reality, she just gave him shrooms. <laughs> That's what she put in the tea at the beginning. I said it was a roofie. She's gonna drug Daffy, bro. She's gonna drug. She's gonna roofie him. I like both the arcs were insane and also surprisingly wholesome. Oh, and then Bugs is gonna be like, "What? You went to Paris too?" <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. That's a great way to end the episode. That was nice. Can you at least tell me if you're a boy or a girl? And if you want to find out Tweety Bird's gender, go to our Patreon <laughs> at patreoncom spilling the milk. Peel of fortune. <laughs> Why is it called peel of fortune? Well, it's like a torture technique where you peel off their skins slowly. You get a free circumcision if you win the wheel of fortune. Yeah, it's like a Mongolian torture tactic. No more underwear, huh? No more underwear. Oh! <laughs> what are you covering, Daffy? You got nothing. We can all see your corkscrew dick in every episode. It's fully illustrated and uncensored. Name, address, gender. What is this, Soviet Russia? <laughs> what is this, Soviet Russia? Oh my god, Daffy's a libertarian. Now hot fudge. Uh, only on the vanilla and chocolate. Put regular fudge on the strawberry. Jesus With fucking Christ. Daffy's the worst person ever. Yes, green sprinkles on the strawberry. But both no red sprinkles. If you have ever worked a service job, this is just stress. This is wh why the McDonald's employees say the ice cream machine is broken, dude. <laughs> I guess this is pretty cool because it's like preparing all the kids are watching the show. It's preparing them for their lives. This is what you can look forward to. Serving people like Daffy Duck. Where do you get all your money? I invented the carrot peeler. I think they actually have said this multiple times in the show, though. I don't remember him mentioning it, but that's great. What the fuck? They're about to be what? executed. They went to Afghanistan and almost got assaulted. Assaulted? I think that was murder. Dude, this is like the Rick and Morty house where Rick is in their garage making all funny sorts of contraptions. <laughs> Daffy Duck's equally sized bread pieces. Dude, he, he literally made sliced bread. bread. You know, after you've gone to the bathroom, you sometimes wish you had something to help you. You know, clean up. Like a flushable paper product of some sort. What? Daffy, are you telling me that you don't use toilet paper? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. What an insane reveal. Once again, it pays to have invented the carrot peeler. He gets seventeen fifty every month for inventing the carrot peeler. That's insane. That's not even that much money. He's a homeowner. He needs way more. He has a house. Like he has to pay like taxes. Let's see what else he's got in here. <gasps> an automatic carrot peeler? Oh my god. That's just a pencil sharpener. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's so evil. Like what? He's nefarious. The Thomas Edison arc, yeah, true. <laughs> oh my god. You could peel carrots at super speed, leaving more time for you and your beautiful daughter. Weird. He's a boy. 
Yes, of course. <laughs> the automatic carrot peeler is flying off the shelves. I'm not even gonna carry the old peeler anymore. Dude, no fucking way. Oh, he's making millions and Bugs is gonna kill himself. <laughs> no one uses those anymore. No, no way. Yeah, how did he lose money that fast? Like, that's insane. He went broke instantly. What the <laughs> fuck? My man was living paycheck to paycheck. What? Is he smashing? Oh, okay. Never mind. I don't know what was gonna happen. <laughs> he opens the door and it's just him and Tina going at it. Daffy. Oh, uh, hey, what's up? This is just five dollar and one dollar. Bro's going crazy over like five hundred dollars right now. My <laughs> roof. <laughs> what the fuck? It's been like ten minutes. Like there was ten minutes in between those two cuts. What the- Now he's the wage cut. Oh my god, I just realized this episode is just a Dar Man video. Literally. This is just a Dar Man video where all of Daffy's haters are now the ones being wages. When does Bugs go on- it's, Yeah, this episode is called Peel of Fortune. Oh, because there's the, the carrot peel. I got it. You just got it? Just got it. Well, it's a clever joke, so I can understand. My old hole in the ground. How did I used to get into this thing? Oh my god. Oh my god. Classic. He moved back. Bugs Kid is literally rags to riches. Holes to goals, man. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Literally, started from the bottom of a fucking hole in the ground. Been thinking for a while and there's something I gotta tell you. <gasps> Yo, Lola song. Oh my gosh, she a baddie though. Oh my goodness, can I marry her? You're the reason that I have to keep my shades drawn. Oh, Chimney. This is terrifying. I'm loving this. This song's kind of fire. The premise is cool. It's funny. Like, I like the song. What I did for five minutes with Lola Bunny. Oh, five minutes in heaven, man. They're highly flammable and extremely dangerous. That's impossible. I should know I'm the inventor. Why would you say that? Why would you're going to you're going to get sued? How I'm going to sue you for everything you've got. Oh, my God. He's done. He's done for. I give it back. Just please come home and fix everything. Oh, man, he's begging for his ex to come back. Something. They're gonna level the house. They're gonna destroy the house is probably worth quite a bit of money. They're gonna level it instantly. It's in good condition. What is it? A time machine. What? Oh, I, did what? That. I did not expect the episode to take that direction. No green sprinkles on the chocolate. Yes, green sprinkles on the strawberry. What the hell in the Rick and at the beginning of the episode? I at the beginning of the episode I said you it's did. Rick and Morty, and what happened? It was Rick and Morty. We watched the most Rick and Morty episodes. It's on me. He pays for the meal, then Daffy doesn't have to get a job. What? Oh my god. Hold on, hold on a second. Did this just create a divergent timeline where Bugs disappeared from Daffy's world and Daffy's all by himself? Daffy got hit by the wrecking ball. No, Daffy died. Too bad Bugs can't ever come bowling with us. But he's got those darn singing lessons. Why does he want one-on-one -on -one with Porky? I would I would imagine it's like Porky's really bad at bowling, so Daffy plays against him just so he can feel good about himself. Uh... Daffy. There he is. Hey. Oh, Daffy's the king at the bowling alley? Something about that weirdly fits. That the one place he's well-liked is a bowling alley. Well, well, what do you mean by... What are you saying about people who go bowling? Well, there's something about bowling that's just, like, fundamentally really lame. There's more where that came from. There's more where that came from, right? I, I'm sorry. I still can't get over the bowling slander that just came out of your mouth. I have a bowling pin right here that I got at my seventh birthday, okay? What? <laughs> How good is he? He's mid. Okay. He sucks. Well, if it isn't Daffy Duck. Oh, his rival. Yeah. <laughs> Never bowl against someone with that hairline. Receding hairline white dudes just have the, the best bowling skills. I'm sorry. Is Porky goaded? Oh, Porky's so bad at the game's all going all the way back. Are you kidding? Does that even count as like can you just bowl again? I'm pretty sure you in this situation you would just bowl again. What's going on? I told them both conflicting lies and now it's all falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. Oh, now I know why he does Yeah, want now we know why. Uh, Bugs is the goat. I finally managed to cobble together a circle of friends so pitiful that I'm the cool one and you're blowing it for me. Did we understand the psychology behind <laughs> Daffy Duck that we were able to, like, guess his motivation behind the episode in, like, the first three minutes? 
guy's good. He's the newest member of my team. He's jacked. Jesus fucking. Now how are we going to win the tournament? <laughs> ah! He's keying their fucking car. What an asshole. You said the training begins at 7 a.m. The training began at 7 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Patience. This is like the guy that LinkedIn that goes like, I purposely show up three hours late to my group interviews to see who's still there, to see who really wants it. To see who's about that grind. You need to become the bowling ball. Daffy's totally getting into hustle culture. Daffy does feel like my Uber driver that pulls up in the Tesla and talks to me about his startup. I'm jealous of Bugs, but I hate Terry. He's talking out loud. I'm jealous of Bugs. He's right behind you. It's like having to choose one child over the other. <laughs> Jesus, this guy's not a good person. I'm going to have a headache. Help. This is the worst song. Worst song contender. Whoa. Oh my good. Oh my Whoa. God. Oh my damn. Oh my oh goodness. My goodness. Oh. goodness. Even Sylvester was looking, bro. Well, Sylvester's a dog, right? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen whatever it is before. But look at it. Only one. We have the silver foxes led by their team captain, Granny. What? This is like a shonen anime. Like all the characters that we've met prior are participating. Even Granny is here. That's crazy. This is a Hunter Hunter volleyball tournament. This is going to be a long night. Whoa! Montage! Oh my goodness, this is, so this is like regular show. Yeah, this is, feels a lot like regular show. From the mist, a hero! Why are you flexing in a tournament? That's a fucking dick move. Cora, I hate to break it to you, but not everyone has sportsmanship. Let's go! Man, bowling has never looked cooler. Yeah, I've changed my mind. I'm a bowling stan right now. I fuck with bowling. Is he gonna like throw the game or something? Whoa! Oh! Why would he throw? Daffy does not deserve any sympathy here. Okay? He's such a piece of shit throughout this entire episode. 100% he's about a gutter ball. I'm betting 10, 10 bucks, 10 ducks. I'm betting 10K on this. 10 ducks, he gets a gutter ball here. <laughs> it's not even close. It's not even close. Do hold on. I'm getting word that there's been a technical error. What? Any technical error results in an automatic redo. He's gonna miss it again. <laughs> He's gonna miss it again. Wait. I have to do it. Oh my god. It's gonna be another gutter. He's gonna miss it. There's all this build up. He's gonna miss it again. I can almost guarantee it. <laughs> they reused the same animation. <laughs> Fucking Christ! So much build up. Oh, yo, Granny! She's gonna get a strike. Strike easy. There you go. What if it was just silence and him just hitting the gutter over and over? Like, that's this entire after credit scene. Just needed my lucky ball! What? What the fuck? <laughs> what? The dinner party we're having, so you can apologize to all of our neighbors. Oh God, what did he do this time? He bombed their entire neighborhood. And for what you did on Columbus Day. On Columbus Day, <laughs> Daffy killed all the natives. Newspaper! It's been stolen. I'm surprised Daffy can read, to be honest. <laughs> that is very shocking. Maybe he just looks at the comics. Yeah, I was about to say, he just looks at the pictures. I don't think he actually reads. He's like, ooh, that's a pretty Marmaduke. Let's see. I came out here to get my newspaper. He took his Wait, coffee. he stole his he coffee. He dropped it, broke it, and then took bugs. He did that so casually. Someone stole my newspaper. Oh, my fuck. <laughs> I do what normal people do with it. Day by day, slowly build a paper mache parade float. What? That's made of paper mache? I'm not in a parade. 
I am the parade. That's actually bars, though. That's that's a quotable line. What did you think? I was gonna start throwing accusations around? <laughs> what did he do to Granny? Like, Granny's literally the nicest character. Like, if anything ever happened to my woman, my beautiful Granny gilf of a woman, I would be extremely angry. I know you stole my newspaper. You're so safer. <laughs> this entire show is just no characters being capable of understanding each other. I'm cheap and I steals things, but I am no thief. That I steal things, but I am no thief. He's honest. You ought to respect the honesty. Oh my fucking god, Daffy. It's duck season, bro. We need to get a shotgun and take him out back. It's duck season. I think it's been duck season since episode one. This man, <laughs> he has caused all their problems. We need to get rid of him. How did it make him worse? This episode in particular, Daffy is just extremely insufferable. Like, I feel like it's genuinely too much at this point. Yeah. <laughs> this is a country song? Let's go. Okay. <laughs> this is the only country song that isn't about like Jesus or like your truck. So honestly, like a top 10 country song. I can't believe I have to make another pie. He invited everybody over for the dinner party and made a fucking carrot pie. Yeah, everybody only gets like one spoon. And then Yosemite Sam's gonna show up with a giant spoon. How did you turn this into a vine reference? How did you um, turn that into oh, a I vine reference? I have a unique set of skills where I could turn anything into a vine reference. <laughs> This episode kind of sucks. This episode would be really good if it just randomly turned into a situation where all of them start dying one by one and they have to find the killer. It's like a murder mystery, like who killed Daffy? <laughs> it's like a murder mystery, but no one cares who killed the person. Like they're not affected by it. It's a murder mystery where no one is invested at all. But what you don't know is that one of you is a thief. Oh, it is a murder mystery, but it, it's kind of. Ain't no numbers on these things. What? This is so last second, he didn't even have it ready. Who has the number five? I do. So do I. Oh my fucking. Open your eyes, Grandma. It's clearly a three. You're a three. She's a 10, bro. Do not give her a three out of 10. Do you want me to be a three? Yes, thank you. Yeah, she's more like a three. Now, who has the number three? They all have threes. What is this? Daffy isn't usually this stupid. This pissed me off. Like, he is stupid, but he's not this stupid. He does not have object permanence <laughs> in this episode. He writes out a three, and then he instantly forgets that he wrote down a three. Like, that's not what he has in other episodes. Daffy is literally, not like jokingly, literally acting like a toddler in this episode. Yes. You don't care about your neighbors. You're just scared one of them's gonna sue you. Oh my god. Just kick him out. At a certain point, you gotta kick the man out. I mean, carrot pie? Ever heard of carrot cake? That's an actual dessert. That's true. I've never heard of carrot pie. <laughs> Actually, thank you, Daffy, because I was complaining about the carrot pie this whole episode. Say you're sorry. Uh... You can't say it, can you? Dude, Bugs has totally snapped. Like, he does not care. He's like, whatever happens, happens. The expression on his face is so dead. I like him. <laughs> My life is so boring. This is sad. To be fair, remember in the canon, he went over to her house in the dating episode and he sat with her and he listened to her story. True. That's true. So she's got a pretty positive experience. <laughs> <laughs> this episode feels so weird. Like, it feels, like, off. Is it? Okay, so I'm not wrong for thinking that someone should have died in this episode. Yes, someone should have. It feels like someone's gonna die. How many renewal notices is that stupid newspaper going to send me? Oh my gosh. I knew it. I knew it was gonna be something like that. I wanna kill him. I wanna kill him. I'm pretty sure if Bugs killed him, they would go to court and the jury would be like, it's fine, dude. Like, it's chill. Like, we get it, bro. They make every jury member binge the Looney Tunes show. <laughs> 420, 420, 420. What happened to this country? No one hustles anymore. That's why Canada's killing us these days. Canada's killing us? I want to live in the Looney Tunes universe where Canada's better than- <gasps> You have a baby? She does give single mom who smokes vibes. Man, this baby must be messed up from all the secondhand smoke. She was smoking while she was still in the womb, bro. Be honest. She's hotboxing the f*** out of that womb, bro. Like, not gonna lie. She's adorable. He's a boy.
Looks like a girl. No, Daffy would definitely be transphobic if this was in 2023. Like, he makes his Jordan Peterson video. I have been wrongly deplatformed for my opinions. Grab some lunch? Great, I'm starving. Porky's coming. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bummer. No, I'm not a bummer. I'm a jerk. At least he's self-aware about being a piece of shit, you know? It makes Wait, it much cooler, the fact that he knows he's a bad person and does it anyways. Huh? You guys all set to order? Uh, whoa. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. I'm Jack. Her mouth is huge. She has a big mouth. It looks like she was pumped full of Botox. Uh, I'll get the, the, the spinach charter chuck poppers. Porky is horny. <laughs> He got some poppers. Does he pipe the hot waitress? And he's a, literally a pig. Think about that. Porky's got the chode though, so you know it's. What are you talking about, man? What happened to this country? No one takes the time to relax anymore. That's why Canada's killing us these days. Why does he keep talking about Canada? Jack, what are you doing? I'm influencing him, bro. We on a Daffy Duck hater campaign. Well then, I'll watch the baby. Well, that one kind of backfired on me. He accidentally did something. <laughs> what are you into? You like jam bands? No, dude, you know what Daffy is? You know the video where, like, the guy's like, dude, your baby's been staring at me, man. And then he tries to, like, fight the baby and they have to, like, hold him back. That's literally Daffy as a character. Sounds like someone wants an encore. Wait. You're torturing him. It's just avant-garde, man. You want something to eat? It's a Reuben. He's not even yeah. annoyed you by the baby. Drink, He's the motherfucker on the plane when he hears the baby cry and be like, yo, turn that shit up, bro. That Make that bitch fun. cry more. It's only an additional $15. That's half the price of the ink. They're trying to get him to buy insurance for his ink. I'll take it. Push over. This is teaching young parents that all I need to do is give my baby an iPad and they will shut up. And I don't think that's good for society. But it is true. Let's go to the movie. What? No, they, they took him to see Dunkirk, bro. He, he went to, he took him to see Oppenheimer instead of the Barbie movie, day one. I've already seen it anyway. Lieutenant Graves doesn't make it. He never sees Barbara again. He just spoils the entire movie. You sign up today. I'll throw in some free stickers for just ten dollars. Where do I sign up? Right here. Uh, you can use the pen after me. That's a pencil, you fucking dumb pig. Porky is literally gonna be like the grandpa of like sending money to the Nigerian princess. Lovey, lovey, missy, missy, come here, baby, give me kissy, please. Give me kissy, please. What is this, like a sexual harassment anthem? What are they playing right now? He's asking, he says, please. He's asking. That is true, he is asking for consent at the end of the day, so, you know. This is the time skip, because Pepe Le Pew never used to ask for consent, but now, in the modern Looney Tunes, he learned what it was. Like, those damn liberals making me ask for consent now. I like Daffy being, like, a stay-at-home dad. Yeah, but this isn't even his child. Like, he's, like, raising someone else's, like, child. You know what I mean? Oh my god, that baby's fucked. Ah, what the fuck are wrong with these babies, yo? Wait, no, this is accurate. Babies are ugly. I know it's hard, but it's worth it. Dude, I'd love for him to have this baby for the rest of the show. I'm not gonna lie. This is really cute. I have a theory. I think that Daffy's negative attitude towards thing is like a reflection of like his day-to-day -day society. You know what I mean? So what if they, the city that they live in is a real problem? And maybe if he moved to Canada, he would be a much better person. You know what I mean? Well, I imagine all the microplastics probably aren't helpful. Helping. What are you doing here? Just out for a little stroll. CP. Don't take the baby here, please, Daffy. Babies love club penguin. I mean, you gotta put in the hours if you're gonna break through that glass ceiling. We're going to the park. Oh, he's sad now. You forgot his schmoopy. No, he loves being a dad. This is such a nice episode. This show is just genuinely great. What the hell? I fall for it every time. And, and, and no more upsells, I promise. Oh, I almost forgot. Would you like insurance? It's just an additional $3 a day. I don't know what kind of food- Car insurance? Get the car insurance! You need no! car insurance! Oh, no. I think you should get the insurance. It's an upsell. No. Dude, this episode was written by the car insurance companies. Think about it. This is propaganda. What do you think of that? Because the A plot and the B plot have to converge. So do you think like Porky's going to be driving the minivan and accidentally he hit the like child or something? Like what's going to happen? Tina's baby bird? Point is, Canonically Daffy. Oh my. Twice as hard when you do it There's no way this baby's actually about to get. 
Oh my god, this is an insane episode. And Porky crashes yet again. Kinda guess the premise of the episode. Another L for Porky. He saved him. He's a good dad. He's a good dad. He's not perfect, but he's a good dad. Dude, he's not the father. He's the father who stepped up. Daffy's stepdad, bro. Respect. You think Daffy believes in, like, beating his kids, though? Like, would he bring out the bell? No, definitely not. He's a lover. He's a lover, okay? I want to start a family with you. What? I finally realized <laughs> what? what I was put on this Hello? Earth to do. Finally realized what I was put on this earth to do. Be a mother. Yes. That's why he was being transphobic at the beginning of the episode because he is closeted. He wants to be a mother. Daffy is our trans icon. Why is that such a good shot? Oh my god, it's beautiful. Yeah, this beautiful American architecture. That's why Canada's beating us, bro. And then Daffy fucked her with no condom. Okay, why do you have to bring up the condom? Because now we know we already established that Daffy is a corkscrew penis. No condom forever. <laughs> what, he's working the night shift? Who hired this guy? Why would you hire Daffy? It's one of the easier jobs out there. What job would he be good at? Maybe he'd be a good kindergarten teacher? What, he does, he can't teach. Ten million dollars. <laughs> Ten million dollars. For Elmer Fudd in this bitch. Uh, who the hell is this guy? That's Elmer Fudd, bro. That's the guy who says duck season, wabbit season, bro. He's kind of unfunny, dude. Maybe he should go back to what he was doing beforehand. Daffy kind of looks like he's about to strip for us, bro. No, no. Daffy looks like he's about to pat us down and touch us in uncomfortable places. Daffy would be great at the TSA. I hate the TSA so much. I love the TSA. So next time I go through TSA, just remember, I love you guys. When I'm trying to bring through that slightly larger than, than allowed can of toothpaste, please let me. Please. You have to pull your own weight. What does that mean? It only took him 20 episodes to make fucking Daffy do something. Dude, that watermelon. Did he eat the entire watermelon? He's drinking the milk straight out the jar. Do you not do that? What's wrong with that? Not when you're sharing with other people. There's no way Daffy lives in an ingredients household. Like, where's the TV dinners? Like, I just don't believe Daffy is, like, eating food without, like, microwaving everything. Uh, okay, here's my resume. Oh, sorry, that was definitely not my resume. Is this all his point? Is this supposed to be implying that he keeps clicking on all his porn folders? They played like a sexy saxophone when he clicked that. He's letting Bugs see everything, all of his deepest, darkest secrets. Femboy gets fucked. Fem duck gets fucked. I've been pulling your weight because I thought you were looking for a job. Why would I look for a job if you're pulling my weight? <laughs> wow, way to spell it out, Daffy. I'm going. This scene is so good. He's watching the game, man. He's watching the game. At least say something, Bugs. Come on. I take care of myself. Please take care of He didn't even go to beg his girlfriend. He just immediately started begging Bugs. Well, he knows Tina's going to be worse on him than Bugs, bro. Like, yeah, Tina he, wouldn't put up with his bullshit. Tina wouldn't put up a shit for like one day. Enormacorp, the fifth largest conglomerate in the world? Do you really think I have what it takes? A Norma Corp. Oh no, he's gonna be wage cuck. Oh no, he's gonna do the nine to five office job. Dude, Enorma Corp is the funniest name for a fictional corporation. He's gonna climb the corporate ladder like a goat. Oh, he's got the muffins. Where's Bojack? Where's Bojack? Dude, I'm not gonna lie. You know the Muffin Man? Do you think Daffy could beat the Muffin Man in a fight? Ain't no fucking way. The Muffin Man's iconic. The Muffin Man is jacked. He's making muffins all the time. I think the Muffin Man's just kind of a pushover though, like low key. Taking orders from this guy? When I see <gasps> Foghorn Leghorn is the leader of a Norma Corp, bro. But doesn't Foghorn Leghorn like Daffy for some reason? Maybe he can climb the corporate ladder. Oh my god, this is just succession. Oh my god, he's literally just fucking Kieran Culkin from succession. He's not qualified for the job, but he knows the boss, dude. So he's gonna be COO of the company. Who do you think you are? The Muffin Man? <laughs> he is the Muffin Man! You know, as a boy, I used to suck the jam out with a straw. And no, this is literally just the evidence where it's like, oh my goodness, if you're the CEO, then you must be the smartest person. And then you see the CEO and they're fucking idiot. That chicken is so fuckable, bro. But are they wrong? Are they wrong? Like, let's be honest here. I'm not saying they are fuckable, but I'm not saying they aren't fuckable. Like, let's just be realistic here. Like, look at that booty, though. That absolute dumpy on Foghorn Leghorn. He doesn't skip Leghorn Day. Okay, think about it. In the context of this, 
Is Foghorn Leghorn just Elon Musk? He's Elon Musk, and Those Daffy Duck's like some say. Twitter employee who shits on everyone. Pizza! They forgot to do the orange filter. Editor, orange filter, thank you very much. That's the only way that this can be true Mexican music. I think I'll let you make the decisions. What? He literally took over a conglomerate in one day. That's the Riz. Renee or Annabelle? What? Whoa! He's choosing her baddie? Who am I saying? I say, who am I f***ing today? <laughs> awesome. I've been, I say I've been wanting to hand over the company for some time now. He's going to run it into the ground. He's running this company into the ground. This is literally succession. It's going to be like one week into running the company. They're going to lose like 50% of their share. It's definitely going to jack off and ejaculate onto the window. Oh my God. He's going to have the two minute jack scene. Whoa! Oh my God! <laughs> Holy shit! Is this Mad Men? I don't care! I'm CEO, CEO of Enormicorp. Bro, what's his paycheck? It's insane. He's the fifth biggest conglomerate in the world. Yeah, he's probably getting like like fucking eighty million a year at least. No, this is a perfect job because he doesn't have to do anything. What's his name? Daffy Duck. Oh, Mr. Duck. Mr. Duck. Mr. Duck is the CEO of Enormicorp. That makes sense. What? Does nothing surprise Bugs at this point? Like, uh, he took that in stride. No, Bugs is like, y'all think this is surprising? Like, I live with this motherfucker, but like, none of this shit surprises me anymore. Sir, the markets have turned. Should we delay the merger or proceed as planned? I don't know. I'm not used to being the guy who's asked to make a decision. <laughs> I need that big fat rooster. This man is high. He's literally a billionaire retired. Like, he's totally on the fucking co cocaine right now on that helicopter. He's smashing both the baddies that Daffy denied, bro. I would have delayed the merger. Ooh, he would have delayed the merger. After what is now being called the worst business decision in the history... Enormacorp bankrupt. Yep, Sam Bankman freed over here. And experts fear the world economy could collapse. What? He was the CEO for a day and caused a global economic crisis? The Daffy economic crisis, bro. People are going to be talking about it. People are going to be talking about Daffonomics for the next 30 years. Crazy Bugs now feels like he has a moral requirement to help Daffy. Because if he doesn't, Daffy will make the world world worse. Daffy will bring the whole world down with him. Bro. I was watching the game. He was watching he the game. Better. Unless you want a coffee kick. You asked for it. It's his house, Daffy. <laughs> and it's good. Yes, we're going to the playoffs. He's just trying to watch the game. Oh, it's a Yosemite Sam episode. Well, then you better get the window repaired. He's so, like, look at his tiny little legs. Like, there's no way he can kick that thing, like, more than 10 feet. Well, that was more than 10 feet. Yes, that was approximately with the angle of the sun in mind, the size of the goalpost. That would probably be around 35.7 feet. 35.7, according to my calculations, with the seven repeating, actually. Uh, according to my Looney Tunes cartoon logic calculations, the small man was able to kick it. Hey, Speedy, Porky finally got a girlfriend. So Wait, Porky like got a girlfriend? What? Do you think Porky would ever, like, cuck Kermit the Frog? But Kermit is way hotter than Porky Pig. No, Kermit opens the door to his house one day and, like, Porky's just fucking his wife. Like, that could be a banger, like, plot-relevant thing. What is happening? My friendship with Porky is over. Dude, it's the meme. It's my friendship with Porky is over. Bugs Bunny is my best friend now, bro. Daddy, why did you eat my fries? And we all know Porky is a daddy. Like, he's got the dump truck and everything. Are we with Porky in this episode or are we with Daffy? I feel like you're allowed to steal some of your friend's fries. Like, it's just common etiquette, bro. I'm with Porky, bro. I'm yeah, like only a handful. But he ate them and they were his. The 70 Sam B plot ain't it though. We're just run him over. Yeah, 70 Sam probably doesn't have health insurance. You can probably just kill him. $170. He's gonna break it again. He's gonna break it again, guys. No way. Wait ain't for it. No way. Ain't Wait for no it. Wait. way. Wait! Oh, they subvert him expectations. Hey, but wait, what's wrong with Daffy? I guess you ate some of his fries. This is fucked up. Like, Daffy's literally going to ruin fucking everything just because Porky ate his fries. He ate three fucking fries and he's going to ruin everyone's plans. Did you pay for those fries? Because if you didn't, then you don't get any fries. 
Uh, I I did pay for the fries. I bought everybody lunch. He oh, bought everybody's lunch. Oh my fucking god. And bought them playoff tickets. Completely irredeemable in this episode. I don't know why Daffy's so entitled. Motherfucker does not have a checking account, probably. Daffy is like the 31 year old who's never owned a credit card before. Like, dude just does not have his life together. No, I'm not on anybody's side. Uh, you, you know what? Forget about the tickets. No one's going to the game. No! He just wants to go to the game. This is how everything falls apart. Oh my god, and you sent, bro, this is L day for bugs, L day. Read it. Dear Porky, I'm so sorry. You were right, I was wrong. Dude, bugs just wants to go to the goddamn game. Bugs is meddling with them. He's a genius. Hope we can put this all behind us, go to the game, and be friends again. At the game. I hope we can all go to the game and be friends at the game. There's only 25 people in front of us. We're almost inside. Playoffs. I love how excited he is. It's like the only thing he gets excited about. He's such a white 30 year old, you know what I mean? And I love that for him. I love that for him. That was a really nice gift basket. Dude, no, no, they're almost inside. Run, run. We're two people away. Let's talk about this when we get inside. We're two people away. He's literally, he's not gonna make it in time. He's not gonna give me a bad in time. Let him in. No. No, no, no. It's like Eric Andre at like the Republican committee or whatever. Let me in. Let me in. Well, no one's going to the game. No. You ripped Whoa. up the tickets. You could have sold that to someone outside of the stadium for hundreds of dollars. Fuck Porky. He's irredeemable. Me. Watch up, neighbor. That's a reference to the Looney Tunes That's show. The thing That's he a does. reference to the thing That's that they the do in the Looney he Tunes does. show. He says the thing. Hooray. I have the white seat in the stadium. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Hello. Hello. Like, that's unrealistic body proportions for men out here. Think about that. The Yosemite cake, my favorite flavor, dude. Yummy. <laughs> no, not the goofy y'all sound effects. Not the goofy y'all sound effects. Should have worn cleats. Whoa, you rasping fr. Dude, what is with the Looney Tunes show and just having like the most random baddies? Good, it's so awesome. Are you wearing cowboy boots? Cowboy cleats! He's wearing heels. He's basically wearing <laughs> heels right now. Is he gonna make it? Is he gonna win one million dollars? <laughs> There was a lot of things that I was expecting to happen, but him taking one step and then brutally screaming in pain was not one of them. That sounded painful, yeah. Well, someone's gotta kick it. What? Nah, nah, fuck you, Bugs, not you. He got a W, he got a million dollars. The rich get richer. The rich get richer. I can't believe you gave the million dollars to charity. He gave the million dollars to charity. I don't care if you're saving children. I don't care if you're giving orphans homes. Nothing is worth a million dollars. Like, you keep those million dollars, Bugs. Hey, yo, Porky. Everyone's in your blind spot. This car is nothing but blind spot. It's not a car. It's a That's hard. That's hard as fuck. It's not a car. Dude, that's the most inconvenient fucking car ever. Now we have to go to the car wash. Um, actually, you would have to go to the float wash because you just said that this isn't a car, so we'd have to go to the float wash. He has to go to the car wash. To the car wash, yeah. Dude, that thing moves like a goddamn <laughs> cart titan, bro. Did you see the that? One? was weird. It looked like it was it was alive. Maybe, maybe that's what we're gonna learn. Daffy's float, it actually has a soul. Oh, and then it's like, Daffy, I can't have you killing families of four <laughs> using my car anymore. I am gonna leave you now, Daffy, and it flies into the sunset. Oh, it's gonna get destroyed and get turned into a normal van. Oh, that is fucking terrifying. Ah! That is terrifying. Die on the water! Die on the water! <laughs> Wait, that thing was made of paper mache and it's been driving for fucking months at this point. Has he never left it out in the rain? <laughs> they don't burn that. It's gonna set on fire. They're gonna cook him alive. You guys want some roasted dog? I would love some. That actually sounds delicious. I would eat the hell out of Daffy. 
we never even got to be in a parade? He deserves it. No. He deserves you it. know, he deserves to take a lot of L's, but we have literally been seeing him work on this parade flow over the course of the entire season, and then now he gets it destroyed. Like, that hurts, man. I'm not giving you $375,000 for a yacht, but you're my best friend. That's what best friends do. They're balling. <laughs> oh my god, that goes hard. That Add goes that hard. one to the AMV and like, I'm balling, bro. Hello? I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. No one's gonna give you $375,000. Uh, of course I'll give you a $375,000. What? Why the fuck Dude. does Porky have $375,000? He has embezzled a lot of th yeah, funds, okay? Yeah, he did it. That's why he got fired from the accountant job, because he embezzled That's the real money. reason. This is only $350,000. He gave him all of his money. What? He's gonna make him, like, sell his car, or, like, sell his house or something. A gold watch? But that was my egg, egg, egg no, egg. no, 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 no. It has officially it. gone too far, Daffy. What is this, wool? All right, I guess I'll take the coat too. He took oh the God. shirt off his back. You might as well uh. take his nipples too. You might as well take his perky. Oh, he almost it, did. He almost did. Okay, that did looks take like it nipples. looks like weirdly like uncomfortable now that he's naked. Like, I don't like this. Yeah, oh, put it back on. Yeah, put it, it back looks... on. I couldn't pay my bills. Why not? I gave all my money to Daffy. Why would you give all your money? <laughs> <laughs> the urgency in Bugs' voice. If, if for his kidney transplant, let's go find out. We'll be right back after these messages. After Daffy on ice. I mean, on cruise. Porky needs to kill Daffy in this episode. Oh, yeah. Porky's going to kill. This is Porky's breaking point. Oh, I just told Porky that so he'd give me the money for the yacht. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Kill him! Get him, Porky! Get him! Eat him alive! Beat his ass! I already lost my parade float! I'm not about to lose my yacht! No. God, that he back shot. So that scary. back God, shot. That was, no one needed to see that in their entire lifetime. Where's the dock? And what kind of knot did you tie to the dock? What's up, Doc? What's up, Doc? The Doc? What's up, Doc? Hot Dog! Do you know how much these sheets cost? Kick him out, just kill him. Wait, maybe he hit the part of his brain that's like immoral and he- That's a whole brain. A good per <laughs> Fuck. Psst, Porky, untie me. I can't. Manipulator, manipulator, stop, stop, stop. He's honeypotting you. There's a love bomb right now. Run. Yo, Jack, I gotta get this kidney transplant tomorrow. Could you do me a solid? Yeah, how much do you need, I'm man? just not, like, I'm not very liquid right now. <laughs> He's just oh, abandoning the don't boat. Abandon the fucking boat. He's the worst. He's gone he's too the, far this time. He's actually going too far. He's reached another level of assholery I didn't think was possible. <gasps> it was a dream. Are you what? fucking no kidding me? Fucking way. Yeah, there's no it's way. Fake. Eh, not a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I fell for it for a second there. We ran some tests and it looks like you're gonna need a kidney transplant. Oh my no god, we no, guessed bro. it. Uh, Daffy? Uh, can I take a break? Uh, I'm still not feeling 100% since the uh, surgery. What? He gave him his kidney. No, this has gone too far, man. I can't do this anymore, man. I can't do this anymore. Oh, what is this gonna- is this be about, like, them trying to build a fucking Ikea shelf and failing because they missed a the screw or something? <laughs> that would be a very typical sitcom plot. Oh, gotta go. It it's, is! I was right! It is. I was fucking, fucking right! Is. What's that? Huh. I guess I won the Nobel Prize. What? Never mind! What? What? Dude, the potato automatic peeler, the carrot peeler, isn't that good. Excuse me, we couldn't eat carrots until the carrot peeler was invented. He saved so many lives with that. You know, for an additional 20 bucks, we'd be happy to install it for you. I want a Nobel Prize. I think I can put up my own. Okay, that's oh, pretty no. funny. They bait it with, he gets a package from Sweden, but then he goes to the store and buys a shell. Guess that wasn't a stud. Do you guys have anything to fill in the- Just hire the poor man! He has nothing else to do! There's no way this is the entire episode. Just Bro. Him constantly failing to do this is the entire episode. Oh, hi, Tina. Hey, picking up Daffy, date night. Picking up Daffy, dude. That's how you know Daffy's a Sigma male, because his girlfriend picks him up for the dates. Like, he doesn't even drive. Shout it, it sounds more like she's picking up the kid they have shared custody of. What are you doing here? Date night, remember? Isn't that why you're in the shower? What? 
No, I got peanut butter all over my back. <laughs> you don't need to explain anything with that. I feel like it's fine. I get it. <laughs> That's the plot I want to see. I want to see the episode where Daffy gets peanut butter all over his back and he tries to clean it off for the whole episode. Thanks for letting me stay here, Porky. Oh my god, not Porky again. I can't fucking take this anymore. Stop. How many Stop. Porky abuse? You know how that goes. That water was pouring out when I left. You mean you didn't shut off the water main? Why doesn't Bugs look it up on YouTube? I'm sure there's a great, like, how-to basic video on how to put up a shelf that he could watch. Dude, the most unrealistic part of this episode is that there's not 50 Mexicans outside of the Home Depot saying that they can do it for cheaper. Like, he could have solved this easily <laughs> if there was a realistic representation of Mexicans. Wow. Someone wins the Nobel Prize and thinks they're pretty hot. All you did was not have a bell, okay? <laughs> no <laughs> bell. Oh my god, that's what she thinks it is. No bell, people. Oh my no god. bell. <laughs> Are you fucking Four kidding IQ. me, Lola? When you think she's hit rock bottom, she just gets even <laughs> stupider. What's going on, man? I was taking a nap. I almost dropped. Wait, Speedy lives in his Wait, just get stuff. Speedy to fix Speedy it. Speedy owns a successful pizza restaurant and he still like mooches off of Bugs. Hey man, the, the rent's cheap there. The rent's cheap. Wait a minute, you live in Bugs' house? Don't you own a restaurant? Can't you afford your Oh my god, they literally wow. just said it. Now she's smart. Now she's smart when she's just saying the exact same thing that you guys just said. And I'm having a lady friend over for dinner tonight. Ooh, who are we having a day at dinner with? I'm <laughs> no, my Porky, girl. get a freaking backbone, man. Stop taking Get a gun. It. Don't get a Porky, fucking backbone. Get a gun and it. shoot him dead. It's duck season, Porky, and <laughs> Daffy's on the list. You've given me a birthday gift. Oh, oh. Well. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Bro, they go way uh, back. And you can avoid future humiliation <laughs> if you would just follow this. Not, this is supposed to be our escape. The songs are supposed to be our escape from what happens in the episode. But even in this song, Daffy is just giving Porky shit. We can't escape Daffy's evil behavior. We need a video essay on Daffy's like Joker-like behavior. The His psychopathy of Daffy Duck. Chinsy, 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 chinsy. Very chintzy. Yes. That's why I'm setting fire to the photo you gave me. <laughs> What? You That's didn't have to do that? It's educational, man. We Those all cows. learned a lesson. Look at the cows. Look how they animated the cows there. Well, what do you think? Hmm. The He's pretty nice, I wait, guess. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> There's another plot where Lola is trying to be a real estate agent for Speedy. What the fuck is this episode? There's so many, like, diverging plots going on here. My eyes are up here, okay? I can totally see through that. <laughs> Doing a <laughs> yes! Yeah! Every episode, man, we gotta have at least one cross-dressing sequence. What do you think? We got the F plot, though, with the gerbils. Don't it. worry. Oh, God, I can't Don't do worry, it we got anymore. the F plot with gerbil, gay, gerbil 1, and gay, gerbil 2. <laughs> now this is speaking to me. Hmm? Oh, thank you. It's very flattering, but I have a boyfriend. She's talking to furniture oh right now. Oh my god. Excuse me. Blah, 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 blah. I'm from France. <laughs> 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 no one comes into their fucking place. They're really trying to sell something. They're about to go bankrupt, and Lola's their last hope. Maybe this is speedy. <laughs> their faces. <laughs> <laughs> So, where's Porky? <laughs> <laughs> Porky, please! Please! Why do you have to show his ass? This is just traumatic. I don't like this. I don't like... Daffy isn't even a funny little guy anymore. This is messed up. He threw butter at Porky. He's abusing Get him. Get the fuck He's away from him, you him. piece of Dude, shit! If I saw Daffy on the streets, all I'm saying is it's on sight, bro. Me and my boy's finna jump on him. You are not his butler. I know. I just... I like having someone around. Oh my god. He's that death so for alone. company. Get this man a girlfriend. Bro. I can't do this anymore, man. Bro, do it, bro. Bro. Do it. No, Somebody bro. needs to help bro. this man set up bro. a Tinder account. And I can tell <laughs> you put these in the... <laughs> Woof! Damn. You heard that smack, okay. dude? Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna lie. Like, that smack forgives all of the terrible Got actions acting up. in the Got show. Got me acting up. Oh. Got the <laughs> Why does he look He's like the crazy average Nobel Prize winner, bro? I uh, bet you thought your house was destroyed. It was, but I'm a Nobel Prize winner. I know how to fix a house. 
Okay, <laughs> Yo, Handyman I Tina. That's I fuck what I'm with telling that. you, bro. That's why I keep saying Tina's Latina coded. That's Latina. why she's dating Daffy because she thinks she can fix him. Oh my because god. Because she can fix Tina the <laughs> Builder. You, there, some things you can't fix, Tina. Height, if they're three foot six, we'll put six foot three. Wait. Oh, he's making him a Tinder. Oh, How bro, we literally it? just said that, yeah. But what's going to happen when I finally meet one of these women? Won't they be disappointed? Any woman that goes out with Porky Pig is going to be different. No, no. Why no. would you say? At least he's Dude. making him the Tinder, though. But he's helping this a friend nice. out. Think about it. He's finally doing something. Like, it's somewhat close to doing something good. Is he helping or is he just setting him up for failure, Core? He didn't even give him the right name. He called him Lorenzo Villagiriosa. <laughs> Uh, Porky, I think someone's interested. Hey. Uh, I really like your profile. <gasps> wow. No, he's so genuinely excited. I love that. I need Porky to get a W. Don't write her back until you know what she looks like. <gasps> granny? <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay, it's a Granny episode. Things uh, just got good. Bro, I need Porky to bone Grandma. Look, the, the, the pipes down there haven't been used in years, man. Like, someone that can get in there dusty. and really do some good work. The most animal-like thing anyone's ever done in this entire <laughs> yeah. series. Well, that's because Sylvester, Sylvester still is a pet in this show. Yeah, you know Sylvester I mean? and Tweety really blur the line because they're like they seem fully sentient. Tweety Bird was literally fighting in World War II, and yet they are still pets. Oh, hello. Da, 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 da. All right, knock off the pleasantries, Grandma. We know you're lonely, so let's go do something and get. Oh my God! Someone kill this dog. I cannot take it. I anymore. love him, bro. It's weird because in an earlier episode we saw him being chill with Granny, but now he's question mark not being chill. He was forced chill. to. He was forced to. See, this is why it's so hard to drive in Florida because these are the people that we have in the street. Yeah, I was gonna say typical day in Florida. Oh, little red dot, where are you? This is kind of cute, actually. Dude, yeah, I mean, I just like cats. I like, I, I frequently look Oof. at videos of cats as if I'm like some like boomer whoa, or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What were those eyes implying, Sylvester? <laughs> what were you doing with Granny's panties there? Will you hand me that? This pen? What are you gonna do? Write out your last will and testament? I love, I love that Sylvester understands what the last will and testament is, and yet cannot comprehend the idea of this red dot. The so red dot is just like a cat's worst nightmare. You know what I mean? Like cats are very intelligent creatures, but like <laughs> there's just something about that red dot that is incomprehensible. It's like cocaine for them. No, catnip is literally like cocaine for them. This is a red dot. Much I don't even want it, but I gotta have it. Okay, never mind. It's cocaine. Never mind. You're right. Cokehead. Never cokehead, mind. Cokehead. You're right. I am back I want it, right now. But I, I gotta want have it. it. What's wrong with me? I he's living on the streets. He's becoming a crackhead for the red dot. <laughs> oh my god, he saw a red dot, and now there's polka dots. This is trauma. Someone needs to calm him down from this panic attack. Perito, where are you? Ah, I'm not a ginger child, get it away from me! We're here. Let's start sailing. Where's the ocean? Yard sailing. Oh my god. Oh my fucking it's god. Over, man. It's, it's over, man. It's dog. over. That was the last straw, Granny. <laughs> You're going home in a funeral casket. You're going to the old folks' home, Granny. Sorry. Wait, Wiley Coyote's what in the What are show? you really chasing? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as fuck. That's funny as fuck. It's extra funny because we skipped every fucking segment that he's in. So we sucks. don't know what he's chasing because he didn't even fucking watch What the is segment. he chasing, man? It's Saturday night and I got the food place. But you're ruining the vibe with your lonely. It's just a song. <laughs> bro, bro, it's Porky a second song with break. Porky getting... <laughs> Give a chance, dude. They fucking hate Porky in this show. Are you eating porridge? It's easier on my soft teeth. Oh, no, British. That, was, no, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. I didn't like that one. British moment. Dude, that looks like the fucking carpet that you have on the floor when you're a kid with the city. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that shit goes hard, man. That Bro, shit goes take crazy me back. hard. Better times. Oh, 
Yay, yay, Daffy got hurt. Yes, Daffy's in the hospital. Good, good, suffer, suffer, <laughs> I hate you. You see, your conscious mind is fixated on the red dot. Now let's see what's going on. Sylvester's in going through therapy. This is such a weird show. I wish Bubby from Flapjack was my uh, therapist. Like maybe therapy would actually work then. Damn. Tell me about your childhood. <laughs> Bro, the, the Sylvester, Sylvester lore. The Sylvester in the striped pajamas? Is that what's going to happen? His friend's going to go into the internment camp next door? What the fuck is about to happen here? <laughs> Squidward nose mm -hmm. looking at cussing on the goddamn Squidward nose <laughs> looking at It's not the red dot that you want, it's your mama. I haven't seen her since she retired to Florida. Oh, why we gotta name drop Florida? Bro. Why we name drop in real locations. Like I get it, old people live here. Now which one of these condos belongs to my mother? No, wait, wholesome ending question mark? So wait, what's going so on? So his mother what? retired. So is being a pet like a job? I don't know. Like, is it man. a profession? Honestly, that would make sense. Like, in this society where there's like pet like creatures, like maybe you just act as a pet to like old people who are willing to pay you. Like, this is just, they're like the caretakers for grandma, essentially. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god, dude. Tell me she ain't a baddie, bro. Let's be honest. Bro. I don't know what's wrong with us. <laughs> She's not a baddie, but like I want to... Well, I wish you would have called because I have bridge at 11, water... You just find out his mom's a piece of shit. Well, because he's always wanted his mom's approval, but she sucks. Maybe if you'd spent a little less time chasing that bird... You'd have made something of yourself. Damn. Damn. Wow, that's awful, man. Jesus Christ, I can feel the pressure. I can feel the trauma. And what's with your teeth? They're all mangled. You don't wear them. Oh my <laughs> you God. You don't wear the Get retainer, bro. Back, this is too mom. real. There's someone out there in chat right now who hasn't worn the retainer in a while that is just completely <laughs> getting called out right now. Who needs a red dot when I've got a yellow bird? <laughs> Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time for me to go home. I just think that's Damn. crazy that chasing the red dot became a metaphor for chasing after the approval of his mother. That is Fucking insane, insane direction for the Looney Tunes show. I didn't know the show was this good, man. It's the Looney Tunes show. <laughs> Which motherfucker in the writer's room has mommy issues? On oh, God, man. Egg, your animal am in my pet. I'm supposed to uh, g g give you food. Oh, I'll so Porky got there. off Tinder and he, uh, he got a snake. Porky's dead now. Porky's dead. Okay, everybody. I want to introduce the rest of the workout team. Oh, my this God. They, they're they already starting it off good, man. I've always wanted to join, like, a... Oh, my God. Wait, he, is he stroking his thing? Oh, I thought he was stroking his <laughs> thing for a second. He's playing with his worm to start a season Daffy, two. Daffy, I'd really like it if you'd stop j***ing off in the living room it's my house you don't even pay rent here does the animation style look different am i wrong it, they did change the character designs between season one and two why i don't know they look exactly the it same to me i'm not even gonna lie different is bad different. we were wondering if you would be the coach for our water polo team what does it pay oh I don't think you get any money. Oh, but you do get to control and abuse children. We go to a school in a ghetto neighborhood, Daffy. We don't have funding for anything. We don't have <laughs> pencils. I'm not gonna lie. I forgot that he was the same age as all those other kids. Just from a purely size perspective, I thought he was like chaperoning them. And then I remembered, oh yeah, that's a little kid monster. These are the best episodes where Daffy is actually like a nice person because that child brings the best out of him. It's like actually wholesome. Take a knee. Let's see what we've got here. One boy. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna lie. Water polo girls. has gotta be the lamest sport on the fucking planet. I don't even know how it works, to be honest. I've heard of water polo, but I've never played in my goddamn life. So basically, you have a horse, right? And okay, then you've you, lost gotta, me already. you take the horse into the water. You drown the horse in the water. <laughs> and whatever horse lasts the longest wins. Yay! Oh, the, oh, oh my god. god! Oh my god! He did what oh you my god! In. Dude, he stole my joke, man. You stole my fucking joke, Daffy. <laughs> this is way more entertaining, though. You and it's horse betting because you bet on which horse lasts the longest. Oh, this is even better. What's in this one? Ew, that's got butter. Is it a sausage? A heavy cream? Mm, no, this one's my favorite. Is Bugs gonna one? get fat in this episode? Oh, Big Chungus. Oh my god. Wait, but where He's does the Big fat. Chungus come from? Does the Big Chungus come from this show? It's from one of the old shorts. Oh, never mind then. It could come from this episode as well. <laughs> Dumb dog. Oh my god. Oh my god, thumbnail. Oh my That'd god, the me. fucking That'd booty cheeks. You see? 
Years ago, I was a small-time boxer living in a tiny apartment in, in West Philadelphia. He's <laughs> Rocky. I'm oh, not my. gonna lie. He could be a good coach. Because all you need to do to be like a good high school coach is give your entire team shitty nicknames and tell fake stories about when you used to play. And and be abusive. What a long-ass Rocky reference. I feel like if I was a kid watching this, I don't know if I would get this Rocky reference. None of these kids have seen Rocky. Gossamer does not know what the fuck's going on. And you know what that proved? That I wasn't just another bum from the neighborhood. Wasn't that a movie? <laughs> <laughs> he did know. I I doubt a gossamer, bro. He knows. That's funny because the monster has like older parents, so that would Don't be like. Don't call the type him the monster. Parents. He's a kid, man. Gossamer, dude. Yikes, man. That's fucked up. Are you mad at us because we lost? I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at myself. I'm your coach. Your leader. What the I should have done more. <laughs> I should have done the bare <laughs> minimum of being a coach. Wow. Look, Rabbit, I can't go to any more of your parties. That'll be five this week. Please. Oh, I gotta have a party. oh he's getting fat. He's getting chunky, Jack, bro. You are, you are going to put Big Chungus in the thumbnail. I don't care what you do. This is literally the Big Chungus episode. I can't. We got- Oh my god, he's pregnant! Oh my god, Big Chungus thumbnail. Oh, I don't want to put Big Chungus, but I have to. <laughs> I have to. I have to. I have to. They're forcing me. Maybe we should just forfeit. Why don't we just have Gossamer be the goalie? Wait, why wasn't this the obvious thing to do from the start? Daffy's a fucking moron. He blocks the entire net. <laughs> it's so hopey. Okay, this is just fucked up. Why Aww. do they keep hitting him directly in the face? Oh, that's great. We should have a party to celebrate. Ah! Big Chungus, Big Chungus, jump scare. Oh my god, oh thumbnail! Oh my Holy god! Holy shit! I hate my life. I don't want to let you down, coach, but I think I'd rather lose and feel like a winner than win and feel like a loser. Yo, that's Bro. fucking Damn, bars. The lesson, the lesson that's of the episode. That's fucking bars. Oh my god, that was awesome. Seeing you kids have fun out there, despite what the scoreboard says, taught me a lesson. Water polo is stupid. <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> what I expected sucks. him to say. Water polo does suck, he knows. No one really cares about this sport. It'd be one thing if this had been football or basketball. This is the speech? <laughs> I love them staring at him as it's inspirational music is playing. It's only waterfall, a sport no one cares about. That is awesome. <laughs> ah! He's a duck that can't swim. No, oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god, big chungus. Oh my god, thumbnail. Thumbnail. Oh my god, it's a fucking earthquake. Oh, he's dead. Wait a second. I know what's different about you. You're ten times bigger than you. Be. It's just played completely straight. That's actually funny. I do like that. What were you writing? An email to my boss telling him everything I can't stand about him. Oh, I remember this idiot. episode. What the fuck? But I'm not gonna send it. I'm gonna delete it. I don't get it. I mean, why would you go to all the trouble? It's to called therapy, it? Daffy, and I think you need it, man. <laughs> Daffy's like, that's a waste. Like, I would just yell at the person. He's just, Daffy's such an awful person. Let's go to dinner. What? I'm a pear. The Man's fruity as fuck. <sighs> I need him. I need him. Bro, get get yourself a girl you can borrow skirts from. I'm trying to find <laughs> that relationship. So, Mr. Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> Walter. Walter. That's quite a family photo. Isn't it fun? Oh we my god, those ew, are this ew. is the worst family. Ew. These are the photos they have when a white man kills his entire family, bro. <laughs> That's the headline photo. It's like him on the jet ski with his children. White man arrested <laughs> for murdering entire family in Florida. Eh. Okay. No way. What? But you just said okay. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, you could never look stupid. Second of all, of course he can't no, look no, stupid. No. Like, look at who he is next to right now. It's impossible. Do we really need to wear matching outfits? That's what makes it fun. Please. Why is he weird about wearing matching outfits? You literally dressed like a girl for fun in like 15 different episodes, He's Bugs. He's like, eh, all right, but only so long as I can wear a dress. And done. Finally sent you a little email. Oh, I didn't send it. That's the beauty of He's this gonna send it. He's gonna press delete and then accidentally press enter. Yeah. <laughs> Relax. Who'd you send it to? Who'd I send it to? Tina. Tina. 
Oh, he said oh, it to everyone. everyone. He, he said, said it, it to, to fucking everyone. every character oh in the show. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, if I check my email right now, there'd be nothing from you. Nope. <laughs> Me when I accidentally airdrop my grandma's nudes. <gasps> my tooth! It's not like you're about to take a family photo. Oh my god. But <laughs> 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 <That's so laughs> It'll take a week at least. Maybe I could smile with my mouth closed. <laughs> the Grinch. No way. You're a That's mean one, hilarious. Bugs Bunny. That's You're a mean one. Funniest expression ever. Hey, Billy, what's with the sunglasses? I'm keeping a low profile. You got sunglasses. <laughs> she just instantly flicks the. Us. That's so funny. That's so funny. More iced tea? Not too much ice. You're mad. Why are you mad? Because you said that people from my country shouldn't be crossing the border and stealing jobs, Daffy. I saw that email. You know what people <laughs> should call you? Yark. Why is everyone so mad at you? He didn't send it to Porky. Because he's already mean to Porky on an everyday basis, he's already says it normally. That's so funny because I was like, the one person I thought the email was going to be sent to was Porky, and then everyone else got one. I got your little email, and I got just one thing to say to you. Thank you, brother. You were so right. It was like oh my god, he needed it. This is kind of interesting. Like everyone is having a different reaction to the email. It kind of gives a little insight into every single character. I wonder if Tina will have a similar reaction. Oh my god. Daffy accidentally chipped it with my phone. They can't fix it until next week. Oh, so is this what we're wearing? Huh? Oh, oh she doesn't no. want him in the photo now. Thumbnail. No. No. No, we canceled the photo. <gasps> yeah, that's so <laughs> funny. That's... But now that she doesn't want him, he's going to want to be in it. You know, I just started thinking family photos are dumb. You don't... You don't need a photo to know who's in your family. True, right? <laughs> are you sure? Are you sure? Because you're the last person who should be saying that you know anything. I'm going to be in that photo. Yeah, oh, he now wants he to wants be in it Now just oh. to spite her. What a great relationship these two have. It's like so wholesome. I do think this is funny because this is the first thing he's ever done that like is annoying Lola. I'm going to be smiling so big. All you'll see is this broken, gnarled, jacked up tooth. Bro. Oh my God. He looks different. He what? cleans up. Oh, crazy. Oh, bro changed up. Holy shit. If you help me with this, I promise. I will send you a long, detailed email describing everything I don't like about you. <laughs> you promise? Oh my god, he's a cut. I am nothing if not a man of principle. Now let's break into this apartment. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's that was such fucking a fucking hilarious. Good joke. Why did he need to use Porky? Dude, he he used Porky's whole body. This is weird. You're just <laughs> tired from your day. Come with me. Gaslighting. Gaslighting. Breaks in your house. Gaslights you. Breaks your window. Darling, I hate to bother you while you're soaking, but what was your mother's maiden name? Romano. Why? Whoa. Don't say whoa to that. Don't say whoa to that. Not even. Our, it's a Oh my golly. Fucking. Oh, you guys are. Oh go. my god. Michael? <gasps> Who's Michael? Dear Tina. I can't no, he's going to misinterpret as cheating, but it's like a fucking oh hairdresser. My, it's, his, it's her fucking it, dad or something. I read the email from Michael. Michael's my brother. You met him? Oh, right. <laughs> Dude had one job. He had Bro, one he job. Completely How do you fuck up chance. that bad? Tina Russo is a psychopath. It's worse than I thought. <laughs> she may have everyone else fooled, but I know the truth. Why else would the kindest, most what? generous, and intelligent no way. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Whoa. I saw it coming, but it's <gasps> still surprising. I don't know, yeah. man. It's, that's wholesome you. as I fuck. I love you. Boy. That's wholesome. That's so wholesome. Wholesome episode. We watched the wholesome Chungus episode. Now, uh, where's my catered dinner? 
<laughs> okay, I love this episode. This episode's great. What? What? <laughs> they pull that out of nowhere, man. Double what? fucking cheeked up, Porky. He's bringing awesome. the pork what? for us. This might be the best episode of the whole show so that far. Was, this is I, a good episode. Also, I love that like there's like two contrasting things. Bugs and Lola's relationship is falling to pieces right now, whereas Tina and Daffy somehow have the most wholesome, like yeah, genuine what the bonding right? moment. <laughs> oh, they all got chipped. That's cute. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. Pissed. Oh, I deleted it. Was that your apology email? Nah, it was something I promised I'd send to Porky. I bet he forgot all about it. No, he's waiting. He's waiting all night. Dude. Oh Porky's so God. pathetic. Oh my How did Porky God. Needs oh. Porky needs to find a new squad. I'm not gonna lie. I loved this book when Alex oh yeah 70 sam fucking hates being normal i mean that's your protagonist there's no arc to that character what obstacle did he overcome wait what but why is he actually valid story? right now fact, why is he actually supporting his opinions with the evidence from the story right now oh my goodness this is the true path for Yo Yosemite Sam, he needs to become an angry cartoon reviewer on YouTube. There we go. He's the new. He's ER, bro. He's ah, ER. I fucking hate this episode of SpongeBob. Is uh, Voad Griff a word? If you can't say it, it's probably. I'd be not putting a word. on the Scrabble board every time, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It's not a word. It's a lifestyle. Darvog. What? I challenge. Darvog is a word. Use it in a sentence. I just did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, true. Don't move. Why? Holy Whoa! Spider. My a God! Fucking giant Holy spider! Shit! This is his canon moment. He's gonna become Spider-Man. Hey guys! <gasps> spider! Transcoding. <laughs> Oh my trans God. coding. She's wearing blue and white. Her purse is pink. Therefore, trans character. I heard this story once about a spider that crawled inside this man's ear and laid its eggs in there, and the spider babies ate his brain. That's a mad Spider-Man origin story. I mean, how many of those eggs are actually going to hatch, though? Like, there could be a lot of spider abortions going on in your head as well. That's fucked up, man. I don't support that. Tosh is missing! Well, we're not looking for a Tosh. We're looking for a lamp. What's a Tosh? Uh, how tosh can you? Uh, Daffy is the most unempathetic person I'm in the be planet. Honest, tosh point oh is not that great a show. I wouldn't care either. It's mid. It's just ridiculousness, but worse. It's not worse than ridiculousness. Ridiculousness is Tosh point oh, but worse. Shut the fuck up, bro. Does it have Rob Deerdeck? Does it have Chanel West Coast? No, it fucking doesn't. We'll take your case. Oh, are you private detectives? No. This is but the worst squad. The, the worst the squad. He's trying to, he's trying to fucking like make time. He's afraid of the giant enemy spider. Giant, giant enemy spider. Giant enemy spider. Well, whatever it is, I've got it. But the important one is my sixth sense. My sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> this show sucks. What the what? fuck was that? What, what? the fuck? That's her sixth what sense, her sense of humor. What the fuck did I just, what? I just wanted you to know that Daffy and I are gonna be a little late. We're investigating a missing persons case. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't believe her. He doesn't even believe He's her. He's not listening. He's not listening. But the good news is we got you a new lamb. You know, you could at least see it before you judge it. Unbelievable, that guy. Tell me about it. Try living with <laughs> Try living with him. <laughs> I never... <laughs> We haven't seen this that often throughout the show, the Daffy Lola dynamic, but it kind of worked. Yeah, there was like one episode with it, and it was like a really great episode. It was like the double date episode. It's just two forces of absolute chaos. It's working a very with terrifying each other. combination. Ooh, that looks good. What about a hat? Give him a little personality, like, hey, look at me, I got a hat on. Oh, yeah. That's what guy. are they doing? <laughs> the art was great, though. I wish I could commission Lola Bunny and Daffy Duck. I'd get my commission back in like eight months. Eight months, and it would not resemble what you asked for at all. Hi, Mr. Bunny. What's the matter? My pet ran away. <gasps> oh my god, it's his pet spider. He looks like an African sand spider, but he's actually harmless. No. I really miss him. Oh my god. <laughs> God, this so is the hard. most fucked up plot twist ever. Why would you add what? that into the episode? Why would you break my heart like that? Oh my god, he's gonna go in the poisonous gas to save the spider. I guess <laughs> the plus side is if he's got any other bugs in his house, they're definitely fucking dead. They're definitely dead. Gosh, Summer! 
Look who I found. That's not Webster. <gasps> there he is. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I will admit I didn't see that coming. <gasps> what is he? Oh my god, they got- Did they get, like, a real gopher? What is the implication there? Like, there's real ones, and then there's sentient ones? You'll be fine. Get some rest. Put this on twice a day. What is it? Darvon. Oh my god, it's oh my god, it's no Darvon. It comes way. full circle. Darvog is like, this shows, like, in iCarly when they have, like, dwarf, gorf, or gurf? Durf. It's called Durf. All right, gopher, give me my five dollars. I told you, I'm not a gopher. That's fucking racist. Ha 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 ha. That's racist, and it's not funny. And if you guys want to moose that, oh my god, he's naked. Oh my god. Oh god, oh god. Is it gonna be the mustache downstairs? Please, 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 please. It's so distracting. I see in the corner of my eye, it is so distracting. What are you talking about? He is entering hyperspace. Let Eden enter the fucking. It's driving me insane. Oh my god, his mustache is talking to him right now. This is awesome. Why does he have like a beautiful voice though? What the hell? Whoa, whoa, what? what? Does the carpet match the drape? Dude, that would be crazy if the pubes guy starts singing to him. <laughs> Another spider? No, it's just after seeing it, that shade, it's just really <laughs> too weird. Oh my <laughs> god, she she's for the streets. Get the rid of her. She saw it. Get rid of her. Uh oh, sorry. Uh, I was studying. Studying? Yeah, I uh, we, uh, we went back to school. One degree wasn't enough. This economy, man. God, he has to get the double degree. He's getting his master's, bro. He can't find a job after he was fired. But women love a guy who works on his car. <laughs> you have a girlfriend, bro. Trying to riz up Granny. You have a no game with Granny, bro. She has PTSD and you <laughs> you don't have five IQ points, bro. It doesn't work. What you winking at? Don't you wave at me. <laughs> He's trying to f*** <laughs> all his neighbors. What the f*** Dude, he is has going negative on, riz. We watched the most negative riz episodes of the Looney Tunes. He's gonna have to, like, knock on door to door. He's, like, s***ly harassing all these women. <laughs> What's that website where you can see all the sexual sex offenders or whatever? The sexual sex offenders. Opposed to the non-sexual <laughs> sex, the non -sex offenders. offenders. <laughs> well, Daffy's gonna show up, okay? Daffy? Is this the first time we see him without his gloves on? Yeah, he's truly naked right now. I've always worn them. It's who I am. Why do you wear that thing around your neck? Oh. <laughs> oh, I remember this moment. This is so, so sweet. funny. They've shrunk. You shrunk my gloves. Bro, it looks like fucking Glove World. It's like the edible gloves. Daffy. Adjective. Foolish? Insane? I had no idea. Damn, we're learning that. <laughs> Brother, shit's educational. Anything I've done is because of my name. I have to change my name. Not gonna lie, this is really bad for the branding. Don't understand what the Looney Tunes writers were thinking. What if he changes his name to Donald? You know what I mean? And then it becomes much more <sighs> That's confusing. gonna be some serious legal issues. Big lawsuit coming, bro. How do you say, uh, burrito? Burrito. What? So Spanish and English are the same? That's that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I speak Spanish. Lola might be very stupid, but at least she's bilingual, you know what I mean? Oh, you poor thing. Let me get you a glass of water. Or, as they say in Spanish, a glass of water. She didn't even do, like, a Spanish accent. She just said it again. She said it again, but slower. She just thinks Spanish people are slower. That's They're just a little slow. Which is a little weird, considering the one Spanish person she knows is Speedy Gonzalez. Well, I have an extra pair in my purse if you want to borrow mine. What are these? Oh, they're too fruity for the him. bunny wears Prada. What the hell? He cross-dresses the entire show. All of a sudden, he's afraid of a couple of pearls. These are all baby names. I don't want people thinking I'm a baby. <sighs> I hate this. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Silly Willy Daffodilly. Who would he they say that? All the kids on the playground. He looked at the right, screen. He looked straight into the camera. He did there. the Jim Halpert look, bro. What the fuck was that, Porky? Easy for you to say. 
You don't know what it's like to have your name be a source of ridicule. <laughs> <laughs> Porky's name is the equivalent of your mom naming you fat guy. <laughs> like, but he's a pig. He's Porky Pig. John Pig kind of goes hard, though. Porky should just go by... He'd probably get hired at another accountant firm a lot quicker. I'm afraid we don't carry white gloves for men anymore. What? Why? Well... Because it's not the 1800s. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, whoa. It's not the 1800s, oldie. Yo! Yeah. Yo! The only gloves he could find were in Hot Topic. Daffy, that place is disgusting. They have, like, pictures of us, but they look like hood versions of us. No, not that. This. <laughs> Professor Duck? I changed my name. <laughs> Bro. He changed his first name to Professor. Sorry if that hurts. I didn't know you started. Damn. This is like the fucking mask. Like, whatever he wears on his gloves becomes his personality. All you gotta do is follow the lesson plan. You'll figure it out. You're a professor. Professor Johnson, don't forget about our pop quiz today. Oh my God, he's the worst student <laughs> ever. I beg what you. a crazy development. He's the one kid in class who always remembers to ask the teacher like about the homework at the beginning. God damn. You're in my chair. But, but I was just leaving. I like this new Bugs, man. What the fuck? How does he even have a tattoo? He has like fur across his entire body. That wouldn't even work. Huh? What? Oh my god, I want I want him. Dude, how much you want to bet like Daffy's gonna end up failing Porky Pig? He's not gonna be able to get his degree just because of Daffy, and then like Daffy's gonna face no consequences because of and, that. And Porky's still gonna be in student debt. Being a biker is so 90s. Like that's old school, man. I hope he gets into a car accident that cripples him for life, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Holy shit! The Roadrunner road in 2D? 2D That's animation cool. Wile E. Coyote? It's not the shitty CG that was in the last season? Oh my god! I have a theory. It's not a cabinet at all. It's a portal. She's making the pog face. This woman is so amazed by his bullshit is spewing. He's like head cannoning that the fucking portal to Narnia is in the president's <laughs> cabinet. So this is how they start storming the capital, man. <laughs> Something's wrong with your dryer. Lola's just being stupid. Lola's got no plot. She's just being stupid in this episode. Get out here, bitch, right now. The misogyny entering Bugs' body with these fucking gloves is insane. <laughs> that doesn't look like it's got enough red marks. Maybe I'll circle this. Maybe three question marks here. <laughs> this is the evil English teacher in high school when she gets in a fight with her husband. She's just giving question marks randomly, no explanation. We don't listen to classic. We listen to rock and roll. How about a little respect? You're not the boss of me. <laughs> what is this episode so weird? It has progressed to such an interesting point. It's like hitting all like the movie parody beats. All the like stereotypical dialogue, but framed through these characters just makes it funny. <laughs> Come to class tomorrow, 8 a.m. Slowest bike on planet Earth right there. He sees the potential in that bunny. He could be a good kid someday. Room for one more? Always. Hey, man, the kid next to you paid $3,000 to sit in this goddamn chair today. You don't get to walk in for free and watch this fucking lecture. Thanks again, Professor. Hey, you promised me you'll keep up with your studies. The fucking cheesy ass <laughs> music. You promised me you'll keep making a difference. Dude, Porky is not on the same wavelength as the <laughs> Porky's like, I did not get the script for this episode. Uh, uh, glasses. Porky is the one that's gonna end up on the fucking sexual offense registry, bro. He just ripped off their clothes in public. This disgusting, inhumane pig. Have fun. Oh no, she's gonna, she's gonna break up with him, bro. He's in the Prius again. You got the Prius again, bro. Yeah. Oh my God. Girl not the depleted, Prius. bro. Her girl went away so hard. <laughs> Tina! I didn't know Tina looks like that in red, bro. Be right down. Almost ready. Wait, David what? Bowie thought he was that awesome! <laughs> that was fucking awesome! Am, 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 my credit card? You're gonna notice two $14 charges on there to the courthouse. 
Oh, and one seven hundred dollar charge to Contemporary Mail. Did he buy a hooker? Yeah, you you buy a hooker with a credit card. He went to Vegas. Tina, I hear what you're saying. I do. I just feel that since you were with me when I got the parking ticket, you should pay half of it. That is base. <laughs> that is a next level cheap move. I'm surprised he's not trying to make her pay the whole thing. Dude, that's a whole curvier enthusiasm episode right there. Goddamn. Where am I from? Albania. Albania. I'm from Albania. I am, how you say, visiting your country. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, but please do take me off your phone list. Oh, oh, he looks evil thumbnail. That was a sus <laughs> facial expression. He kind of was making himself look like a racial caricature right there. Dude, Albanians in the comment section are going to kill themselves after that impression, bro. That's evil. That's an evil impression, bro. Yo, leave a like if you're Albanian. Actually, 1.1% of our fans are from Albania. So shout out to all the Albanian milkers out there. This weekend's the annual peach festival. Porky's gonna ask me to go with him. He's got a fat peach, if you know what I'm saying. Just tell Porky you don't want to go. I can't do that. It would break his little pig heart. <laughs> his little pig heart. That's so don't cute. Don't pigs have rather large hearts, actually? Porky is a very small. He was the runt of his litter core. He has a small little pig heart, man. You know why? Because this weekend is the Peach Festival. Look at the Peach Festival and He's so excited. That looks disgusting. Like, the peach is too close to his, like, actual skin color. So he just looks, like, disgusting and fat right now. And just naked looks like right now. like a naked, obese baby. I promised Lola I'd do something with her this weekend. Well, you believe that's no reason not to go. Oh, no. He's pushing too much, man. No means no. Okay, someone teach this man what the meaning of consent is. What are you, what are you doing here? Waiting to see if anyone drops money. <laughs> He's the most scumbag He's shit ever. He's like a ever. fucking homeless person. Lola's moving? That's what he said. Why is Lola moving? I you don't know. Where's she moving to? Dude, Daffy's trying to fuck up on this plan. He's like unraveling his friend's lie. It was his idea for him to lie in the first place. And then now he's going to try and stop him from lying or some shit. Like, what the hell? Is it, shouldn't you be packing boxes? Ah! Yo, put a fucking scary sound effect there. That was fucking terrifying. Lola, what are you doing here? Bro, the fucking... She's got a little bit more than... Yeah, I was not gonna expected. say anything, but yeah. Black guy with glasses, core in the background. Viola's moving. Who's Viola? You're asking me who Viola is? Uh, yeah, who's Viola? Viola's my... Sister. My sister. Bugs is really bad at lying. He's going to dress up as a fucking girl in this episode because he has to be his big sister. <laughs> oh my god, his resolution Another... for every problem is cross-dressing. Lola's moving into Bugs' house, so I'm out. Let me live with you. Uh, I'm not living with anyone till I'm married. Hey, you gotta put a ring She's on She's waiting till marriage, man. Why did I? Holy fucking shit there. We haven't seen this side of town the entire goddamn the show. Bro, this literally looks like where there's no Riz in Ohio. Like, this looks so ghetto. What? <laughs> what the fuck was that sentence? Hey, this neighborhood's even worse than I thought. Uh, I hope my car's okay out there. Oh my god, he stole of Daffy's shit and put it in a random way. This is so, so it's much gone work. gone too far. Why does her dresser say property of Daffy Duck? <laughs> Why would he put that in there? I actually just need this all shipped back to my house. This is like five minutes from here. It'd be a lot cheaper just to drive it there. I'm well aware of that. <laughs> this guy sounds so normal. That'll be $1,248. Oh my God, he's dropping a fucking band. Bugs. Peach? No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> this is just tell the truth, Bugs. Just tell the truth. I saw the peaches in the bowl and I was going to say something, but man, it really got me with that. I think watching this as a kid would make me never want to lie ever. Hi, Viola. Viola. You're stuck at work and won't be home till after midnight? Oh, I see what's going on. You're pretending I'm some fictional person saying lines I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> I love Speedy. He's funny as it. hell. I mean, I expect this kind of thing from the duck, but not you, Bugs. That's not your area. That's not your area, bro. No, you're, everyone knows. This is the second episode in a row where it's like they're switching up. Everyone's like, you're not like this, bro. You're not like your dumb fuck roommate. This episode in the last one, Bugs is going through like an identity crisis. <laughs> Now, I definitely like to take risks. But, what? so Daffy just joined the Marines now? Did they forget, like, that Daffy <laughs> had to do something in the episode? Don't be afraid to wake me if the guys go whale watching or some other fun Marine thing like that. Why was he so scared? What the fuck? Forget about getting me up early. You could just tell me about the whale watching. 
<laughs> they really just never corrected him. He's been saying this dumb shit. It's almost like, you know, the Marines would like someone ignorant to join. This is the only flight to Albania today. Of course it is. I mean, we're stuck in traffic, so we'll be there soon. Man, I wish I was at that peach festival. It's not too late, bro. Is like the Marine B plot and the A plot going to converge? Like he's going to do something in the airport and then the fucking Marines are going to raid the goddamn airport. It said like spies escaped from Albania in the newspaper at the beginning of the episode. That's probably going to circle back around. Oh my God, the baddie appears, bro. That must be Viola. Bugs obviously got the looks in the family. Why is Lola always roast cross-dressing Bugs? Lola's like low-key transphobic or some shit. Now boarding flight 787 to Albania. Well... He has to go to Albania. Bugs has to go to Albania. Oh. Oh my god, because it's not him. Papers, please, bro. They're going to send papers, his ass please. to the gulag. Oh my god, no! He got the wrong papers! Being trans is a crime in Albania. Don't give him a gun. Do not give this motherfucker a gun. Wait, he actually made his way to become this a This is insane. Why is he in the military? <laughs> what is going on? One year later! <laughs> what the One fuck? year past! This is the second time they've done that. Remember when they went to prison yeah. and they just were in prison for like a year? Who are you? We're the United States Marines. They're saying this episode is awesome. Why are we at war with Albania? What the <laughs> fuck is going on right now? What are you doing in an Albanian prison? What are you doing in the Marines? I needed somewhere to go after you kicked me out of the house. <laughs> this is me. insane. This is one of the most what wild the fuck? episodes. This is crazy. This episode is fucking <laughs> mental. <laughs> He's cutting them down. Daffy's killed several people, bro. Daffy probably has a kill count in the hundreds. How did it happen? Well, it's kind of a long story. April, you're perfect. You can tell us in the car. To oh the fucking God. peach festival. It's perfect. The it's fucking perfect. peach festival. Perfect. No! This episode was a masterpiece. I'm not gonna this lie. is a masterpiece in comedy episodes. writing. Like literally everything comes full <laughs> circle. <laughs> This is intense. Are they gonna play pickleball? They're not white enough to play pickleball, Cor. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. Hey, you two. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Patricia. Her name's Patricia. He's on first name basis. Is there something going on between Bugs and his mom? You calling her Patricia and shit. Hey, Walter. Walter. Walter is the funniest fucking name possible for this <laughs> big ass man to have. I think of you as my son, Ergo. You are my son. What do you say? You f my daughter? You become my son. You f my daughter? I respect that. I respect the I man who f***s my daughter. What's up? Are you just getting home? Yeah. What's in the bag? Stuff. Wait, what? 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 He's got a fucking corpse in there. <laughs> Wait a second, does he have a corpse in there? What the fuck is going on in there? So heavy. Daffy's a serial killer. That's what they reveal in the season finale. They'll reveal at the end of the episode. They'll just reveal that Daffy's been killing people and putting them in his gym bag. You're not my actual kid. I'm just his mentor. I joined the father figure program. You should not be a father figure. Out to lunch, to the movies. Sometimes you take him shopping. You should join the father figure program. What? No. no. What? No. Daffy is good with kids. We have established He this. is good with kids. Daffy's kind of like Jesse Pinkman, you know what I mean? Because I know you're about to make a difference in mine. Oh my god, it's Chicken Hawk! Why do you wear that outfit? What are you, a waiter? Actually, I'm a, a caterer. Then make me some chicken. Oh god, that camera <laughs> angle is not satisfying. Ah! What the fuck is that camera <laughs> angle? The thighs are thick. That's Porky's c cam. I'm hungry, bro. Enough with the chicken. Uh, I'm your father figure. And I say we're uh, going to the textile museum. Bro, the textile museum's fucking boring. Bro, just make bro. him some fucking fried chicken. He, that's what he wants. He wants one thing. He just wants some chicken. Take him to Popeyes, bro. Let him eat. Oh, bugs. You're nothing if you're not practical. You must get that from Patricia's side of the family. What? Bro, what I would give to be watching the game with that bag on the couch. I'm the one who needs the mentor. You saw me sauntering home at 4 a.m. 
Heaven knows where I was or what I was doing. <laughs> Why does he say it like is that? Is he just trying to get attention? <laughs> He's asking for help here, and Bugs just gives him the fucking stern eye. So far, so good. Daffy Duck? <gasps> what? Yes! Let's fucking go! Foghorn Leghorn is here, bro. He has been Daffy's father figure in, like, all previous episodes. I say all the time I've known you, I had no idea you were a child. He made him CEO of a company. You made him CEO of one of the biggest conglomerates as a child. Henry, give me my chicken. Hold still, chicken. He's eating the animals in the goddamn pet store. I'm getting chicken. And not as long as you're with me, you're not. Okay. Porky is a bad father figure. He is for really real. bad. Just give him some chicken, man. The kid literally asked for one thing and you deny it. I understand, like, not getting everything he wants, but he only asked for one thing, man. Okay, let's rally a bit to see where we are. Oh my fucking god. You gotta read Prince of Tennis, and then you will learn all the strategies. You can't have a, it, the fun right here and now. By staring at a wall? It's not just a wall. It's a, a freshly painted wall. Oh. oh my god, literally watching paint dry. I take it back. You know that episode where Daffy fucked Porky over like so hard? I don't feel bad for him anymore. I rescind my empathy. Is Bugs going to solo? He, I think he's going to solo Bugs the entire so tournament. Boy. That would be hard. He's probably just happy to be able to play against people who can hit the ball back to him. Well, I can't complain about not getting to hit the ball anymore. <laughs> no they way. Enter. They entered. No oh my fucking God, they way. We're watching tennis? I thought we was going to play tennis. Uh oh, I'm mean, not very good at sports. Oh my god, he sucks. I legitimately feel bad for Henry. Fox, <laughs> Look how small that guy's face was. You see the person sitting next to Lola? Charlie Kirk. Uh, would you mind scooting over so he can see? <laughs> Yo, he oh sees it. Oh my god. He sees oh it. My god. He's hungry. Where did he bite him? Where did he bite him? Oh my god, right on the ass. They fucking arrested Henry. They sending the seven and a half year old to juvenile hall. Dude, that's like 21 in chicken hawk years. Like he's going to serve a full sentence for battery. And maybe sexual assault too. Like that's right on the ass. Like that's kind of up to interpretation really. He should, he's a criminal bro. He should be. You've got a big heart, Bugs Bunny. You get that from my side of the family. If that awesome. were true, it would be incest. I love incest among bunnies. What's the matter with you? Fiddling with my stuff? What are you, nine years old? He's seven. Why is Foghorn Leghorn so nice to Daffy? It's too much. Dude, it's just me or his Foghorn Leghorn kind of thick though. And next weekend? You mean, you still want me to be your Ifigur father figure? You're the only father figure who didn't give up on me. Oh my goodness, wholesome ending. And you paid for the bail at the prison sentence. So yeah, I kind of have to be with you. I'm on house arrest. Stop ruining it. Stop ruining the wholesome ending. We were actually getting a wholesome ending in this goddamn show right now. Let the Looney Tuners have it. But that does sound fun. What does? Even they're watching grass grow. Never mind. Never mind. This is not a happy ending. This is a horrifying ending. Come on, Henry. You're missing it. He's taking the chicken. He's gonna watch the grass. It is wholesome. Oh, they've gotta, they've gotta resolve. This. Oh, the bag. What? What, what? the fuck is going what? on right now? What? <laughs> what? This is what he's doing till 4 a.m. He's a country dancer, Yo, bro. This is fucking Back hard. that shit up, bro. This shit goes Get fucking shit. hard. New phone. What happened to your old phone? He dropped it. Toilet. 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 You don't know to put it in the fucking rice, man. Dude, I had this phone in high school that I dropped in the toilet three different times and it still worked. <laughs> I dropped that shit in the toilet. It was the iPhone SE or something. That's so gross. Did you take a shit and then drop it in the toilet? I was pissing though. I was pissing. So I'd pee on my phone and it would still work. It was crazy. Hello there, neighbor. Hello, neighbor. I got a petition to get the black people out of our neighborhood. What's it for? But my roommate is black. Sam, I don't just sign something without knowing what it is. Uh, hey, will you sign this? 
Sure. <laughs> He's got places to be. He's got places to stand. He's got to rob people. I'm trying to get the courts to give me my guns back. If I get enough signatures saying that I'm a good neighbor. He has anger issues. And he's trying to get them. What the fuck happened off screen? What is this motherfucker FPS Russia? What do you mean I'm not tall enough to ride? I'm a grown man. I'm not gonna lie. He's it's kind of valid. His reasons Dude. for shooting these guns are kind of valid. How right many now. people has he killed with stray bullets? Guns don't kill people. Yosemite Sam kills people. Okay. So it's not even short for anything like pigmen. Dude, how much you want to bet the entire fucking B plot of this episode is gonna be like Daffy not understanding that his last name is just pig like just in pure awe i was just watching some old looney tunes episodes recently like of the original shorts and the one short i watched porky pig was like a, a hunter and he was trying to fucking kill daffy the whole episode oh yeah that's like a really old <laughs> one yeah who wants to come outside and watch me whip this pig in a foot race look at porky's calves daffy you got chicken legs you got duck legs bro a good race you may have won the battle. Breaking stereotypes, too. I respect it. True, like, ducks are known to be very fast creatures. <laughs> On land? They can run as fast as a Canadian goose, okay? They're fast creatures. Really? I feel like Daffy Duck's character would make more sense if he was a Canadian goose. I feel like <laughs> those are the most evil creatures on the planet. Like, it would just make a lot more sense. They'll probably be like a Canadian goose that shows up one episode, and Daffy will fear them. You know, he'll he'll submit like a beta or something. And Tina cheats on him with, <laughs> with the Canadian goose, the Chad. <laughs> Bro's just writing his fan fic right now. A Canadian goose named Jack shows up and f***s Tina from the Looney Tunes. <laughs> he has glasses and a beard. They found them lying in the middle of the road. The medical <laughs> bills, dude. The medical bills. How are all of the characters not in medical debt? They go to the hospital so goddamn often. Like, they gotta have a deal with this doctor or something. I'm here in case of emergency. What about bugs? They're gonna <laughs> foreclose Pizza Reba, bro, and it's all gonna no. be his fault. His business. Is, is that how it works? You can just put your medical debt on anyone you have as you're in case of emergency. What in tarnation are you? His house is on fire. I must have left the stove on. Bacon, your. It's now his fault. It's now completely oh your fault. Oh my fucking god. I let this man put on some clothes, man. Like, turn around. He's putting on pants. His body is so fucking fit, man. Like, look at his. The perfect V shape, bro. He is, like, really taking this burning building in stride. <laughs> Bugs is a savior. This is not good. Because now he's going to be even more indebted to you. Oh, it's going to no. make you another fucking king. Oh, yeah, no. it has historically worked out so well when Bugs gets roped into Yosemite Sam's life. You're lucky to be alive, thanks to this guy. Oh my god, <laughs> he had to say it too. Your friend was in the other day. Who? The hunk, the jock. Daffy did not give them his name or personal information. He is not getting any medical bills in the mail. You saved my life, so now I gots to save you. He's gonna try and kill Bugs Bunny. He's concerned. The most concerned expression we've ever seen I'm on I'm gonna show. push you in front of a moving train and then push you back out of the way. Go. What? <laughs> what the fuck is happening right now? He's such a right femboy. Now? He's such a femboy. Why is he moaning like that? No, because that? he's been watching Elton. He's been listening to Elton John, and that's giving him the gay wrist when he runs. Oh my god, but Porky does the same thing. Porky's kicked up. Like, Porky has thunder thighs. He's gonna have that endurance. Oh, oh. I'm not sure what the Heimlich is, but I'm a saving your life. Is Bugs being harmed by that? Like, the sound effect sounded brutal. It sounded so brutal, but he had, like, no reaction No to reaction. It. it sounded like he broke some ribs. I will not rest until I save your life. And then I can go back to just being your bad neighbor with anger issues. You want to sign this again? <laughs> Dude, it's all going to be Daffy. He's the only one that signed it so far. Careful, there's a bunch of broken glass everywhere. He pulled an entire fucking giant bottle of soda out of the fridge. Energy drink. <laughs> Energy drink? <laughs> well, I start with a sensible breakfast. What? A bunch of powdered sugar on a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's vile. You can eat turkey sandwich on wheat. Just deep fry that sucker and dump a bunch of powdered sugar on top. How it, dude, this motherfucker's metabolism is insane. powdered sugar on everything. I'll take a casserole dish. Pour about two inches of powdered sugar. <laughs> powdered sugar. <laughs> the powdered sugar on everything. Children who drink D fuel from like age 13 every single day, this is what they're going to end up like when they're adult. Look how fucking skinny he is in spite of all the shit he eats. Dude, he thinks cookie dough is a protein bar. I'm sure Porky's so bad. He's, he's trying to eat healthy and he looks at Daffy way skinnier than him eating pure cookie dough. That's fucked. That's fucked. My teacher is wondering if you'd come and talk to my class about what it's like to be a hero. Oh, sure. When we get- 
Racism. I found this black kid on your porch. I can't even like be on Bugs' side this episode because all he has to do is go, Wow, thank you. You saved me. And then that's it. Maybe it keeps going and Yosemite Sam gets Bugs to the brink of suicide and he's about to kill himself because he's so frustrated. And oh then Yosemite Sam God. saves him from killing himself. Like Bugs calls the suicide hotline and who's on the hotline? Yosemite Sam. Hey Bugs, what's up? Oh my God, what's that dump Whoa, truck back there in the back? Graham, what they didn't is going on They here. didn't need to, man. <laughs> that sounded like it really hurt. <laughs> you got one friend who nearly gets you killed in a fire, and another who hits you with his car. They really only got one doctor in this town. Every person in this neighborhood, in this fucking town, is a Looney Tune. I'm surprised they need doctors at all. Yo, the Egg. Daffy Duck cooking video? I'm here Where's for Where's the powdered sugar? Give me the powdered sugar. Powdered Two sugar. eggs. Two eggs. Powdered sugar. The powdered sugar. Okay, I'm gonna make Ribs, this tonight. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna make this after we watch. This looks good. Yo, binging oh, with Babish, sugar. get on this shit. You need to make it. He doesn't even bake it. He puts it in the microwave. And he's, this is disgusting. This is the Daffy diabetes meal. Now in 30 minutes, I'll give you the signal. Oh my God. He loves guns. What the fuck? He's like <laughs> having withdrawals. He's, he's seeing a gun he and he's like- just gonna kill himself. Don't do it, Bugs. You've got so much to live for. He's going to inadvertently shoot Bugs. No, this is not what's going to happen. Oh, well, my God. I would hope the starter's pistol isn't actually loaded. He was about to shoot your dad. No, you idiot. I mean. Oh, well, well, he, he finally, finally figured, figured it out. out. Jesus, like, that. we could have done that the first time it happened, Bugs. Thank you for finally using critical thinking skills 20 minutes into the goddamn episode. Sorry, Rabbit. It's been too long. Whoa, he's got gun fever. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're the jock, and I'm the loser. It's true. Go, you dependable, uptight, hunky loser stud! <laughs> what? Oh my goodness, this is literally the plot of Cars. Aww. Life this is so is inspiring. A I can't believe you carry Daffy 23 miles. No, he would have not. This is sad. That's not even funny, man. That's just sad. Porky, you gotta get better friends. You can clearly see my bee crossing the finish line before you. You're the buffoon. You're the uptight one. Why is Bugs happy about that? Why is he sm like Bugs is acting weird this episode, man? <laughs> I think he's just happy to be free of Yosemite Sam. I'm the smart guy. And the saint. And the jock. He's everyone. The title, it finally comes together. But what about all these signatures? That was funny. That that was funny. That was a That's funny way to end payoff. it. That's good payoff. That was a good payoff. But it's a little oh unrealistic that they didn't give him his guns back at the end of the episode. Yeah, like if that was a real case, like the CIA would have walked in and been like, this man is very mentally unstable. Let's give him a lot of guns, please. Are you looking for your pice? It's a handbag, not a purse. He's literally saying, it's an action figure, not a doll. Oh my <laughs> god, he literally just got a purse. It's a fire purse, though. Queer Aww. coding. Queer coding and Bugs does not fuck with him. Now that I think about it, both Bugs and Daffy are very, like, feminine coded. Daffy's very fruity just generally. He likes his fashion. He's all prissy about it. And then Bugs just cross-dresses at any given opportunity. Oh, no. What'd he do? They locked him up for being too gay. It was a handbag. It was a job. I was giving someone a job for money. I noticed a Cinnaball girl with a tray of Cinnaballs. Over here, doll. Over here, Over here. doll. He's so fruity in this episode. Over here, queen. Like, give me one of those balls. What do you mean I've exceeded my sample limit? Where does it say anything about a sample? He literally whipped out the purse just so he could become a Karen in this episode. He like, is that's a Karen. Part. Like, he's actually a Karen. I'm gonna get you a new handbag. I told you, it's irreplaceable. His boyfriend's getting him a fucking handbag. Some Gucci. I mean, it makes sense that they would have, like, carry around purses, right? Because they don't wear clothes. They don't have pockets. What do you mean I've exceeded my sample limit? Bro, Lola's doing the same <laughs> thing. Dude, That's this not... poor Cinnabon employee, man. Our anniversary! It's this Friday! He's buying me a purse! What am I gonna get for bugs? Dude, give this lady a voice actress. Like, is she like... Let her speak. If she's mute, then I understand. Like, I think we should employ the disabled. I think that's very progressive in our society. But also, why does she not talk? What time you want me to pick you up for date night? Date night? Okay, Tina and Lola, it's gonna be a good episode. It's gone. Just like my innocence. I saw the possibility and the beauty and everything. Break up with- you could do better, Tina. But she can fix them. She can fix them. She can fix them. She likes a project. 2,500 a day? Wow, that's kind of steep. Oh my God, he's gonna and he's gonna put Bugs' credit card on it. Why does he have his face on his credit card? That is kind of weird. He's gonna have to sell his Prius, man. It's not even gonna cover the cost of one day of security. What's the password? 
There is no password. This is my house. <laughs> He's so genuinely pissed. Then the password is zero eight four. <laughs> oh my god! How long does this Bro. go on for right now? Eight, He's got the auto-generated strong one, password right now. <laughs> Just let me in. Not without the password. Fine. What is it again? Oh, fine. <laughs> Unlock the door and I'll let you in. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> this is one of the dumbest seats. Such a long setup for it, too. It's a new handbag. Oh, that is so... This is a clutch. My boyfriend never understands what a clutch is compared to a fucking handbag. It's an evening bag for a fancy night out, like a night at the opera. Not that you ever take me to the opera. Not that you ever take me to the opera. Bro, they're <laughs> fucking. They're fucking. <laughs> the facial expression. Pure nothing. That's like not even a single emotion on his face right now. <laughs> Bugs does not care. He does not give a single fuck. Hi, Bugs. Just making sure we're all set for Friday night. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? She's in the Louvre. Is she going to try to steal it? How much for this painting? Pardon? Pardon? <clears throat> I am looking for the... <laughs> Well, the French really are rude. <laughs> Can you corroborate this, Eden? I'm not even going to lie. I don't even know what the fuck corroborate even meant there, so I'm not going to lie. I, I, there was no <laughs> there was no answering that. What the heck is Pilates? <laughs> it's able to be a body conditioning routine that builds the little long, the little lean muscles. You should get your money back. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's such an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> so he's extra. such an asshole. That was just fucked up. That's like three years of this man's commitment and training. Dude. And he says, that is valueless. You are fat and like, gross. He literally isn't even fat. He's a pig. Like, he has the body type that, like, he should have. Look, oh, dude, he's doing the Goku pose. Like, what? He's, like, strapped. He's, like, a bodyguard. He's like, oh, shit. It's the fucking hype beast version. Hello. It's the, it's the police. <laughs> <laughs> it's the police. What the hell is going to happen? We'd like you to look through these mug shots and see if you recognize anyone that might have taken your purse. Why are they taking this so seriously? Yeah, the police don't actually would never take a case like this in the first place. 99% of the time, if you get robbed, you are just fucked. Like, there's no... Donuts. They have donuts at the police center. They, oh my god. Police racism. Sometimes to help a victim access memories they may have suppressed due to trauma, we use hypnosis. This is a roundabout way of saying that Daffy needs therapy. Like, the police officer does, is not gonna solve the case. He's like, this motherfucker is- it needs therapy. What is going on right now in this Lola B plot? <laughs> Lola's the on like a bitch. main character arc right now. Lara Croft looking ass. She's tomb raiding, bro. Her tits are not polygonal enough for me. She's literally doing the goddamn uncharted puzzles right now. Dude, she's literally doing the tomb raider. She do be raiding them tombs like hard as fuck right I'll now. I'll raid her tomb. I'll raid her womb. Womb raider. All of this for her boyfriend to not even remember that they have their anniversary this Friday. Like This that is, is awesome. I'm, I'm gonna call it now. It's not even their anniversary. I think Bucks already has one of these. All of that for literally nothing. <laughs> That's like playing Elden Ring and you go through the whole underground area just to get something that you can't even use with your class. Are you my two o'clock? Whoa. What is going Actually, on here, bro? What is going on? Porky's going to pipe Is this going to be a therapist? Porky W episode? Yeah. Is this going to be the world's that. first Porky W? So let me get this straight. When the cops can't do their jobs, they rely on voodoo. <laughs> <laughs> do you think she stole the handbag? That's how she got her vengeance. Like the whole cinnamon thing is a scam. Like the cinnamon people are working together. They get one person to distract the person with the samples and they go and seal the bag. It's like a double operation. It's, it's the lost and found. Yeah, it literally fucking says security, mall security on it. took it to the lost and found. His name's on the back. Okay, can you read it? That's it. Mal Sakurati. You fool! I like that she still she wrote it correctly, even with him saying it so fucked up. So I wasn't the victim of a violent crime? This is insane, dude. It was stolen while he was up from his seat. <laughs> it wouldn't have been a violent crime to you begin with. You understand he's a Karen. He has to be as much of a victim as possible in this situation. If we're going to be the friends, I, I need you to either treat me like an equal. What? Now give me a ride to the mall. I've got to pick up my handbag. Come <laughs> on, <laughs> man. Oh, my God. What did God. I do, though? It's like 50%. No, but we almost made progress in this show, and it's like, no, we're going right back to Porky Aww. taking L. So... Where's my present? Wait, it actually, it, we underestimated Lola. Holy shit. It actually is their anniversary. I, I left it in the car. Be right back. Now I have a day bag and an evening bag. Ah! <laughs> He was the victim of a violent crime. Oh my God. Whoa. 
Poggers. Well, don't stop there. Don't stop there. <laughs> Certainly doesn't feel like Christmas. What is the background? What the fuck is that green screen <laughs> background for the CNN? It, it's like some like abstract liminal space. I don't really understand what they mean by this. It's too hot to celebrate Christmas. Like most of Christmas activity is like indoors, anyways. Okay, a Christmas Carol. They we really ripped out the dream team this episode. Yosemite Sam and these two fucking gophers, bro. Mac and Tosh, you'll play Santa's elves. Oh, they're called Mac and Tosh. Do you want me to be Beaver? Only if you don't want to be Weevil, I could easily see myself- That's my reaction. Nah, I'm not gonna lie, Yosemite Sam is kind of relatable right now. We can't tell you apart anyway! That one moment made me like him so much more. What about in my, in my, in my script? Oh, Hambone doesn't talk. That's kind of well, fucked up. That's fucked up! That's like, that's like only hiring like the Asian American actor to play some like racist like convenience store owner. <laughs> like that's, that's fucked up. I'm just the writer, I'm not an actor. Besides, Carol has a British accent that's essential to the role. No, she just wants praise. She wants to do it so badly. You know she wants to do it. Whoa, that first frame that they drew her in, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I feel like the, the animators found out like, oh, season two is the last season and we have not drawn Lola in like enough slutty poses yet. So they just started like doing them all towards the end of the second season or something like, I don't know. Well, I don't know about you, but I read the script. It ain't worth the air conditioner. Oh, so that's why everyone's there because this is the only place with AC in the town. That is disgusting. That's that disgusting. Uh, why you gotta do it to my boy? Oh, how, how, how. What a shit. This is, this is a career making role right here. Dude, you put like the Wednesday music on and kids will be lining up for this shit, man. All right. It's Where's Poppy's playtime? Santa? Santa's real? Why don't you take a seat by the fire? Sit on Santa. Sit, sit, let me Santa unbuckle his belt <laughs> real quick. Dude, what if yeah. he's hallucinating right now? And this hallucination, it, what? So you're saying what? you installed a giant fan at the North Pole and that any minute it's going to start blowing in winter weather? This is why the polar ice caps are melting, because they set up this <laughs> giant they put fan a fucking in the North Pole. Up there. And I've got him on tape. Oh my god, he's hallucinating. Oh, he was hallucinating. I was fucking right. <laughs> We're down here! Lola? Lola? Uh, how does it open? I don't know. Oh my god. The play starts in one minute. Bugs is gonna do a one-man show. And at that moment, Bugs Bunny... And at that moment, the narrator talked for the first time in 15 minutes. I know all you guys forgot he was even in the episode. It sounds exactly like the meme one. It's like, and at that moment, he knew he fucked up. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. What? I mean, this is like objectively impressive. This is awesome. He's a one man show. You weren't supposed to use the trap door. Santa. He's real. Santa, what? Oh my what? God. What? What the what? fuck is happening right now? Santa? Watch, it's a group hallucination and they're polar bears and all their corpses they're are being <laughs> ravaged right now by brutal polar bears. It took a lot of effort to put on a play this bad. They're both in the same outfit. That's so hot. They should f in the in the trap door. What the fuck? Nice trap door. I like how Santa sounds like a southerner. He sounds like he's from Alabama. Yeah. Oh, you can decide who gets what. Yosemite. Oh, bro, he's he was on naughty list, dude. Holy shit. Maybe for all those, you know, stray bullets that killed people that he shot, you know? Try and get your KDA down next year. <laughs> Your fan in. Looks like climate's not changing at all. And it looks like Bugs found out this year that climate change is not real. We got Christmas spirit blowing. What the fuck is this episode? I got sick on Halloween. New Year's was an awful scene. <laughs> Yo, Tina moment. <laughs> she beat up Cecil on New Year's. Hell yeah, Tina. I just know I worked that day. Give me Christmas any day. Whoa, Sylvester, bro. He's pulling, dude. He's been doing a lot of stuff off camera. 15 pounds of winter weight. <laughs> bro, <laughs> why'd he so grip gross. it? He gripped it like that. Like, holy schmoly, the bro. The fupa was crazy. Chicken Christmas tree. Cheddar cheese, not tibet. I love this Jesus is a weird Christ. Episode. I love Jesus Christ. We love Jesus Christ. Because if you don't, you're going to burn in hell forever. Wait, the Tasmanian devil is singing? He can speak English? Yeah, he, we've of. already seen him talk a little bit in this show. So Speedy Gonzalez is canonically Christian. 
Phineas from Phineas and Ferb has seen better days. Oh my God. This is him after college, not finding a job. He's a valet for Daffy Duck. This is Phineas after military boot camp. It broke him. Like imagine having children, carrying it for nine months and you name it fucking Paul. Like Jesus Christ. Paul is such a bitch boy name. Like, can we just talk about that? Like if your name is Paul, like get out of here, bro. The ignition key is obviously broken off in the ignition itself due to a fit I had regarding a personal matter. So Daffy he doesn't All have right, keys to his car. There is a pliers to activate the fucking float. Is the implication that Daffy hotwired this car and stole it? That would make a lot of sense. Why are you out on, this is like date night. This is like where he takes like Tina on the weekends. Porky, we'll split the bill. We'll split the bill. This motherfucker does not have money. Like he probably just has bugs his credit card. He's just gonna tear the bill in half and then run away. Where you going? The fifth dimension. Is that where you're from? Honey, I'm from Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, is that so, was, that, that is was a really good Chicago. joke. The menu said MP. Market price. Which in this case is two hundred and fifty dollars. Two hundred fifty a plate oh my is crazy. God. Pay the bill. Here. <laughs> that wouldn't even cover the tip. I was thinking too highly of Daffy. I thought he was gonna use Bugs's credit card, but instead he only pays five dollars of the bill. I'm just impressed he was actually going to try and pay anything. Yeah, this is character development. Oh, never mind. Okay, never, never mind. mind. <laughs> never mind. You take good care of my son. We'll be great. Don't worry. You're gonna... Racist. He's racist. What the hell is this racism allegory going on with Bug? Because she's also so heavily black coated that that makes it extra crazy. Bugs Bunny did do blackface for many, 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 many years. He hasn't gotten over like the stereotyping from the old cartoons. $350,000? Where would someone get a truffle? These big to sniff them out. Where are we? Randall McClintock National Park. I don't think you can just go to a national park and start digging for truffles. I don't think you can do a lot of what Daffy Duck does <laughs> on a daily basis, Core. Let the man cook, okay? <sighs> Why do you have to take- why do he, he have to, to take his clothes off to do this? he has to method act as a normal pig to find the truffles. That's how it works. He has to connect with his primal roots. What is it? I, I don't know. It's a giant truffle! That truffle just looks so gross. It looks like a piece of shit. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. They've never been in a black household before. Gossamer kind of, um, <laughs> he turned into a frog. <laughs> What? You do not deserve quirky transition music. Explain yourself right now. I might have also turned Gossamer's alarm clock into a great big ferocious grizzly bear. <laughs> Gossamer's fucking dead. Gossamer! I already know the twist that's gonna happen later in this episode. She turned the clock into the frog, and the bear is gonna be Gossamer. Watch, and we're, all, we're gonna find that out like 10 minutes later. Oh, they're gonna see a bear later in the episode, and that's gonna be- And then he's gonna eat the truffle. Eating the truffle is what turns him back. Why would the truffle turn him back? I don't know. I don't know, but we'll find out very soon. My girlfriend accidentally turned his alarm clock into a grizzly bear, and he escaped and ran away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna eat it and I'm gonna eat my half of the truffle. Are you crazy? Dude, this is literally like a psychological assignment. Like, if you gave them a truffle, you told them it was worth a million dollars and they were stranded, how long would they go without biting into it? That's like a, a torturous psychological experiment that would be like banned by the government or some shit. You, you can't fly. You can't swim. Are you even a, a duck at all? He's so fucking angry about that. This comes off very easily. Ah! Oh my god. Lola, none of these spells are working. Oh my god, he looks like a cyberpunk stripper right now. What? They found it. Ah! He's gonna take the truffle right out of his hands. Let go of the truffle! Uh, are you sure? Whoa. Okay. Daffy does something good Daffy, for the first he did it. time in his he life. Did it. it was MP. My pleasure. So Character awesome. development? What? what is going on right now? What he the did hell? something good! This feeling won't last as long as a half million dollars. He's gonna jump back in. Here. He's jumping back in. He's jumping back That's in. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. That was wholesome though. He saved for I legitimately life. can't believe that happened. So, um, Gossamer's in here, you say? I want the frog to eat them. Give us a moment. We'll 
fix everything. Oh, the furniture. They don't like his furniture. I hate the gay weasels. Let's stop talking and start decorating. No, dude. They let gay people into the Looney Tunes episode. And now this is the worst. This is the woke episode. He's the bear. He's the bear. He's the bear. I fucking yeah, knew it. You're I right. knew it. Yes. I'm so smart. This is like a point in Bugs and Lola's relationship where Bugs needs to break up with her. What you did in this episode nice is, is job, just- man. Core is down bad notorious in this episode. <laughs> Just listen, Daffy blindfolded me. Oh my god, he's not gonna believe Porky. But then he got lost and he, a bear chased us and I almost- No, he's like, fuck you, Bugs. Mortimer B! Hey, what's up? Those pajamas the go goes fucking crazy. hard. Then I found Mr. Pig and Mr. Duck and I knew I was safe. Aww. Gossamer is so cute. If you want, I can read you a bedtime story. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking thing. That is so much pizza. I love Daffy and Porky in this episode. I feel like they're actually friends in this episode. That's not a truffle. That's an old dirty potato. You feel like taking a trip to Italy or France? It, it would be MP. Yes! Aww. Yeah. This episode's so good. I, this is one <laughs> of my favorite episodes of the show. You called 911 because you couldn't open a can of tuna? No. First I called Bugs. Then I called my girlfriend. He did the due diligence. They're public servants. Like, what else are they good for? Oh, they didn't answer because they're in the movie theater. It explains everything. Oh my God, <laughs> Oppenheimer. There he is right there. I have become divorced. Bugs does not give a shit. I don't get it. <laughs> I always cry when I'm confused. <laughs> uh, our emergency services are underfunded. Are we able that property taxes aren't high enough? What is he saying <laughs> right now? Because I'm on the city council. He's on the city council? Yeah, I literally fall asleep from boredom. He's asleep. Fucking Luffy One Piece, bro. You're not him, okay? And does Porky back the blue? True. Porky's like, I, I just think we should we should pay the cops even more. Uh, instead of d d d defunding them, we should uh, r r refund them. You can't put metal in the microwave. Well, I know that now. Dude, that's, that's a so sassy, sassy kid. That's like a 14 year old angsty kid moment. I know that now I can't put fucking forks in the microwave, mom. Who's that handyman you use at the restaurant? You mean John? John, dear John. Do you think dear John's gonna pull up on a John Deere? No, it's a dear John. The <gasps> no, no. That's fucking stupid. That, no, is, that is so is stupid. Possibly the worst way you could <laughs> phrase it. A dear John letter. Bugs broke up with me. Bugs broke up with me. Look how beautiful the lighting is in this shot too. You didn't make a reservation? Bro, Tina. Shut up, Cor. <laughs> Tina's looking bad, bro. I'm on Cor's side. You do know that I'm a close personal friend of Porky Pig. City council member Porky Pig. Oh. Who knew there were perks to being friends with Porky Pig? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, apartment. She's packing away her things and leaving? From her own apartment. Do you bugs? <laughs> I won't ever want to see. <laughs> Dude! I'm so confused why they were doing that. I'm not even gonna That's lie. So That's so, so right. absurd and insane. Porky Pig voted not once, but twice to make our city dirtier. Garbage. 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 Because he's a pig. <laughs> Bro, racism. This is literally racism. On election day, let's send this pig back to the farm. <laughs> what the what fuck? What the fuck? That's racist. That Daffy is, that is That's racist. racist. I can't believe you're running against me. You're the one who said I can't use your name to get perks. He wants to be a corrupt politician. That is his life goal. What is happening? She's joining like a, a Buddhist monk. Like she's in a cult. She's like easily susceptible to cult tactics. So Lola definitely would join a cult like a hundred percent. She's probably been in several. And the key to meditation is silence. Newcomer Daffy Duck has won a seat on the city council. He won a seat? <laughs> oh my God. I don't ever want to see you again. Lola broke up with me? <laughs> Gervin, Daffy Duck, Moran. He's gonna die. He is having the same situation as Lola right now. It's called TikTok generation cannot sit in a room for a few minutes at any given point in time. This episode, I just feel like I'm at a city council meeting and I'm bored. Like we need Eric Andres to just burst through the doors and like do a prank to like make this interesting. Like just a cheese guy shows up. I have something that I need to get back to and it's called a life. The Looney Tunes show does not fuck with politics. Bunch of namby pambies. 
Ronald Reagan was right. Ronald, Ronald Reagan, Reagan was, was right. right! What the fuck? Was he going to the military? No! Lola! So you don't want to come to Pizza Reba? He is such a good friend. He's he's such a good friend. And Porky still went to Pizza Reba with him, even though he stole his job and made a racist attack ad against him. Someone just forwarded me a video. Is that the baby playing piano? I already thought. <laughs> <laughs> Bro is literally terminally online. My thoughts are that you people are all insane. Dude, no, this is Daffy realistic because what's going to happen now is that he's going to get like unelected because of what he said. But in real life, people would eat the shit up and just keep reelecting him. This is Donald Trump. That's what I was thinking. Daffy Duck could have a good presidential run. I owe you, my constituents, an apology. He knows the word constituents? He gained like what? 40 IQ points in this episode. Are you kidding me? What you did was great! You are the opposite of a politician. He's a real man! Free speech! This is the Donald Trump episode, everybody. <laughs> One year? Can someone do the math on how much time total has passed in this show? I think it's literally like four or five years. Your vow of silence is fulfilled. You should feel a deep and lasting peace. She didn't speak for an entire year. What do you have to say? Aww. That's cute. I can't believe she was physically able of staying silent for one year. Yeah, that just because I can't be on the city council doesn't mean I can't uh, come to the meetings. So Daffy's just been a city councilman for a year now. That's so interesting. He's stuck to it as well. Da is this character development? Daffy Duck lost control of his vehicle. He sacrificed his float. He loves that float with all of his life. Former councilman Porky Pig has agreed to fulfill the remainder of his term. I want Elmer Fudd to report all the deaths on the news. I'll put the speed bump here. He's putting a bunch of speed bumps? Fuck him, bro. We should kill him. We should kill him and eat him in front of his family. That note wasn't to you. It was to spiders and ants and roaches. Dude, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Her note is way less believable than Bugs's note. Like, Bugs's note, at the very least, made sense to the smallest degree. These motherfucking bugs can't read. Who are you fooling, bro? Who are you fooling here? Why'd you break up with the repairman? <laughs> awesome. Whoa. Rabbit sex. Heterosexual love in my Bugs. cartoon. There you go. Just like the ocean. Why do you have lobsters at all? Are they not fucking all dead from the chlorine? Ah. Oh, they're alive. <laughs> oh. oh my god. What the? F That's like a dong and rompa execution. What the fuck was that? I'm going to the beach to set some lobsters free. Just cook them up. But I'm allergic to shellfish. Uh. He, he, just, he didn't want to bother. He was like, I'll let this one slide. I'm not allowed to see Tina this week. Her dad's in town. Well, you're going to have to meet him at some point. I mean, don't you plan on being with Tina forever? <laughs> no, this is the worst person for Daffy to run into in this day. The dumbest person on the planet is giving you advice. You are lucky to have her. I mean, you ain't got no class. You ain't got no money. <laughs> <laughs> That's, so That's fucking hilarious. That's so funny. As far as I'm concerned, you shouldn't have to work. That so-called boyfriend of yours, he should be the one taking care of you. Massaging his dad? Fuck this. And what does this Daffy Duck do for a living anyway? Tell me. Oh, you know, stuff. He's a city councilman. <laughs> He's been in the fucking Navy. He was a CEO of a company. Well, why didn't you tell me he was a lawyer? I mean, that's fantastic. Why didn't she say he's a licensed cosmetologist? That's true. He's a lot of things. Oh my what? God, she's in on How it. How did they do this? Oh my gosh, she's looking kind of bad. She's looking kind of bad. They're like, let's be for real right now. Like, oh my goodness, I, I'm a furry. I'll be right out. Let me just wrap up this call. With the Supreme Court. Is he the one that made who made Roe v. Wade get repealed or something? <laughs> Is that what he was on the phone doing? Repeal that shit right now. You can't stay at a hotel. You'll stay at my house. Honey, your apartment is too small. That's why I was staying at a hotel. <laughs> that's like the subtle rose. Bro. Holy shit. What good is it to be successful enough to own your own home with a pool in an upscale neighborhood if you can't share it? I like that he says that because Bugs is sharing his house with Daffy. Are you Daffy Duck? Do I look like Daffy Duck? I just need a signature. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it shaped like that? That is a fucked up little creature, man. We got Gossamer living across the street. He's got a bunch of little kid friends. We charge him 10 bucks a ride. Bing, bang, boom. Money in my pocket. Actually solid. He's hustling, man. Well, this is actually a low-key way of, like, making Gossamer have fun. He's just a good, he's a good father figure. Daffy would own a Tesla. He thinks that X is a better name than Twitter. What in the world is that ridiculous thing in the driveway? 
It's my parade float. Oh my god, he's just gonna <laughs> pretend to be Bugs this episode, and Bugs is gonna pretend to be Daffy. It's awfully nice of Daffy to let you stay here. The dad's voice is so soothing. It's like very deep and like raspy. I kind of just want to give him a hug. Bugs is enjoying this because he can sort of like backhandedly shit on Daffy by playing the role. Everyone's winning in this situation. His father wants his daughter to be with either a doctor or a lawyer. The last time I did that, I almost killed someone. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I can never predict your reaction to things. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, oh, women, you can never understand them. Well, Daffy's good with kids. I think he would make a good house husband. Like, he, he's the stay-at-home hubby. Usually rolling around noon? He's at his desk at 6.30. <laughs> I didn't tell you to become a lawyer. That's my girl, bro. Now the situation has become everybody's going to have fun with this except Daffy. Well, this is just another example of Daffy jumping into a situation that actually he hates. If I'm going to pretend to be you, might as well get into character. Hey! <laughs> yeah! Let's Yo! fucking go, Bugs! So did they rent out this office? Lola is extremely rich and is just wasting so much of her money to get Daffy's lie to continue. Like, that's so funny. I didn't know you were a lawyer. I am this week. I am this week. Burn the roof of your mouth on a slice of hot pizza and now you want to sue Pizza Reba. No, no, don't sue my boy, man. They're gonna send them back. They're gonna send them back to Mexico, man, chill. That kid really keeps his beak to the grindstone. Hey, Bugs. He likes Bugs more. He likes Bugs as Daffy. There's actually a lesson to the episode for once. Like, be yourself. Like, <laughs> first fucking episode to have a, a real moral. Tina's dad sucks. I'm not going to lie. Tina's dad came to visit her and does not want to spend any time with her at all. You're suing me? On behalf of my client. Our next door neighbor, Sam. Yosemite? Yeah, they live together. I forget that they fucking live together. You're suing your friend who you live with. <laughs> Does this gentleman... Speedy Gonzalez. Why does he say, is that not his real name now? Like, what the fuck? If that even is his real name. <laughs> Mr. Gonzalez likes to brag that he's the fastest mouse in all of Mexico. Oh, he didn't have to say it like that. And in America, speed can kill. He said, go back to your <laughs> country. He was I like, fucking he hate you. He straight up said, I don't know how they do it in your country, but this is America. This is literally two racism episodes in a row. Daffy Duck just is racist. But what good is any of that stuff if you never see the guy? That's so true. You should be with bugs. And besides, you can support yourself. What the fuck? This is so wholesome. That's so crazy. Misogyny cured. Bugs Bunny cured misogyny. You think anybody listens to this like clip from the show and close their eyes and pretend it's their own parent talking to them? <laughs> that would be kind of sad, man. I made up the whole thing so you'd like me. I'm not a lawyer. This isn't even my house. I'm the one who ain't got no money. No job, <laughs> no, no education. They brought back the line. Dollface, do you love him? Mm-hmm. Well, then that's all that matters. Fuck Damn. you! That sounds oh, awesome! And wholesome. Yo! Yeah. They're sturdy with it! Okay, who the fuck invited Yosemite? Yo, look at Speedy, though. And the ponies there. Why is Yosemite partying at the same place as Speedy? He literally tried to sue his ass like two minutes ago. People don't hold grudges in this show, bro. I need to borrow your TV. Beg your pardon? I got a date with a cute little Look how silly. smug he is. He's literally stealing his TV off the wall. <laughs> Sam, I'm not going to help you lie to some girl so you can trick her into dating. What's his age range, Bye. realistically speaking? He's in his 50s for of, sure. Like who he's dating? Yes. He's probably dating like a girl way too young, bro. Yeah, this I think this is a Leo situation. Pretty good status update, huh? Oh, yeah. Is this the Tinder episode of the Looney Tunes show? Is that the, are we getting the social commentary episode? I actually learned everything I know about Tinder from the Looney Tunes show. Really? You be fucking them like witches and shit. I have not went on a lot of dates. You're saying you need someone else to motivate you? <laughs> that is so weak. Pee -pee. It said pee pee, <laughs> yeah. guys. Whoa! That was amazing! Is he getting indoctrinated into a cult this episode? We haven't had a cult episode yet, I think. I think it's like a timeshare type situation. So him and Porky have to invest in a fucking timeshare. He must have said the word fly about a hundred times in there. Fly means fly. Fly means fly, and I'm fly as fuck. You mean like... <laughs> what did you... You mean like... I'm gonna get my pilot's license. Yo! I've already got a driver's license and a cosmetology license. That's Ooh, two true. of the five licenses. The big five. He dropped that shit like he's talking about the big three shonen series. And 
License to kill. <laughs> I can't wait to get that. I can't wait. Porky's terrified because he knows he's number one on the hit list. I just think spread those wings and fly is a metaphor. Really? Nah, so I don't think he understood. You don't understand. I think Porky's just too afraid to get his pilot's license, bro. You are so dumb. Dumb and toxic. <laughs> Daffy is like characterized like a dumb blonde character. D the lunk formula is a protein powder. <laughs> it's called a lunk formula. It's a mixture of synthetic carbs and branch chain amino acids. Synthetic carbs? Dude, he's <laughs> drinking the Kool-Aid. This is literally a cult, bro. I mean, self-improvement movements are all basically cult. I want you to stand up and say it with me. I'm gonna spread my wings and fly! This is just kind of sad. I don't know. This episode is too... <laughs> We've all seen someone like this in real life. Looks like a beautiful day to fly. The fucking painting, bro. Every time I see it. Whoa. Dress for the job you want, not the job you have. Good advice. You don't have a job. That's why I'm usually nude. <laughs> <laughs> That's the lore. If you have a job, you wear clothes. If you don't, you're nude. <gasps> My Nobel Prize! Unbelievable! Someone what? stole his that Nobel Prize! It's definitely Yosemite. No, that's what you think. It turns out it was Andrew Tate, the guy that Daffy Duck has been watching. I really appreciate it. They're sending me a replacement Nobel Prize. Damn, you can just get that? Wouldn't they say, like, you're not smart enough, you can't keep it around? Like, I feel like you have to have a certain level of intellect to keep it around. <laughs> did a pog. Is it gonna be like a misleading situation where it isn't actually him? Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think it's Daffy. I just think it's Daffy, to be honest. All right, Daffy, you're cleared for final approach. How? How did they let him fly? How? This man is allowed to <laughs> legally do anything. <laughs> He's gonna die. You're headed for the trees. Pull up. Pull up. Yeah, it's a simulator. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I was really hoping he crashed the plane there. Did, did Daffy just invest like 20k of Bugs' money to go to flight school? <laughs> I don't need a teacher. I don't need a license. I've got it all in here. That's so true. Oh my goodness, he's gonna learn that he can kill people. He doesn't need that license to kill. He can just do it. It's easier than you think. Let me get a little bit off the top. You got trust issues. Oh, I've got trust issues, all right. Yeah. I like I how pissed Bugs off is. Yeah, I like when Bugs is just completely pissed off. Because he's usually so chill. I am not giving up on my dream. One way or another, I will fly. Congratulations. He does have his cosmetology license. Look, he's got a bosom. Did he, was, is he padding it? Bro, what's going on there? I like the height that the heels give me, though. To fasten your seatbelt, place the flat metal end into Did the Daffy bottom. just, like, think that you have to be a woman to be a flight attendant? <laughs> yeah, he's old school. He, well, he's been around for a long time, Gore. He's been around for fucking, for decades. He's good at it, too. Are you wearing a skirt? Yeah, but it's the heels that'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> so true for that. This girdle doesn't help either. He's wearing a Whoa. girdle? He's wearing a fucking girdle? That's why his booty cheeks are so big. It's gonna be Daffy, he's sleepwalking because of the amino acids or whatever. I went outside to see what's what, and I see you sneaking around. All right, let's 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 deduce the case. Who is it? Who's doing it? Lola. Lola hasn't showed up in the episode yet. There's only been three characters I in this entire episode. it's Pepe Le Pew. What? Oh my God, you're right. This means war. Oh, it's Daffy. Yeah, we were right. It was just Daffy. It was just Daffy. And the amino acids. Tweety. The whole Tweety Bird. No, you're off to our neighbors to return their stuff you stole. This is the only job he's been, like, consistent at. This is, like, the only job he showed up to day two of. Like, let day him two. have this, bro. Yeah, come on, man. He's trying to He's trying to support his loving family. You gotta help a man out. Told you I wasn't the thief. I owe you an apology. That's what you get for discriminating against poor people. Why does he owe you an apology? Why do you owe him a literal Nobel Peace Prize? What are we doing here again? I don't know. Porky's invitation said it was a surprise. Oh my god, it's an MLM scheme. No, now Porky's no, going to be convincing no, everybody else. No. Oh, he's going to sing? Oh, he's going to stand up? Please don't do either of those things. <laughs> what? 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 He has pipes. What? Daffy does not care. Daffy doesn't care a shit. <laughs> this is awesome. 
beautiful. That was the last thing I expected. Oh my god. So how does this episode end? Like, what has been learned? What has been resolved? Uh, being a flight attendant is a shitty job. Push on the stick! Mm, mm, mm. When pigs fly. <laughs> All of that was for that joke. <laughs> Yay, Gossamer Daffy. Hey, Mr. Duck, you want to play? Oh, Gossamer needs, he needs a father figure to play ball with. You get a week off at Christmas, three months off for the summer, and now you're on spring break. <laughs> no wonder Canada's killing us. Yo, we're Canada. <laughs> yeah, Canada's man. Canada's killing Shout out us. Canada. Daffy loves Canada, I mean, bro. I'm not going to lie. With the forest fires, I guess Canada is killing us. <laughs> He's playing with toys. What? What? <laughs> what? He was a flight attendant in the last episode, <laughs> and now he's playing with action figures. You think a grown man can't enjoy some finely crafted figurines? Okay, Funko Pops are cool, Corey. You can have your Funko Pop collection all you want. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a very stressful life. I need spring break. <laughs> <laughs> I need this. Forget it. I'll find someone else to go with me. Something like fun. Porky? Yeah. I'm telling you, you're gonna end up in a Mexican jail. What does that even mean? You're gonna end up in Mexican <laughs> jail? <laughs> Good evening. What? Woo! Duh, it's movie night. Yeah. Hang out and watch a movie. Oh. I oh my god, she looks at the camera. She's like, <laughs> too bad this isn't Rick and Morty, my favorite fourth breaking television show. Tina, you need spring break more than anyone. It is not just for students. Why was why was his girlfriend at the very end of the list? Yeah, what the <laughs> hell? He asked his dog. He asked Granny to go with him before. Well, his... gr Granny would be on the top of my list personally. I don't know about you, Cor. I'd like Granny on the top of me. Oh. What's the name of this movie again? The Black Widow. Okay, is that guy a good guy or a bad guy? Oh, I'm gonna wait for that. This is painful. This is too real of a type of person. This is too real of a person. You're watching a movie and they keep asking too many questions. Why oh, did that God. character do that? It's like, uh, watch the movie and maybe you'll find out. Then who is- This is your last question. Then who is the Black Widow? <laughs> who is the Black Widow? You already know. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, I'm afraid we're gonna have to ask you some questions. What the fuck? What do you know about the break-in at the museum? What are you, what are you even playing, detective? <laughs> Dude, she changed into a different annoying person watching a movie with. Oh my god, you're right. Yeah, the person who knows the movie way too well is just explaining everything. I think I left the iron on at home. It could start a fire. His house is gonna be burnt, burnt to a crisp when they come back. Yeah, whenever the show just lays seeds like this, you know something's gonna happen. <laughs> like you just know something's gonna happen as a result. That's seven glorious days without a crazy person in my life. <sighs> <laughs> They're gonna go to Mexico for some reason. The one I was wearing last night, it's gone. I borrowed it without asking. Well, then I hate to say it, but. Uh... I think you're gonna have to face the music. You have to. She did not gonna understand. She doesn't understand what face the music means. She's gonna misinterpret that. You have to say it straight to her. I was parked in front of a 24-hour spray tanning salon, so I went in and got. The Whoa! Total Excuse what? me. What? The, where the fuck are they? This isn't it's even Mexico, like a bro. It's fucking Sergio Leone movie right now. It's not orange enough. It's really orange. It's not. We could do more orange. It needs more orange. Wait! Wait! Don't worry. The buzz will be back. You know, In we... one month. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thumbnail. What? She's black now. She's looking like the Nesquik bunny, bro. <laughs> she took a bath. She took a bath in Nesquik. I don't think I could look at the Nesquik bunny the same ever again, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Why did you steal the Hillhurst diamond? I thought you were gonna come clean. I did. I took like a two-hour shower. I mean, my. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? She misinterpreted what he said. She misinterpreted what he said. Now that there's been a break-in, security will be too tight. I'll never be able to do it alone. You need to help me, detective. Oh my god. This is horny roleplay. She's just roping him into her horny sex roleplay fantasy. Porky, streaking is one of the ultimate spring break pranks. So How are you covering yourself up? You're normally naked. <laughs> this is also, this is like a normal, like, town. This is sad. They're going to Mexican prison. Oh. 
<laughs> yep. Mexican prison. Mexican prison. <laughs> that fucking train is Yosemite to on the wall. Se busca. What did he do to those Mexicans back in 99, bro? Yosemite Sam has a hate crime. He can never go back. I can never go back to that Mexico. Instead, we'll have to make an aerial assault. Dude, why don't they just ask Granny for help? Like, this is literally her specialty. Yeah. We saw her do exactly this in a previous episode. We use a glass cutter to carefully remove a section of the skylight directly over the Rothwell Gallery. That's the one place they won't be looking. The exact center of the entire museum. They'll have no one there. What is this on your ankle? I was wearing it the whole time. The things one does for Lola! crazy girlfriend. The things you ought to do when you're dating Lola Bunny, bro. Sacrifice has got to be made. You gonna ride in this jail for the rest of your miserable life. That's Speedy Gonzalez, bro. No, it's not. You're racist, bro. Uh, that's not Speedy Gonzalez, bro. That's kind of fast Gonzalez. Like, not too <laughs> Moderately fast. efficient Gonzalez. Typical bugs. Probably have <laughs> I want to die. Now he's gonna to go to prison too. Can I try someone else? Sure. Why not? Why not? Hey, that's fucking terrifying. Can you imagine if the iPhone alarm went off in Speedy Gonzalez's room? Like his entire house <laughs> would start shaking. Do not move to Texas, Speedy. Slowpoke Rodriguez. This is very cinematic. Can someone translate what they're saying? I just don't understand. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> they said "Hola, Senor." It's so good to see you. Slowpoke is kind of interesting. Maybe a little bit slow. Uh, just a little bit. This is like when I'm on Duolingo and it only gives me two options for the speed. It's like so slow that I'd rather die or like <laughs> insanely fast. And those are the only two options. <laughs> Whoa, Porky. Porky. Dude, Porky was trying to fuck a me this sexy Mexican woman. Is the sexy Mexican woman the donkey or the lady that was in the back? Uh, both. Oh. You're free to go. See you guys later. Did he get fucked by them? He walks out limping. <laughs> <laughs> you finally let the cat out of the bag. Oh, right. Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> Very this necessary. Fucking Lola, <laughs> buddy, man. Yeah, you know what, Daffy? Um, they're really glad you asked me to go with you on spring break. His house is going to be on fire, guys. His house is burned down. I, I can't believe I was worried about an open curtain. Oh, it's like a. Oh my god. Is it gonna be like a Goldman machine what or whatever? No way. Facial expression. But at least he got Jesus some Christ. Food, right? At the end of the day, he did fuck it's that worth sexy it. Mexican woman. No, not these. The real ones. Oh, yeah. We don't carry those anymore. That's crazy, <laughs> That's bro. A, we don't carry carrots? Peeled, bite sized baby carrot nibblers? <laughs> nibblers. <laughs> nibblers. <laughs> nibblers. They're just bite sized. Well, I'm not buying them. Okay. No, it's not. A Dude, this grocery store employee Bro. has no say. Bugs is on his Karen arc. This poor minimum wage worker has no say on the carrots, okay? He's, oh, he's gonna start growing carrots. Bro, the montage music always be going hard. Yeah, but who's fertilizing this yard? Is, is that like Taz's job Taz or something? Taz is shitting all over the plants. Where did you get all those carrots? You're kidding. I've been gardening every day for the past three months. So there's a three month time skip right there. Add it to the docket. There's so many just casual time skips in this show. It's insane. I have exciting news. You're moving. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Daffy is so actively mean to Porky now. I uh, got a catering job. He got a What's catering job. Yo. There should be an episode where the prime minister has to f*** Porky. Where did that come from, Cord? Black Mirror. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe I can make my uh, grandmother's carrot cake recipe. Well, there you go. Wait, how have Porky and Bugs, like, not bonded off of this? Like, they both love carrots. Like, how has that not been part of the show yet? It's such an interesting fact. Like, they could just talk about carrots for minutes on end. I don't think Bugs really likes Porky either. He's the friend that's always around that you just tolerate. <laughs> yeah, like Jack. Yeah, Jack. Exactly. When I reach for hair gel, I reach for clean and shiny. And cut. Great that's job, it. That's <laughs> it. Bro just got paid $45,000. A lot of money. For barely any work. No, Porky. his perfect job. We're getting into advertising. Looking for likable males. Nope. Charismatic, Doesn't work for you. Friendly dad types. That's me. <laughs> Motherfucker Jim the camera. Fuck you. <laughs> I feel like everybody in this episode is constantly making that expression. Does this show like start to break the fourth wall as it like approaches the end of the second season? Like people just start looking at the camera more and more. Like, damn, I wish more people watched our show so it didn't get canceled. Like, wow, my name is Jim. <laughs> 
I bet a bunch of people got sick from your food. This is really bad. What? Oh. Stop listening to Daffy, to Porky. Birthday birthday. When has listening to Daffy ever done you good? Hey, my, my friend, he, 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 he Bugs Bunny grew the carrots. What? Don't get me involved. It's too late. You're already involved. Oh my god, just tell him. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. They, they loved it. <laughs> <laughs> they like literally cut to credits before they revealed that too. That's so funny because usually like these kids shows like the cut to commercial break. Will, Someone's about to die. But no, we're watching fucking Looney Tunes show. So it's about whether his carrot cake was good or not. Name? Duffy Sheldon Duck. Sheldon? Huh? Yeah, they revealed that before. Sheldon? Let me just warm up my voice for a second. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 I love that we do this every day, bro. I love This is what we do for every recording. Oh, this is the <laughs> what is this made of? Is it dirt? Oh my lord! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus so Christ! Oh, how'd it go? They said my audition was, quote, unlike anything they'd ever seen before. <laughs> Ooh, I better get to my audition. Oh my. What? You're the one who said the part was for a while. No, okay, now we <laughs> switched to Daffy fucking cross-dressing. It was Bugs every episode, and now it's Daffy every single episode. But you said it was a generous offer. That was before I tried this here cake. This has got to be the greatest carrot cake of all time. Like, is there fucking crack in the carrots? Like, what is going on? I think he put Coke. I'm saying you should tear up that contract and go into business for yourself. This is such bad advice, though. They went from having an easy contract where they can fulfill their obligations and get money to having to run a business that's a lot of yeah, work. Yeah, I don't think it's the right call for them. CC cake? C cake? What does he, the, the, that mean? You know, CC, carrot cake. No, we're yeah, not doing this joke right now. This is the most sitcom <laughs> bro, joke my you could possibly God. put. CC cake is a way better name than old pig cake. Yeah, but old pig, you know that brand's gonna have like the old man in black and white on the front. Like, you know that shit's about to be like good for the past 65 years. I would I would be eating the old pig cake, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think you would fucking want old and cake in the same sentence. Like that shit is fucking expired. Simply roll your way to sexy ass. <laughs> I like this episode because usually Daffy succeeds at a lot of the things he does. Yeah. And this episode, he is inherently failing every single time. Wait a second. We should do a commercial. We'll reach millions of people. Oh, don't know. hire Daffy. Don't hire him. Please, I'm begging you. Commercials are impossible to get. Why? Look at the way like Bunny's is stand. Bugs is standing. He's standing like that. His chest is like popping out. I like Miss Porky Bunny is a duck. <laughs> this is so dumb. Save room for Mrs. Porky Bunny. I did. Whoa, she's eating the whole cake herself? Mrs. Pork Bunny, you gotta fucking watch your ways. So, what does that mean for the company? You're bankrupt. Boy. What? They became bankrupt? And while money might make you wealthy, it's friendship that makes you rich. That's so wholesome. What? So beautiful. We're still rich. We're still rich. It just sounds like he's coping. He's coping. He's copium. coping. He's huffing so much copium he's right now. He's high on copium right now. We're still rich. But not in money. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Evilly, we're I'm just still gonna. rich. Uh, metaphorically. Evilly, metaphorically. We're still rich. <laughs> Evilly, we're still rich. Not economically. Evilly, we're Not still economically. Rich. <laughs> That's funny. I love popcorn bacon. He's balling. Porky Pig is good at basketball. He, he's gribbling. Yo, are those the Prowler shoes? Like, Evil Miles Morales Prowler shoes? Exclusive? Exclusively produced by poor children in a third world country? Hope you brought your umbrella, because it's about to rain He tied three. them together. Okay, bro. I know Daffy got bullied in high school, but I don't think he got bullied enough. <laughs> I think there's a degree he should have got bullied a little bit more. Free ship- free shipping? Hello, mommy. Hello, ma- Is that what he says to fucking Tina? Hello, mommy duck. <laughs> and she's like, you are the ugly ducking, Daffy. You are my little <laughs> ugly duck. You use my computer. The quick click is connected to my bank account. This is literally oh, just like a parent having their kid buy like $5,000 of microtransactions. But I need it. Hand. I need it, Core. Video games? What are you, nine years old? That's what did he say? Video games? What are you, nine years old? Fucking what? Bugs. What the fuck does that mean, Bugs? What the heck is a gribbler anyway? 
Well, one quick. I see Bugs is gonna get addicted to video games this time. He's always getting addicted to something. I don't have a shopping problem. Oh, I'm not talking about shopping. Your I'm talking about gaming. Gamer. Gaming is a serious problem in our society nowadays. You've got the heart of a gamer, and that's not a good thing. When you're ready to deal with your real problem, you know where to find me. I don't think you should be fixing other people's problems, bro. You have a fridge outside of your porch. I think you're the one with the problems here. Bro, this is the hardest game ever. Is it a phone this game? Is, he's playing on the Soldier Boy console. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, sticking that ass out. Five minutes without buying something? He literally just is a hoarder. Please, it's almost midnight. I'm gonna miss the deal of the day. The deal of the day. The worst part about the addictions in the in this show is that they always pick things that are realistic and common for people to get addicted to. So it's extra depressing. It's extra depressing. I'll give you your package on one condition. You come somewhere. You come somewhere. Somewhere. In my package. Do you think your anger might have been misdirected? Oh, wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Real therapy session. Is this gonna fuck up the entire show? Because, like, if Daffy and Bugs aren't mentally ill, like, I don't know where the jokes are gonna come from. Yeah, it's, it's gonna turn from Seinfeld into Friends. <laughs> Real quick. I know what you're trying to do. You want me to break down and cry. All right, now that he said it like that, he's definitely gonna break down and cry in this very room. At he's the definitely end of the gonna episode. break it down while crying. Probably sooner than that, bro. Probably in like the next five seconds. Come here. <laughs> oh my god. No, no. Well, that, that was a lot faster. Jack, you were right. I'm sorry. You were right. Is this a good time for you? Uh, no, not really. Because I'm trying to take into account other people's needs, not just my own. Oh so my, no, God. no, he's doing therapy mansplaining. Daffy does one thing and that's the only thing he talks about, it's uh. Like we get it, you go to therapy, you're happy. How about you keep your happiness to yourself? <laughs> I love to sing about the moon and the Juna and the spring. Yeah. Do you think Gossamer is adopted? No, I think she ca he came straight out this woman, bro. What do you think? No, because his, his mom is a witch, but he's like a monster. Maybe, no, no, no. I think it was his mom was drinking while pregnant, but she was drinking potions. Oh. Whoa, sexy Lola? Why, why are you saying whoa like that's a surprise? Why is she sexy, huh? The exposed this is, mid This is a woman exercising. Woman deserve to exist without being sexualized. Do you not watch the Barbie movie? But maybe she wants it. Maybe she wants it. Love to sing about a sky of blue or t the song is actually probably one of the best songs in the whole show so far. I just love how it includes all the main cast in like such a fun way. Whoa, Granny? Whoa, Granny, Granny and the witch down. are breaking it down. <laughs> oh, it's okay when they're old. I see how it is. Yeah, Eden, what the fuck, man? Are you sure this is a good time for you? If you could just wait till I'm out of the tub. Okay, good. I like that whenever Porky, someone like I've says something great. that is opposed to what he's saying, he just goes, really okay, and then keeps talking. <laughs> How are you, Porky? Uh, I'm uncomfortable. You can just be that right now. This is Please. actually really fucking Daffy, <laughs> he's the motherfucker. He goes to therapy one time and thinks he's a licensed therapist. Hope you guys are hungry because we are celebrating this morning. He's actually being a better person. It's funny, Daffy's become a better person, but a more annoying friend. Yeah. How? It's it's interesting because it's not a one-dimensional character change. Like he doesn't just get better. Yeah. You can't oh my god, thumbnail. Jesus. You look terrible. Are you okay? No! no, no okay. <laughs> that was so sincere. I love the voice acting. Boy, he's just he's just sitting on the edge he's of He's sitting on a bench in front of his bed. You couldn't stop playing that video game because you have deep-seated issues. I don't have deep-seated issues. Oh my god, he's projecting. He's projecting. I'm starving. Oh. Damn. He's just a gamer. He's just built like that. Well, then maybe I couldn't stop online shopping uh, because I just like online shopping. No. You have issues, no. bitch. No. All the character development no. that we experienced is going down. No. The there was never anything wrong with me. Uh, actually, I was perfect. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Another song? A second song? I feel like they finished writing the episode and it, they were like, it's too short. So we have to pad it out with two songs. Did somebody order a bass solo? Nope. Oh, I did, baby. Wait, closer. And it's out of tune. It's like the worst sounding like bass patch I've ever heard. That's some garage band shit right there. And it tends to catch on fire. Whoa. Whoa. 
giving us the free yo, thumbnail. Give it thumbnail. Look, okay, we might talk about Lola a lot in the show, but we all know who has the biggest dumpy in the canon, bro. But I say your planet's too small. You said your planet's too small. My car's not too big. Hey. That's me when I buy my Ford F-350 Super Edition that takes up every single inch of a wide lane <laughs> on the interstate. Peter Griffin. I want Peter in my mouth. I want to suck on his little... Is Daffy Peter, Peter and Bugs Lois? No, Bugs is definitely Brian, bro. Yeah, Bugs, Bugs is Brian. Relax. We'll use the back door. Where is it? No. They're coming fuck. out the asshole. There's an asshole trunk, and it's tight, too. Oh. Ooh, I gotta oil that. Bro. I, I mimicked that over my own asshole. Lubrication, lubrication, a lubrication joke. Or you can have as many slices as you want at the buffet. Six bucks, all you can eat. Wait, it's a buffet now? What? Six bucks, all you can eat? That's insane. What's uh, going on? Solo vans. The new restaurant across the street. It's such an uneventful cutaway. I'm going to learn to play the piano. What? My whole life. I, I feel like a lot of Daffy's character traits in this show are constructed out of like negative stereotypes of women. <laughs> Dinkley remember listening by her side. I would dance as she filled the room. Look at him. Dude, this is the Bojack, Bojack Horseman. Horseman. <laughs> oh my god, we thought the exact same thing, dude. Wait, who's the worst person, Bojack or Daffy? Definitely Bojack. I mean, at least Daffy doesn't go after children. I, I think if Daffy was in the position, he would fuck a 17-year-old. Daffy has killed people. Dumb. Oh my god, the ass is crazy. Holy shit, that shit was round. You said whatever floats your boat. And selling your TV to buy myself a piano floats my boat. <laughs> oh my. Why are the boys still standing there? You gotta tip them. I'm kind of tapped out. I didn't get that Ooh. much for your TV. Uh, 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 yo. It's not even a nice thing. Dude, it, I don't like the fucking color of the piano. It needs to be a darker brown, bro. I don't like the color. I don't like it when it's a light color. It needs to be dark. What are those? Noise Dude, put the meme there, though. What are those? That was a good one, man. Trademarked a joke by Jackie's boy from Spilling the Milk. Yeah! What is... Yeah! She's bored. Look, Daffy is not yeah! into this. She's, she's gonna... not bored. Oh, she, she's he, having she company. She's bored. These she's two bored. have the best chemistry out of anyone in the entire show. I told you I'd give you your lesson when she's done. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dan, they really got me, man. You know, he's doing some like, no. doing some more modern. Those are very deliberate cluster chords, okay? Every single note was not random. Those were specifically chosen. Daffy is making true art. I'm gonna kill myself. My teacher is very, very tough, but she's easy on the eyes. I'll give her that. <laughs> facts, facts, 100% facts, right, bro. He's a guilt chaser. We all, we all Holy knew he was. Holy shit. He was a coffin chaser all along. He's trying to riz up granny and get the inheritance to her home. Literally sounds like a two year old playing the piano. Five minutes! What tarnation is he doing up there? Everyone, so is this gonna like escalate till everyone in the neighborhood is pissed at Daffy? It's 10 o'clock at night. Some of us have got work in the morning. Well, not Ooh. me, but. <laughs> yeah, we're the fucking <laughs> work, bro. Dude, he's playing the music to like the same pitch that like Sam is talking. <laughs> yeah, he's like scoring it right now. Wow, those work really fucking well. Holy shit. I know what you mean. You do? You really do? Uh-huh. This is just that one what? mystery ink character. The one who, like, yeah. fucked all the different women. Oh, yeah, the MILF guy, the Rizzler. I had a 10-minute conversation with Yosemite Sam, and I didn't have to listen to a word. <laughs> Bugs discovers AirPods. It's like, I'm in my house, but I'm in it not in my house. And it's like- Bro, he watched, he looked at that woman's ass as she walked by. Porky was eyeing- No, he got a sad face. No. She bought sad face stickers to give to him. And it's proof that I should never try anything again. Ever. Because I will fail. Uh-huh. He's gonna kill so himself. Daffy's gonna- You're I leading him off I should never try. Enough. I should just get a noose and a chair and kill myself. Uh-huh. You've got live music tonight? Huh? What are you talking about? You're the one who arranged it. No, he's getting his comeuppance, bro. But did you know of anyone who might be available to perform on Friday night? 
And you said, uh-huh. Oh and my said, lord, dude. Oh my god, Daffy's <laughs> gonna play, bro. And it's gonna end up being amazing. He's gonna be convincing Daffy that he shouldn't give up. And oh, oh my god, the whole episode's gonna god. go back. But then he's gonna play and still suck. Yeah. But it'll be about the friends you made along the way. Okay, forget our conversation. Even the part about never trying anything, if there's even the slightest chance that you <laughs> I mean, it's not like a bad mentality. You really believe in me? Uh -huh. He's so gullible. I mean, yes. <laughs> Look at that toothy grin. Wait, is he good? Oh, no, it's, no, it's, a, it's, it's the Chinese girl playing. Thanks, Bugs. Don't thank me. Thank Daffy. Please. Uh, no! Oh, no! you're right. You're right. Holy shit. She's cooking. Is that yogurt? The yogurt song? I'm so hyped. Is it gonna be a Daffy rap? I'm just confused. Like, there were no songs for, like, like lots of episodes of season two, and all of a sudden, we're getting, like, multiple songs per episode almost? Like, what is going on towards the end here, man? For my eulogy, get Neil Diamond. <laughs> Neil Diamond animation! What the fuck was that? From Lord of the Rings. Okay, cringe. A little that cringe. Was cringe. Yeah. Suddenly, it became cringe. I'm not going to his funeral, bro. If he's quoting Lord of the Rings, fuck that. Think of the what knowledge the that No, remember, because we saw it's the Bojack Horseman reference. They went full circle. They referenced the lobotomy now. A 50-yard line at the road bow works great for my huge <laughs> That is beautiful. This song sucks. Yeah, this song is, is not the best song in the show. Well, you, that's, don't, that's for you sure. don't find Daffy's singing voice captivating. Daffy's singing voice and also it's just him being an egotistical, like, idiot the entire song. Would you call sticking your dick in a musket gunplay? Yeah. He doesn't deserve it. He doesn't deserve it. That was trash. That's called a sympathy star. You got a participation trophy, man. <gasps> no oh way, no. bro. They got me, man. They got me. I did not see that coming, dude. Ridiculous journey. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're watching Ridiculousness. I'm Rob Deerdeck, and welcome to Ridiculousness. Today we're gonna be watching the funniest clips from the Looney Tunes show. Here's Yosemite Sam right now. Whoop it ya, yo, get along. Ha 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 ha, that was a good clip. We're doing an extra special challenge. If you laugh, you take one dick up your asshole. <laughs> I love taking dicks up my asshole. This episode is not good. Oh fuck. Nope. This episode is ass. Oh my god. Even the chat is saying. But it I'm bad. an ass man. Yeah, we're we're all ass men here, so maybe we'll like it. I'm gonna be a contrarian and I'm gonna like this episode just because everybody said I shouldn't like it. You know what I mean? Like That's I don't cool. like I just don't like being told what to do. I do enjoy a boxed lunch. Yum yum yum. Yum yum yum. Bro, are they gonna make like a turducken here? Like Sylvester eats Tweety. The Tasmanian, Tasmanian devil, devil eats. eats Sylvester. <laughs> Yo, that, that UPS driver doesn't have air conditioning, bro. This is before they won the strike, bro. That, that, that ain't got no air conditioning in it, bro. Stop it, you can't eat me. You have Wait, this is the Madagascar episode. Maybe that's why it oh, sucks. Oh, no. Oh, it is the Madagascar episode. Oh, fuck me. What a desolate place this is. I'm already freezing my tail feathers off. Look at my ass. I'm bored already, man. <laughs> <laughs> man it's like, I'm gonna be contrarian. I'm gonna like this episode. Can't you just ignore me? Can't you stop looking so delicious? Tweety's feet are big. Wait, is Tweety Bird a girl or a guy? Or I like... think it's intentionally vague. Yeah, they keep it vague on purpose. Ah, black. Jacques Chalet. Why is there a French person here? We're in the Antarctica. Who the fuck wrote this episode? Ain't that the guy who killed JFK? Like, what the fuck is happening this episode, man? Head south on the train tracks. I'll distract him. Oh my god, there's the railroad. They are in Siberia. The Russian government sent these animals here so that they could build the railroad. Yes! I knew this was the right way to go. I don't remember. There's gotta be like the three most annoying voices in this show, too. Like Taz can barely even like speak human speech. Tweety Bird's verse voice is low-key annoying, and then Sylvester sounds like he's spitting in my face as he talks to me. Like suffering suck attack. <laughs> I sure hope they don't release any toxic chemicals into oh the God. atmosphere. Wait, they're in Ohio right now? This is how the derailment happened. 
Do the Steven Universe episode with Amethyst and Steven on the train. Remember that, Cor? Oh, yeah. That was the episode that's good. Let's just pretend we're watching that episode. And now <laughs> nice we're one, Steven. on the run. Dan, nice one, Steven. Dan, that was a good joke. Dan, Dan, Dan. I like that one. Wait, is that, the, is that Seattle? That is Seattle. Dude, I love Seattle. Oh my god, is that Seattle? That's Oregon. That's Gravity Falls, bro. They're about to pass Gravity Falls on your left. There's Dipper, there's Mabel. Oh my god, there's the mayor of Seattle. Let's get the fuck out of my city. Is this episode gonna turn into like a train murder mystery situation right now? That would be interesting, mildly. Dude, that's too much salt, man. Think about your cholesterol, Taz. Like, what are you doing, bro? You don't eat your teammates. Oh, my bad. That's it? That's the whole joke? That's a South Park joke, bro. That was nothing, man. What are we doing here, bro? <laughs> this episode is amazing. I love watching <laughs> shitty, shitty physical comedy. No, but, but maybe bum, bum, maybe bum. they save it at the end. Maybe they tie it back to the main main plot line. What's the main plot line at the end? Maybe it's like Taz dies, and that has like a lot of profound emotional effects on Bugs and Daffy. I don't think they would care. <laughs> they probably haven't even noticed he's gone. <laughs> No flipping way. Oh, there actually was a train derailment. Okay, that would not float. That's literally like tons of steel right there. Like, oh, damn it. No, stop being predictable, cartoon. No, you're supposed to surprise me. You can't do that, man. Oh my god, Yogi Bear? No Is, way. That's not Yogi Bear. Do they have the rights to Yogi Bear? Yep, that's him. That's Yogi Bear. Get off the jack, you pea brain. Oh my god. God. People probably have died in that way. People have definitely died like that. That was fucking terrifying. Dude, what the dude, fuck? dude, I just imagine Eden reacting to that. Like we watch an old school Looney Tunes thing where Bugs Bunny like puts an anvil on like <laughs> Sam and Sam. He's like, oh my god. I cannot believe that he did that. Fart. These bear characters are somehow slightly more entertaining than the main trio of the episode. This is probably the worst episode of season two so far. I'm not gonna lie. I think this is the worst episode of the show. Yeah, this is just the worst episode of the show. It's all fun and games until someone gets crushed. Oh, Henry. He's driving the Dude, middle of the road. Bro, get in your lane. They what need to get in a brutal car accident right now. Like, I just want all of these characters to die. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, milk in his asshole, though. That's I'm, pretty I'm good. I'm really distracted by the fact that the road keeps changing. It's like a white line down the middle, and they were driving in the middle of the road. But then it cut to the POV back shot, and it was like one dotted line I in love the middle. Back like shots. it's one lane. No, I love back shots. Back more. shots. What? <laughs> oh, goody. You're awake. <laughs> Let me Is that a bald eagle? The beautiful side. mascot national of my country? Bro, that's Porco Rosso. This guy was a Porco Rosso reference the entire time. That's the only reason they made this. This episode was credited to parody Homeward Bound style movies and fill it with as many cameos as possible. Guys in chat, can I give like a scale of one to 10 what you think about this episode right now? I want the YouTube frogs to know that we are not the only ones shitting on this episode right now. Now they're all saying 10 out of 10s now, bro. Taz love kitty. Taz love Taz party. love pussy. Taz love pussy, bro. Me too. I told you he'd find him. There's no, no way. Him. The annoying character was Yosemite Sam's cut. So it runs in the family. Being annoying and having an awesome mustache runs in the family. There's no such thing as tranquilizer bullets. Cut him some slack. He's Canadian. Oh, God, he's like Jack. He's like Jack. <laughs> Fuck he's Canadians. Just like Jack. They give me a shitty episode and then they shit on my fucking ethnicity. We hate bro. Canadians. We hate Fuck Canadians. You. We Fuck hate you. Canadians. Fuck this show. You're gonna break it. I think I know my own recliner. His own <laughs> recliner. You don't own that shit, bro. Okay. Unless he got it at like some garage sale, like there's no way he could pay for this. He probably stole it from like a Make-A-Wish kid if we're being realistic here. And that's him beating the fuck out of a Make-A-Wish kid. Uh, maybe it's time to buy a new recliner. Why? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you look like the Godfather in that? Is this the episode where Bugs finally kicks him out? I think he should kick him out because the problem with Daffy, he's been insisting upon himself a lot. A little too much. And like the Godfather, that's why I don't like it. I didn't lose. And got the lowest score wins. 
That doesn't make any sense. I can't wait to be above the age of 30, because, like, when you're above the age of 30, like, a switch snaps in your brain that goes, golfing is fun, actually. <laughs> and I'm just really looking forward to that day. I'm not gonna lie. I went to Top Golf the other day, and, you know, it was kind of fun. You're already mentally 40, bro, so that doesn't count. It's leather. No, absolutely not. Take it back. I don't, not to be that guy, but as a professional animator within Warner Bros, it doesn't complement the color schema of the living room originally. I feel like the blue popped more and it added a little bit more variety. Who do you think you are? Michael Jackson? I met Michael Jackson. And you are no Michael Jackson. What? When did you meet Michael Jackson? I met him in the Denver airport. He met Michael Jackson at the Denver airport? As a child. As a child? Wait, what? He was one of the victims. Is he going to be in the documentary? That recliner I bought with my own money. Oh, he did buy it. He did buy the recliner. The summer? Bro worked at Good Burger for a week, spent it on a couch, and never made a dime in the rest of his life. I just don't believe this flashback because Daffy stuck with the job for more than a day. More so than him working the job for a full summer, I don't believe he didn't get fired for a full summer. I can't believe someone already bought my recliner. Well, what character do we already know that bought it? Is it going to be Yosemite Sam? I think Foghorn Leghorn bought it just because that Daffy scent on it. Like, <laughs> I'll say, I'll say, I love the way that duck be smelling. Oh. Cecil! This, the fucking asshole. The worst character in the show. Uh -oh. Holy shit! God damn. I have a shell guy I go to. He's very reasonable. Nah, he's scamming him. This is a scam. This is a scam. No, no, no. Oh, he's doing a fucking slipping Jimmy scam where he pretends to wipe out and then he sues the motherfucker. I don't think I like it. Daffy. You're the only person in the world that wouldn't like this recliner. Ugh. Woo! Where did you get this hideous? Woo! Yes! God damn. Woo! Yes! I like the Lola and Daffy are of one mind. The crack is worse than we thought. Oh, no. It means he's gonna need $2,000. That doesn't seem that crazy. What a fucking piece of garbage, man. I hate him so much. 3500 35000 Comical goal. Forty-one twenty-three. Can I have your credit card? My credit Dude, he's card. getting scammed <laughs> from every angle. His girlfriend and, and Daffy are destroying his house with all these different chairs. Bro, Bugs is going bankrupt in this episode. Oh, Mr. Oh, oh, he's God. so gross. God. He's so gross. God. I'm really sorry. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, I suppose I could use some groceries. Oh, oh my, God. my God, he's glazing it. He's walking around fine, bro. What are you talking about, man? I mean, do I look like a cartoon villain? Who are you looking at? What, <laughs> what the fuck is this scene? Oh my God, they literally broke the fourth wall. They literally broke the fourth wall of my cartoon. They never do that in any cartoon. Never cartoon has ever done that. I'm so excited right now. This is such a Rick and Morty Reddit moment. Looks like it's going to be a little more than we hoped. Hmm. What a shock. How is Bugs trusting Cecil like when there's the previous episode where Cecil fucked with him for so long? I'm just confused. He said he has insurance. And obviously, if it's a small deal, you want to solve it without insurance. But at this rate, just go to your insurance. Yeah. Unfortunately, my checkbook's at home. Well, you know where to find me. <laughs> you literally became the Grinch. What? Do they have the rights to that? Is that plagiarism? It's plagiarism, yeah. Title hit by motorist. This is from six years ago. Damn, he was running the scam even when he was working in the fucking office. Like, this is before he lost his job. Oh, no. What have I done? I almost uh, killed someone. Porky is the best person to do this to. It's, yeah, he is the easiest person to guilt trip in the world. I gave him $10,000. but $10,000? That's crazy. He got scammed for way fucking more. Oh, my God. I guess I just have to get used to life without a recline. I'm not gonna lie the daffy lola part is the worst part of the episode i'm not gonna lie i'm like surprisingly captivated by the cecil plot yeah and then my too. brain just completely turns off whenever daffy and lola <laughs> are on screen so you wear a fake cracked shell to scam people out of their money he's gonna, he's kill, gonna them. kill them oh my god we're going to the police I wouldn't he's gonna oh he's literally god. gonna kill them oh my god what is like a first person shooter? POV, you're a turtle who scams people. Where'd you get that recliner? This old thing? I picked it up at the thrift store. Oh my goodness, it all comes together. He was the one who took the recliner. How did you come up with this scheme? 
Well, it's a long story, but since I'm gonna shoot you anyway... <laughs> <laughs> this is so fucking funny. Dude, there's so much just straight up murder and guns and shit in Looney Tunes show. It's awesome. I just thought it was a chair. I didn't know it was a recliner. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to this. <laughs> oh my god. Porgy's gonna kill someone. Looks like you cracked your shell. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> and then you hear a gunshot right as it fades to black. There are things in life that are. But, uh, Lola's dad, the most iconic character. In he the does world. go hard though. Look at him. There he goes. I'm He's in love gone. with my daughter's boyfriend. That's what this song. <laughs> this <laughs> that is. It is, this it is weird. He takes my love. Whoa, whoa, sexy, whoa, whoa, sexy. Whoa, thumbnail, oh thumbnail, 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 thumbnail. thumbnail. Wonderful. Bugs! That thing was a piece of junk. I don't know why I was holding on to it. I'm glad it's out of my life. If I never <laughs> I just love how long it goes on. They don't even bother like doing the reveal with Daffy. They just show you like, yeah, he got the fucked up chair. Oh. You miserable little Little what? Huh? Let Bugs say cunt. Let Bugs say cunt. This is my year. What are you talking about? The Chinese astrological calendar. Year of the pig, yo! It's his year, my boy! There's a year of the rabbit, and no year of the duck? But there's a year of the chicken. That's like basically the same thing. Happiness and prosperity are just around the Where, Where's the fortune where it's just absolute nonsense and it doesn't make any sense at all? You will have toilet for dinner. Ugh, ugh. Did your guys' cookies taste like paper? <laughs> oh, that's such a basic joke, but I don't know. I thought it was funny. Sorry, guys. I apologize, guys. Sorry. I eat the sticker on the apple, so we're of similar mind. They want you to host this year's Royal Oaks beauty pageant. Why me? Well, it says Bro, you they've really been giving Lola, like, the fucking figure in these episodes. That's what I'm like. Look at the position her body is in right now. Do you, like... No, like, I just, I'm listening to what she's saying because she's an intelligent No, you. Woman. I'm not paying attention. Her hips are, like... Her hips are doing the talking. That's what I'm listening to. What do you think about ducks? I don't know. Why? Because I'm a duck. What? I always thought you were a crow. <laughs> <laughs> Carol... Bring me the latest animal popularity index. I thought he was like, Carol, bring in the latex gun for my boy. Bro, motherfucker just said, give me the ranking of every race by popularity. <laughs> Dude, I always, I always forget there are just human characters in this show. Seems like Latinos are down this year. <gasps> That's it. We're going to get you on Tit for Tat. There's not a show called Tit for Tat. That's not. What's Tit for Tat? It's was Elmer Fudd? Mike Ehrmantraut has his own show? What the fuck? I like that in this show, Elmer Fudd is like not even a character. He's just a TV star. I like it. Congratulations! You are my one million customer. You win a year's supply of free pizza and half of the game. Yo! He's the one million. That is the year of the pig. He is taking W's, my boy. Porky's a pig? Wha wha dude, Buzz is doing the fucking the meme pa face where the dude is looking at the other girl. <laughs> He's looking at Porky, man. He's like, free pizza? I have all the answers I need right here. Is this Foghorn Leghorn's wife right here? I think it's his secretary, but like that kind of means the same thing. Like just give it four or five years and it means the same thing. Hit for tip. Harder questions and harder nipples. It's like a follow for follow situation. If I show you my tits, you have to show me your tits. Like that's what's going on here. Tonight's topic, ducks. Here to tell us why we should care. Dude, I like how you said that Elmer Fudd wasn't a real character, and then in this episode is the first episode where he actually is a real <laughs> character. But, like, just look at the shot composition. He exists on a different plane of existence than the rest of the characters. Daffy Duck is like a bug compared to this man. Literally. I'd like to buy a vowel. What are you talking about? I'm gonna go ahead and spin again, Pat. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like, if this actually happened on TV, they'd be like, let the bro keep talking. What oh the fuck? Oh my god! What? what? <laughs> bro! Dude, what the fuck? That was awesome. Dude, there's literally nothing this man won't do for Daffy. It's fucking insane. And welcome to the Royal Oaks Glen Oaks Oakwood Oaks Beauty Pageant. I don't know about our contestants, but I slept like a log last night. Literally. Bro, this motherfucker I literally is a comedian. Why is he struggling so hard with this? I flew all the way in from in, in, in New York to be here. Boy, are my arms e e e e tired. <laughs> <laughs> her tongue is out. Her, her laugh. Her, thumbnail. her laugh. <laughs> thumbnail. He doesn't even have wings. He's not a bird. He's a seal. Seal 
He's a seal. He's a seal. <laughs> She's crying. She's literally crying, laughing She's right now. He's a fucking seal. Just not as funny as Porky's. <laughs> Oh my god, Porky's gonna- Mr. Steal Your Girl! Bugs get cucked in Looney Tunes? Miss R-O-G-O-O-O. -O -O. We need a duck to win that beauty pageant. Tina. Tina! Tina. Tina. Yo, yes! Let's, Let's fucking go. go, Tina! Please? Uh, I'm not the beauty pageant type. Yeah, to be honest, the only two ducks we know in this show are both assholes. So, like, maybe all ducks are bad. So you're saying that the stereo- the racist- Racist. Stereotypes are correct? That's what you're saying right now? Racism. Is you winning a beauty pageant, which will skyrocket ducks up the animal popularity index? Imagine having a live ranking of your race. And it's an ever-changing chart. You can just check the leaderboards at any moment in time. How's my race doing? How are white people doing? <laughs> We're down? Again? You wanna take a practice flight? No, I think I'm good. Dude, he's wearing- he's wearing his tux that he has that one sexy picture of him in the house, dude. You'll barely be able to tell you're wearing anything at all. There. I'm hard. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. It doesn't take much for you, bro. It does not take much. That's all cool, bro. When is the show gonna start? Dude, look at his fucking suit. It's, it's so oversized. It's like a son wearing their dad's suit. <laughs> You're his neck. There's just a hollow space in the neck hole. Come on! Start the show! Dude, it's, it's a oh, live it's race so reaction. Cool. He's below ants. Are these like the live race war statistics? Like, what is going on? It's coming soon, bro. It's the year of the pig. Oh, it's not the year of the pig. It's the year of the rabbit. This is so it's weird. They brought like a random a Asian oh. human to explain that. That's Asian so strange. Human. Even they hate me. I thought this was the year of the pig. How is this happening? Porky, there's something Don't I ruin his do. confidence. Lie to him. Lie to him. Lie to your friends. Lie to your friends. You're doing great. Evil, but no one's laughing. No, 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 no. They're laughing. They're just <laughs> laughing at you, not with you. Aw, this is sweet. He's just gaslighting him to make him feel better. Okay. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my. That's what the representation like, in my pants. Literally, the did. beauty pageant had all humans and then one duck. There was no other animal characters. <laughs> what is, God this is, damn. Uh, this is for. Yo! Oh my god. Oh, I didn't Yo! need to see that. Oh, let it all out, Porky. Oh Dude. my god. That a Michelle. Yeah, yeah, I vote for her, bro. When did she turn black? I didn't win. Yeah, but you were so beautiful and poised and charming and everything. Oh my goodness. Good boyfriend moment. Wholesome Daffy moment question mark. Is that allowed? Mods, mods. Is that allowed, mods? <laughs> Forky dies. You're the pig, baby. You're the pig. Uh, thanks for the Chinese food, guys. Not the Chinese. Why would you give him the, the most inconvenient back. dish to eat? Like, you give him chopsticks and he has a broken arm? It's because the writers just had to bring back the Chinese food. A duck sauce? There's a sauce named after us? Why didn't anyone tell me? I'm sorry, but- Oh, this woman looks scary. This is how people with blue eyes look at you, bro. Dude, I've been here. I've been here before. This is a sad moment in basketball. No, you're gonna throw a fucking pit. You could lower the fucking hoop, Daffy. What are you doing? <gasps> Not his Prius. Dude, you don't fuck with a man's Prius like that. Get that down for me. Oh my god, I, this episode's gonna be they, they 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 he's gonna force this kid to play basketball. He's gonna be like, Gossamer, you're black coated, you have to play basketball. That's what Daffy said. How does he keep doing this? It's like he's playing like a very uh indirect version of catch with his son. <laughs> Actually. How do you know so much about it? I was elected to the city council. He was. You're that's fucked up because it's true. Like that's fucked up because he can just say things like this and he isn't lying. I totally forgot about that episode. That was one of the funniest episodes. Gossamer is Gossamer is awesome. Gossamer is awesomer. His face isn't even on the fucking poster. Make America Gossamer again. Did you just hear what Bugs fucking said? He said it's not a real word. He's the type of person to be like, um, actually, you not to say more better. That's redundant. That's us, bro. You just described us. <laughs> oh, hey. Just having a few friends over to watch the fight. We might be a little loud. Just FYI. That's funny because they're Mexican. No, it's funny because he said as quiet as a mouse and they're not going to be quiet, you fucking dumbass. No, it's funny because Mexican people are loud. <laughs> <laughs> Steve is awesomer.
Who's Steve? Out of there, put a picture of Steve Sakai on the screen. With a with a Minecraft spooky ambient noise. Well, uh, good morning. How do you like your eggs? I need him head. as a wife, bro. I need Porky to be my wife. Dude, God I'm damn. not gonna lie. If he had that on while cooking, I would walk behind him and smack the ass every time. That's all I'm saying. Like, oh my god. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. <laughs> that was fucking hard. My boy is winning. Now, when you're running for president, Everything comes out. Look at the way he's sitting there. Motherfucker's sitting there like he's in therapy. I think Gossamer probably needs therapy. Like, he's neighbors with fucking Daffy Duck. Like, imagine how much shit he's been, like, subjected to over the he's years. He's neighbors with Daffy Duck, and that's one of the most positive relationships in his life. <laughs> what the? What are you doing in here? Now you. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. That's gonna be us when we die. Can we all get a grave together and, like, sleep forever together? <laughs> no. Nope. Guys. Leave a comment on this video if you want to be part of the Spilling the Milk mass grave that we're building. <laughs> Yo, let's pull it up. A mass grave, a mass hole in the middle of a- I mean, it's more efficient that way. Like, I just care about the environment. I moved the, the silverware to this drawer, so they'd be a, a closer to the dishes. But the dishes are over here. Not anymore. Oh, it's the motherfucker who organizes everything. Uh, he had a system, Porky. He had a system. If he had the junk drawer and then Porky like cleaned all the junk out of the junk drawer, we should kill him. What's the junk drawer. You don't have that one drawer in your kitchen that's just for all like the leftover sauce packets and napkins and, and random fucking shit, old mail. Does he have OCD? I think so. It seems like it. Bro, that's literally Camp Bell's brand. Can we talk about that? <laughs> I want to go to Camp Bell, bro. I'm so excited. Okay, how do you pronounce it? How? Tell me! Campbell. Cam. Bow. Campbell. Nice to see you again. She's even worse than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he moaning like that? <laughs> Who gave this he man permission? Ah. Ah. Who in the name of Pacho Villa has been in my mouse hole? <laughs> no what? way. In his mouse hole? Bro, no man was way. assaulted. Get out my boy's mouse hole, bro. He didn't consent. Give this pig a restraining order right now. How the fuck did Porky get in there? How did he even get in there? Dude, Ooh. you are literally Bugs Bunny core. I'm literally Bugs Bunny. I love what you did with my place. There's a system for everything. It's so efficient. Oh, but he's Speedy <laughs> Gonzalez, so obviously he cares about being fast and like efficient. He appreciates right? the efficiency. Willie Yang promises to do away with Rita. This is funny because don't they do this shit in Japan? I feel like I've seen videos. I of think that I think I've seen something like that. Yeah. Mayor Dewey, Mayor <laughs> Dewey. It's fully, fully automated. He... This is like Papa's Pizzeria, man. I thought about the same thing, and you were taking forever to say it. I was like, dude, it's pa 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 Papa's Pizzeria, bro. What do you think of helping me set up pizzerias like this all across the country? This is awesome. Damn, they're going to business together. Honestly, this doesn't seem that weird, though, because this is just Porky's skills that he's already had. Like, he's been good with math, and he's been good with food. This isn't that out of the ordinary, TBA. We'll call you. Pizza Rivas, vice president. Dude, he's a vice president. Let's go. It's the year of the pig. He's literally yeah. taking oh, a W. Go. We've avoided the issues and plagiarized this speech from the great communicator, Ronald Malcolm Reagan. X. Oh, <laughs> I forgot who he fucks with Ronald Reagan. You won? No. Then why on earth are you happy? Because I had fun. I always Aww. Love hanging out with Aww, it's so wholesome. Oh my god. Why are we getting so many wholesome Daffy moments? Stepdad duck over here. He's not the step duck. He's the duck who stepped up, bro. When he's not president. What? There's a third candidate. Congratulations again, Steve. Steve! Steve. Aaron Trump. <laughs> he predicted it. He knew Steve was going to win. Steve wins again. Hola, Cincinnati, Ohio. You really? Your first fucking place is in Ohio, Speedy. Are you kidding me? And medieval themed for some reason? Don't worry. Those aren't real crocodiles. Those aren't real crocodiles. <laughs> Thousands die in Pizza Reba Massacre. It's got everything. Tracks how far you've run, your heart rate, calories burned. He's literally me. He's got that. Apple one. <laughs> no one cares about you. Stop talking about your steps, dickhead. No way. That is too far. <laughs> Daffy is lazy and Bugs is not. Who's Becky Hug? It's just a girl I went to elementary school with. Bro, literally peaked in elementary school. Can we talk about that? No, Porky was the jock in high school. He hasn't peaked yet. I think he's just on the way up. We were boyfriend and girlfriend. Aha. Well, he dated her in elementary school. When he was in the third gate, when he was in the third grade, he thought that he was straight. How do you fuck? 
fuck it up, you man. Up, you, you jumped the gay there. I'm gay. This could be your one and only shot at finding true love. If we leave now, we'll be there in four hours. This is just evil. He has to know this is an evil thing to do. Like, weddings are expensive as fuck. If I had a wedding and someone pulled this kind of shit, I would just shoot them on the spot. The amount of stress, tears, and sweat that goes into wedding planning successfully. So much sweat. A lot of sweat. Okay, what's what's the goddamn B plot? Egg sandwich? Oh, Woo, my oh, lord. Can I borrow your new watch? It'll make me look important. Eh, please. His Apple watch looks like the Ben 10 watch. He presses the watch and then he puts on the dress and transforms into a woman. <sighs> this is so boring. I don't know what to do. Wow, what a good B plot. <laughs> the B plot is Bugs is bored. Will you get the gas? Damn, 40 bucks for gas. Okay, fuck this. You have to go inside to get the gas with cash anyway, so he could have just paid. Plot hole. I eat, it just got it washed, and I'm trying to keep it clean. They better run out of gas in five seconds. You need to be like, go. I spent all of our money on a $40 bag of chips. He's going to open it. It's going to go everywhere. Thumbnail. This is why I asked you not to eat. And Don't worry. I... I think I can get him. Oh, so this is such an inconvenience. Oh, no, it's gonna spill over. The fucking drinks. Oh spill. my oh. god. Oh, oh my god. My. <laughs> <laughs> His phone. He destroyed Porky's phone. It, it, why is the gas light on? Uh, I no, no. I don't want an episode uh, where they're stranded in the desert. Oh no, no. Shouldn't one of us wait with the car? This isn't a bad neighborhood. We're in the middle of the desert. You've been living in the suburbs too long, Porky. This is the hood, bro. This is the hood. Daffy says that as he lives in the nicest part of the suburbs, just leeching off of his friend. Hasn't struggled a day in his adult <laughs> life. Pick up the pace, Piggy! We got a wedding to stop! Oh my god. I know this is normal Daffy behavior, but I feel like he's he's so, more self-aware about his assholery in this episode. <laughs> Little exercise. We'll kill some time. <laughs> This is really... This is, like, two of the most painful fucking plots ever. Like, both of the plots are ultimately nothing happening. Porky's wandered off. He's probably dead. So get in your car and come save us. PP1935. What happened in 1935? I think it's just Porky Pig's, like, first episode probably came out in 1935. No! Hey! Don't hate me. Dude, he joined the Crips. It took him that long. He joined the fucking gang. That's cool. Where are they? <laughs> this episode is so boring. What were they think? This episode is so boring. TikTok attention span. As Bro, nothing is happening in the episode. <laughs> I've used TikTok like five times in my entire fucking life. Shut your bitch ass up. Becky Hogg's not going to call off her wedding for a filthy pig. Because he's a pig. This is basically a South Park episode at this point. He's just insulting him in like really disgustingly personal ways. But can you tell me where the highway is? Hello? Is he gonna see Wiley Coyote out here? I feel like they're never in the show anymore. Just another example of cartoons making drugs look really cool. This is cool because it's like if you let yourself get dehydrated enough, you can basically get a free trip. How do I look? Like a pig in a tuxedo. So... Not great. Not great. What a fucking dick. Now he looks sad. This this looks like the fucking well, like we're about to break out and to do it for her. It's over, isn't it? Daffy, there's no time. We're here. That was the most exciting two seconds of the entire episode. And it was them running down a hallway. Stop the wedding! Wrong wedding. Phineas and Ferb looking ass over here. <laughs> Bro's a literal parallelogram shaped head. No. Becky Hug, she kind of got it though. I'm automatically gonna you, you fall in love with the with you, the first pig that I. Oh Jeez. my yes, god! Pig. Fuck off! He's gonna fuck her. Thumbnail. That is disgusting. I saw the pig with the fat titties, and instantly I. Like, this is a 10 out of 10, one of the best episodes in the entire show. F Lola. Chat, relax. That was the only good part of the episode. Anyway, you could point me toward the highway. The Roadrunner. I was right. I feel like it took so long to get to the, the Roadrunner. I feel like they could have been into the whole episode. Something would have ha actually happened. Yeah. Wow. 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 Is that Bugs took an L in these episodes of the Looney Tunes show. What are you so hopped up for? I'm always telling him he's too stressed. 
I'm not stressed. Is, is the joke just that rabbits naturally have a very high heart rate? I think that's what it is. She should just smoke weed. If you want to lower your heart rate, smoke marijuana, buddy. Is there anything you can do to stretch my stomach ten times its size? <laughs> what? Just temporarily. I'm going to be in a hot dog eating contest at the fair this weekend. Oh my oh god. My Daffy Duck's going to be gulping glizzies. I can't wait is for that. Is he the throat goat? Find out this time. Back off! You want to fight? Uh oh, he wants to fight. <laughs> no fucking way. Stay calm, Bugs. I got this. Just Why is he what? still reversing? He's such a p 62 hot dogs? Eating that much in one sitting could kill you. Coming right up. <laughs> Coming right up. Does Daffy Duck get a heart attack in this? I would love that. You gotta relax. Otherwise, she's gonna think you're desperate. Girls like a guy who plays it cool. Why? Do not take the- is, is Daffy gonna indirectly cause Porky to get and lose his girlfriend in the sequence of two episodes? No, man. <laughs> no, dude. Let Porky have one dub on this- Whoa! Flat Earth. That is- That was hot. Well, whatever you say, my angel, I'll be counting the seconds. Whatever you say, my angel. <laughs> he's a little c bro. He's a little c he, he thinks he's a Sigma, but he ain't. Ugh. <laughs> What a weird scene. This is such a prologue. This is, this is how you know it isn't Canadian, because they didn't show him vomit all over the table. What on earth are you doing? I'm building a ramp. <laughs> what? In the middle of the road. Yeah, he has a fucking backyard. He can't do it there. It all started with my great granddaddy. He once jumped a horse drawn carriage. So interesting. I love what somebody said. 15 cows. Yes. Five hot dogs. Tina is such a supportive girlfriend. Like, <laughs> Tina does not have to be in this fucking restaurant right now. I can't believe you're doing all this for a stupid satin jacket and so people can call you Mr. Wiener. <laughs> <laughs> it's so the, the idea of being called Mr. Wiener is a respectable goal. Why do you need to relax? Your life ain't stressful. Oh my god, I love chopping. Audio jungle. Oh, this is the bussy. Your school bus weighs approximately 14,000 pounds. And this ramp is it an- They're doing fucking math right now. Oh god, get that trigonometry out of my fucking Are face. Are we seriously <laughs> doing math right now on the loony? This is a cartoon. Porky, it's so good to see you. Okay, cool. Oh my god. No, uh, don't blow it, Porky. If that happened to me, I would yell bomb in the airport so they take me away, man. I couldn't deal with that embarrassment. <laughs> Aww. Dude, never go on a roller coaster at one of these state fairs unless you're okay with losing your life that day, man. Yeah, I'm remembering when we got on that Ferris wheel and you were screaming for your life. <laughs> Eden almost died on the Ferris wheel, bro. He was <laughs> like, ah! Have you seen last year's wiener? Mr. Wiener! Wait, wasn't that guy in the Romanian military and didn't Daffy, like, kill him or some shit like that? Yeah, he that's why he wants to be called- Oh my god. Uh the out for the world, dude. Begging you, I need the emotional support. You're my best friend. What? Nothing. Nothing. Ah, Nothing. Oh. That's sad. That hurts. That hurts the year. You're my best friend. What? Bugs. It's Dr. Weisberg. Turns out your heart is beating fast because. You're a rabbit. Dumbest fucking joke. God damn it. <laughs> You're a rabbit. I wouldn't have gotten this immediately. I'm going to be honest with you. But the fact that Core got it at the very beginning of the episode has low-key ruined the entire episode. <laughs> this is why you do not watch cartoons with smart people. <laughs> In my crystal ball, I can see the Is Lola? Oh my God, no. Lola, you're not a fortune teller. Uh, my name is Madam Zoldor. Oh my God, Lola gets canceled for uh, cultural appropriation. You can appropriate my culture any day. We must be stuck. Oh no, this is Eden's <laughs> worst nightmare. This is, me, dude. <laughs> this is literally me. I cannot be in this situation. I always knew I'd be able to die this way. He's somehow gonna riz her up by being fucking scared being for his life. Oh, he's gonna inflate himself. Inflation. Oh, oh great. Inflation. <laughs> we couldn't miss the show without fucking inflation. That deserves me on so many levels. Oh my god. <laughs> well, we, could, we did it, guys. We did inflation. Ever since I picked you up at the airport, uh, I've been trying to uh, play it cool. Is it weird that I feel like I've seen a couple in real life that kind of <laughs> looks like this? You can see a couple that looks like this at every fair in America. I uh, guess I blew it, huh? This is cute. I like how Porky has a girlfriend now. Isn't this crazy how everybody gets a girlfriend in this show, dude? It's like... Yeah, who's getting a boyfriend? It's fucked up. 
<laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. Well, this is it. What? They're dating. They're dating. That is that oh, is hot. Not. Everybody's hooking up this episode, bro. Bugs has not been spending very much time with Lola recently. Maybe he's switching up. Maybe someone is going to get a boyfriend this episode, Core. They're barely pushing 80. There's no way this fucking works, But dude. they did the math in the episode. How do you accelerate against gravity? Whatever. Didn't this happen in a fucking Mr. Beast video? He did this in real life. This was based on real science, Eden. Yo, oh no, Daffy's gonna hit them? Is Daffy- No fucking- What? What the fuck is happening in this episode? They die. They fucking die and kill thousands in the audience. <sighs> I'm alive. They weren't even wearing any protective gear either. Yosemite had one helmet on and Bugs had fucking nothing. It's Mr. Wiener. Yo, Daffy's here too. They can Eiffel Tower on the Ferris wheel. It's, it's Mr. Mr. Wiener. Bugs, what's up, Doc? It's me, Rodney. Rodney? Who's Rodney? Is he jealous? What if this guy ends up being white? <laughs> that would be really funny, man. It's been too long since I've seen my best friend. <gasps> Best friend. Daffy, grown-ups don't have best friends. You have a bunch of friends. Oh, he's gonna kill Rodney. E, what, what are you doing? Flushing this thing down the toilet. How does he fit? My question is, how did he fit it down the toilet? Look at the size of the answering machine. So, so how did you guys meet? Summer camp. Bro, look at like Lame. Nesquik over here. Like. Reese's puff. Reese's puff. Maybe that's what his job is. He's the Nesquik rabbit. We met during the war. Captain. May I introduce the new co-captain? This <laughs> does not seem unrealistic. Daffy had like invaded Albania in one of the episodes. That's a television show. We met at the post office. They met at the post <laughs> office? The most boring way. Hey man, you got a stamp? Uh, sure. <laughs> what else you got? What else you got? What else you got? The way they met is Daffy stole a stamp and then slowly stole his and mooched off him for his entire life. I, I think he's nice. Not Rodney. Rodney's nothing. Rodney's less than nothing. Dude, what if I'm Daffy said some out of pocket shit? He's like, Rodney's like three fifths of a person. They used to sell Rodney. That's a, <laughs> that's a little bit more on the nose than the joke I was making, Jack. I'm gonna make Bugs jealous by pretending that you and I are best friends. Hey, he does so hang out with Porky a lot more than Bugs, I think. Porky probably is his best friend. He's done by far the most for Daffy. That is his best friend. I'll tell them that I'm already going to the movies. With my best friend. Rodney and I are going to the movies. You want to come? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. I didn't expect anything else, but it's still funny. That whole setup was so good. For no payoff. Ooh, my show. Yo, we're back. Is the rest of the episode just going to be this? This is the end. <sighs> Wait, the time vortex. <gasps> The time vortex. So Daffy wants to make a time machine. Is that what's good? They already did a time machine. Just get on out of here. Messing around with time travel is serious business. Did they forget that they did it already? It was so long ago. I think they just forgot. <laughs> Daffy would forget. I'll fix this window Evil motherfucker. He said he'll fix the window when he gets back. How? How is your bitch that's going to fix that window? Tell it to send me back in time to the moment before Bugs and Rodney meet. It can't be that simple. <laughs> <laughs> this literally looks like fucking Rick and Morty. Wubba lubba dub dub. Camp Winanaki. This is when Bugs and Rodney first meet. Is this setting up like Looney Tunes? Oh my god, you're right, because don't they have the little baby Looney Tunes show that, that's coming yeah, out soon? Yeah, it's like Tiny Tunes. They're setting it up, dude. Well, there's also just a show from the 90s called Tiny Tunes. They don't got anything original these days. That's what you're telling me. <laughs> nothing is norm. Nothing is new. Well, unfortunately, we're overbooked. What does that mean? It means there's no room for any more cameras. What the fuck? Sorry, it, he it. went all the <laughs> way to here and then he's like, kicking him out. No, what? He ruined this child's summer, left him with an unremovable memory that will scar him for life. Is it a sir? Is it a sir? <gasps> Porky! Oh my god, now, now Porky and Bugs are gonna be best friends. Is this a cabin three? No, no, it's too complicated Little now. Porky. You ruined everything. <laughs> what a weird what? There was no interaction, there was no shock, it was just I'm sorry. Do I know you? It's me, Daffy. They never met. I think you have me confused with someone else. 
I've never seen you before in my life. <gasps> oh my god, the, the butterfly effect. Dude, what if he lives husband and husband with Rodney now? Now they became lovers. Please let it happen, if there is a god. And if he didn't go to the post office to mail him a letter. That's right. You don't ever meet bugs. Bugs. So and you have to get a fucking you. job, asshole. It's either you get a job or you let your friend be happy with him like. Turns out there is room at the camp. I didn't really want to go to camp in the first place. I don't have any friends. Aw, what? Aww. This is wholesome. And then Bugs was his first friend. Grown-ups don't have best friends. You're friends with a bunch of people. And the more you have, the better. Wholesome Aww. ending? Wholesome Chungus moment. Literally a wholesome Chungus. Shut the fuck up, Corey. Shut the fuck <laughs> this up. This is wholesome Chungus. Literally a wholesome Aww. Chungus. <laughs> uh, do I know you? Oh, no, no, it still didn't work. No! Well, I've just never seen you act this nice before. Uh, <laughs> do I know you? Do I know you? What's funny? Shut up, Eden. Shut up! Well, long ear drifter riding across the plane. Oh! Is this the last song in the show? Oh! Actually, for a second, I thought this was gonna be a Yosemite song, and I was gonna kill myself. And some carrot, carrot nibblers. What is a nibbler? Oh my oh lord, my she got the lord. corset on. I would pay that woman ungodly money to lay in bed with me. Parfait, but scooped up oh shit, Daffy Whoa, got it. Whoa, okay. Daffy's taking his lady? That wasn't a corset. That was the actual booty right there. Oh my god, that is an overweight horse. Is this Griffith and Guts riding off into the sunset? That's the eclipse. <laughs> riding off into the eclipse right there. Oh shit. Well, yes! There's so much time travel in this show. Maybe one day you'll grow up to be my second best friend. Oh my god! Whoa. That's wholesome. That's really wholesome, bro. Yard sale. I need money to buy Tina's birthday present. He's you selling know, all of Bugs' shit so he can buy Tina a birthday present. What a great guy. Hello, shiny. What are you worth? Did Bugs steal that shit from India or something? Dill. Dill. Dil it's supposed to be a dill. This scene is a metaphor. My name isn't really Bugs. It's Kalel. It's Kalel? What? Is he super? It was a simpler, more dangerous time. What is this episode? So the, the, we're just watching My Adventures with Superman now? Is this like a fucking like Superman parody episode? That's the last episode of the show? He's, he's doing like a Gru to Spickle Me shoot. He's shrinking all the buildings. Wait, but aren't people? People are inside those. Are the people being sh I hope the people are being shrunk alongside. Luckily, I was the greatest superhero I had ever known. Ew, he has a little piece of hair dripping down that looks kind of gross. He's got the weird Clark Kent, like, little hair nub. You mechanical maroon. Oh my that god, is he's Loki daddy right now. Why does he look hot? He's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> that super rabbit is right behind me. This is why you don't only work out chest and shoulders, okay? This is, <laughs> this what, is, how, like. this is what it does, man. The action. The attention, the costume, but I love the people. The, what the fuck? They look so different. They look like they're an archer. Sorry, I crashed your little party, super rabbit. That's supposed to be Lex Luthor or something. I'm assuming. So uninteresting. Like, I'm so excited to come back after the commercial break to see fucking Lex Luthor. Ah. This might be a good time for a strategically placed flashback. No, I don't think it was. Feora. A bitter she bully. Oh my baddie, though. Why did they do this? This is like a concept that they would do in one of the songs in the first season, but then they just made it an entire episode for no reason. Oh my, that's what they did in the Superman movie too. It's a parody, but the parody is just that it's the plot of Superman 2. To you. I'm here to watch you surrender. You're gonna have to make me. Put some like gay p music over bum, this thing. Bum, bum. I, how does he say do gay p music and you instantly had an answer bum, to what gay bum, p music bum. sounds like, Jack? I love gay. P it's your favorite genre, gay p music. I just jerk off to the music. I don't even watch the videos. <laughs> say it. Call me daddy. Oh, that's the. Oh. The dildo was his father's all along. It was an inherited dildo. Son, I hope you washed that before you used it. You've lost your way, son. Oh Don't my god. Come. Isn't that like a kill la kill la kill reference? Don't, Don't lose, lose your way. way. <laughs>
What's next? There's a reporter here for an interview. I can toss him out a window. Dude, I feel like no, I feel like the anime girl's boob line keeps reaching higher into it's, her It's neck. like moving. It's like it, it's it moving goes up. Sayora, now why do you stay in a relationship with Zod when he ignores everything you say, want, and need? Oh, is he gonna come on to the girl? I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm doing more work than Superman right now, holding in this shit that I have to take. <laughs> but I already got a girlfriend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just cheated on his but girlfriend. You don't understand this is like, first of all, Lola Bunny should have been in this episode. The fact that Lola Bunny isn't in this episode is a crime. Lola Bunny should have been Superman. That would have been funny. Sunkian, close Super Rabbit's mouth permanently. He rizzed the girl and the robot. Now all he's got to do is riz up Daffy Duck, which he can do pretty easily. Just give him one compliment. He's, he's putty in your hand. Your no way. Like no your way. Opinion. The power of being a decent person wins. Dude, this shit looks fucking amazing. Why does it look good? This is such a waste. It's so sad. It's such a waste of animation. All this animation, and for what? A terrible Superman parody. Hey, Zod. Kneel before yourself. That's one of the hardest lines in Looney Tunes. One of the hardest lines. Oh my god, Daffy's on his knees again. Daffy's sucking up the bugs again. Hey, let's shave two seconds off our walk home by going down this dark and desolate alley. No, she has the pearls! No! No! Wait, where's their son, though? They're gonna get murdered. They need to be with Gossamer so Gossamer can become Batman. <gasps> Who's Batman? Who's Batman? It's Porky. Porky, please. Who are you? I'm oh my god. Oh my god. Should have been that Porky. Was, that would have saved the episode. If Porky was fucking Batman. Ain't I a stinker? Yes, because this episode was a stinker. If you guys want us to watch Space Jam, then you better get this video to 15,000 likes. Whoa! And a huge thanks to our patrons. Whoa! Alejandro Peredit, Atomic Leon, Bento, Kamalu, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Daryl Herb, Diane Stolk, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Grenados, Gub Stargazer, Gummy Brain Rot, Yoni Snail Yonison, Helio, I Pig, Brett Hand, Isaiah Alford, Kamui, Night VDB, Leaf, Lilac Moon, My Artistry, Master Nate, Matthew Byers, Solomon Graber, Native 5, Nick, Obama Gaming, Omega Waffles, Rain, Steven Sanchez, Sunny D, Tieran Sills, Toast, Ultimate Parson, Bell Explicit.